At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. I'm so excited. Welcome, everyone. It's so great to see all of your bright, shining faces in the room and oh, all of this hard work and preparation. And now we're just here to have a good time and have fun. Oh, thank you for everybody who's chiming in in our chat in Facebook and YouTube. And I want to let you know, Barb Mike Lychek is here. She's a brother national educator. So ask questions and she will be able to help you. But we're just going to go straight into it. We have an amazing special guest, uh, Becky Thompson from Power Tools with Thread. She is a vlogger on YouTube and she just loves brother products. Um, and she's going to tell you a little bit about the scan and cut today. So I'm going to bring in Becky Thompson. Hi, Hi Barbara. Barbara. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you, all brands. This is just amazing. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, my gosh. We're so excited for you. Oh, and so is everybody in the chat. Um, people are uh, saying good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Yes. Hi. Oh, I recognize lots of names from my <laughs> Facebook group. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so glad all of you are here. Hi, Gail. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so we only have 25 minutes today for this demonstration, but you're going to be going live each day at 10 a.m. And right. um, so, yeah, so what do you have to show us about the scan and cut? So one of the things that I wanted to show you guys was why the scan and cut is the best cutting machine that's out there for quilters. And I need to give you a little bit of background on me. I'm retired U.S. Air Force, and I just retired from the Air Force Civil Service as well. And when I was doing my job for the military, I worked in IT. I worked with computers. And so when I became a quilter back in 2011, I wanted to really up my game and begin to include technology into my quilting. And as I aged, like a lot of us, my hands began to not work real well. And I discovered that when I started using and making applique quilts, that it got to be a little bit more difficult than I would have really cared for. And so I set out to research and find the very best way to make applique quilts. And what I came across was the Brother Scan and Cut. This machine is amazing for quilters who want to do applique quilts. If that's one of the things you love. And today I'm going to go over this and show you. We're going to do a pattern from my friend, Pam McHenry. She is the owner and the brainchild behind Pamelama Joe Designs. And this is an adorable wall hanging. It's called Autumn Owl. Let me get him up close. Doesn't he have a lot of character? He's awesome. And you would need to, as most quilters are aware, if you want to make any kind of applique quilt, you would need to trace the design onto some heat and bond using either a light box or a window. And then you would then need to iron the heat and bond onto your fabric and then cut it out with scissors. Well, that's just a little labor intensive for me. Call me lazy. <laughs> but when you get a pattern like that it will come like this and this has the overall design to show you what what it's going to look like and then on the back you can see there are dotted lines many of you are familiar with this you get dotted lines to show you where your fabric pieces need to overlap okay well in the interest of time i have gone ahead let me show you and for this show pam is offering a little free Santa hat and holly leaves embellishment for her little owl. Isn't he precious? So if you get the pattern during the show, you're going to get the Santa embellishment for free. I just want to let you guys know that up front, and I will provide a link at the end of this demonstration where you can get it. And... So you're going to end up getting two of these patterns, essentially. You'll get Autumn Owl and then the embellishment kit for the Santa Owl as well. So I was able to make all of this using the Scan and Cut. And it's so easy and it's so simple. And I want to show you how great that is for quilters. A lot of cutting machines on the market do not have a scanning feature. Only the Brother Scan and Cut has that. And so because the Scan and Cut does... Uh, the works the way it does. I sh I had showed you. I've already got um I've already got the little owl done for today. I've got all the owl pieces put together already. But I'm going to show you on the scan and cut how we're going to add his hat and his, the leaves and do that in the brother canvas. And the brother canvas is a cloud. Essentially, don't be intimidated by the word cloud. The Brother Canvas, you will upload, because this has wireless capability, you'll upload your design into the cloud once it's scanned. There you can manipulate it. You can change the size. You can do mirror image if your pattern needs to be mirrored. And then you can download it again back to the Scan and Cut and cut out your design. So like I had showed you earlier, you can see the dotted lines on the hat where the brim needs to go over it, and you know that those pieces are gonna interlock. So when you're using the scan and cut, you need to let the scanner know that this is one solid line. And it's really easy to do that. I just took a little Sharpie and drew the line and closed it up. 
It's real simple to do this. Brother has a scanning mat, and this is a great tool to use if you're going to be doing this. And the scanning mat doesn't have any sticky on it at all. It has a clear flap, and this keeps any kind of dust or, um, you know, anything our fur babies want to give us, you know, fur on your in your sewing room. Not that anybody ever has cats or dogs or anything like that in their sewing room, right? And now this is all clean. And one of the neat things is when we upload it into the Brother Canvas, all of these parts that we don't want, any words, maybe it has a logo from the company it came from, we can get rid of all of that and clean that up. So let me show you how easy it is to use the Brother Scan and Cut. I'm going to tilt my camera just a little bit. So you guys bear with me, please. I'm a one, one man operation here today. So when you first bring up scan and cut, it you can pull patterns from inside or you can scan. And we're just gonna touch, um, first I'm gonna load the mat. There's three buttons here, home, this is load and unload the mat and then pause. And I'm gonna load my mat. I'm going to tilt this just a little bit so you guys can see the screen and the mat at the same time. And all I'm going to do is touch scan. There's two modes to the scan and cut. And like the name implies, there's scanning and there's cutting. And so we're going to go into the first mode, which is scanning, because we want to get the pattern into the machine. There are three different ways that you can cut. Direct cut is very handy if you have a uh, focused fabric and you want to fussy cut it, you can scan it in and design the uh, the boundary to be able to cut around a specific design on fabric. Or if you wanted to fussy cut a block and you could set your block exactly around where that pattern is that you want to fussy cut. You can scan to cut data. You can scan to USB. And then there are other options. We want to scan to cut data. I'm going to touch that and just hit start. It takes about a minute, maybe a little less, to scan in the design. This is this, the Brother Scan and Cut SDX225. I have had this machine now about a year. I got it for Christmas last year at All Brands in Lake Charles. We were in Louisiana. Once the scan Thank you for shopping with us, Becky. Always, <laughs> always love your stores. We love you. So now that the scan has gone in and you can see the design here, the machine wants to know, do you want to choose the outside of all the designs? The inside, outside. Whoop, I pressed the wrong thing. It's a little sensitive. Inside, outside, or the middle button is for regions. Like if you have color. Let me get a little closer. You can maybe see it a little bit better. I want, because there is nothing inside, like when I did the owl, I had to do inside, outside in order to get his little eyeballs. But this, I just want the hat, the brim, and the pom-pom. So I'm going to choose outside only. And I'm going to tell it, okay. And it's processing it. Now it wants to know, where do I want to save it? I can save it in the machine, I can save it to the cloud, or I can save it to a USB drive. I'm going to save it to the cloud. And getting an account in Brother Canvas is completely free. It says the save was successful. I'm going to tell it OK. So Barbara, can you switch over to the screen sharing for uh, my work that we're going to do in the Brother Canvas? Great, thank you. Okay, so when you first get to Canvas Workspace, I will click on it right here. And this is what it's gonna look like. And Brother has lots of different things you can make. If you're a paper crafter or vinyl crafter, there are so many things on here for you to make. But I'm gonna go right here to my projects and click on that. And you can see, here is the little 
design that we just scanned in. You can download it again, or you can edit the project. And I'm going to edit right here. And there it is. The easiest way to use this, because there's, there's things up here, there's these little words, I don't want any of this. And the easiest way to get my design to be where it is exactly and only use those parts I want, I'm going to hover my mouse over them and grab them and drag them off the mat. There's the brim and there's the pom pom. And then I'm going to put my mouse up here in this top corner and I'm going to drag it all over the entire rest of the mat and highlight everything. And then I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. And that's it. So I'm going to bring my hat back in. I'm going to put my brim over here. And what I'm doing right now is I am placing these parts and pieces where I'm going to put pieces of fabric when it's time to do the cutting. So in, a, uh, in an effort to save time, I'm going to go back to my projects. And I had scanned in the leaves. You can see here's what I was working on last night, getting ready for this. And I had scanned in the leaves. And so if you wanted to add the leaves in as well, so this is going to be the hat, the brim, and the pom-pom. And here are the leaves. You can just double click it and it will bring it into your current design. And click off. And then I want to get rid of this. And I'm going to get rid of these things. Sometimes the scan and cut will see things that are uh, not otherwise available on that your the human eye cannot see. Let me get these out of the way. I want these parts right here. That's all I want. Okay, I'm going to clean these up and delete. So it's really easy to merge all of the pieces at one time. Now for the hat, the brim, and the pom-pom, I only need one piece of those. But according to the pattern, I need one of these. I need three of these leaves. So here's where the beauty of the scan and cut really comes in. Up here in the cloud, and you can also do it on the machine, but it's easier on the computer. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go to copy and click off of it. And then I'm going to go right click, paste. There's two. Right <laughs> click, paste. And there's three. And I'm going to turn these because of the way my fabric is going to be situated on the mat. This is the way I want my fabric to cut. So this is awesome that I'm going to cut all three leaves at one time. Everything is going to be cut in less than a minute. Once you get good at this, you can put this together in about five minutes. It's so great. This is the way I want everything to look. So I'm just going to click download now. When you go to download, the scan and cut creates this amazing little file right here. This is called an FCM file. Don't worry about what that stands for. It's not important. But this file will allow you to import it into either BES4 software or Simply Applique software, which is a module of BES4. And it will create the tack down stitch, the placement stitch, the tack down stitch, and the final satin or blanket stitch to completely automate all of your applique quilts. It's awesome. And if I wanted to do that, I would just click this button right now. And you can see there's that FCM file it, down here in the bottom left corner. It just downloaded that file that, want, that later I would be able to import into BES4 or Simply Applique. But I want to do the scan and cut transfer. So I'm just going to click this right now. And it's all done. It already went back to the machine. And I'm going to click close. So now we're ready to cut. So Barbara, can you stop the screen share? Bear with me a moment, please. There we go. I don't want my... Okay. 
So I'm going to eject the mat that we used for scanning. And it says unloading the mat, the pattern may shift. That's okay. I don't need that. And we are all finished with the scanning feature. Remember in the beginning, I had told you that it does the scan and it does the cut. So we're completely finished with scanning. So I'm just going to hit the home button. And is it okay to delete the patterns? Yes, it is because we're done scanning. I'm going to tell it okay. Well, now I want to, let me get my little tool here. Now I want to get the design back from the cloud. So I'm gonna to touch this button right here that says retrieve data. Can you see the screen okay, Barbara? Yes, let me do yes, this. Okay. Yes, great. Great. So it wants to know where do you wanna get the data from? I can get it from inside the machine, from the cloud, from a USB, or maybe I have a cable over to my laptop. Well, I wanna get it from the cloud and it says retrieving, and there it is right there. Now, I'm gonna tell it okay, and make sure, well, before I do that, now I want to make sure that my fabric is in the right place in order for it to cut properly. So, I have placed fabric on my mat. This is the Brother fabric mat. It's brand new. It's gold down here at the bottom. You can see it's gold and it says fabric mat. You used to have to purchase an additional fabric support sheet and put it on a regular tack mat, but you don't need to do that anymore. Brother has come out with the gold fabric mat and it makes everything stick so well. This fabric is what I'm gonna cut out and I have backed it with regular heat and bond light. You always want to put fabric side down. So if the pieces of your applique are not mirrored when you scan them in, you would need to mirror them before you do the cutting. But these were already mirrored. So I have a piece of white fabric up here. It says brim and pom-pom, but I put the pom-pom down here. So I'm going to cut the brim on this white. I'm going to cut the hat and the holly berries out of this red. And then I'm gonna cut the leaves out of this green. So all I have to do is I'm going to put the mat into the machine and hit load. And there's a button right here. It's blue and it has a little bar across it. That blue button looks like your mat and that's what you're gonna to use to scan your fabric. It says it's going to scan the mat, and I'm going to tell it start. It takes just a moment. Awesome. Here we go. So you can see, I'm going to get you real close if I can so you can see this. Let's, let me get the camera angle just right there. The hat and the berries are on the red fabric just fine. The brim is up here in this piece. I'm going to take this pom-pom and I'm going to move it down here onto the pom-pom part. Make sure that fits. And it looks like the green leaves are all just right on the screen. So we're ready to go. I'm going to tell it OK. Please select. I'm going to tell it cut and start. In less than two minutes, all of my fabric pieces are going to be cut out. I'm using the gold fabric blade. The Scan and Cut DX225 comes with two different blades. You have a paper blade and a fabric blade. This has completely changed the way I look at applique quilts. It's amazing how quickly it goes. I'm so happy now. All of these little pesky leaves are being cut out. I don't have to do that on my own. I also did not have to take the time to trace all of my pattern pieces. 
which takes forever. And, you know, my, my drawing and tracing skills are not the best. We're less than a minute now. All done. Look how fast that was, you guys. So I'm going to eject my mat. And we're all finished. And let's see the result. I'm going to set the camera over here. sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. So all of my pieces have been cut out now. I don't want my camera to fall over. I'm trying to be careful here. This scan and cut comes with a handy little spatula and you can just grab the end of it and pull up the fabric. You might not be able to see the white on white, you guys, but here's the brim. I'll pull it off here. There we go. Okay. There's my hat. And it is absolutely perfect. Look at that. Came out absolutely perfect. This is so handy. I'm going to pull up the green now for the leaves. Look at how it peels away. We just got a, a minute or so left, Becky. Okay. And that's it. Now, all of my pieces have been cut out using the scan and cut. So these leaves came out absolutely perfect. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So now all I need to do is iron them on to my little project and I'm ready to go. This is so much faster than, than tracing all your fabric pieces and cutting them all out by hand. Wow, that's I'm gonna great. Move. So one other thing I wanted to show you, tomorrow at the show, I'm gonna scoot down a little bit so I have to mess with my camera. Tomorrow at the show, I am going to be showing you how to do multiples on the 24 inch mat. That is gonna be awesome. Because I'm going to be doing multiple, I'm going to be doing multiple Christmas trees with patchwork pines, Christmas patchwork pines from Bunny Hill Designs. And if you want to go to powertoolswiththread.com, then you can get links for 20% off the pattern while the show is on during the fest, the third through the fifth. And you can order the Autumn Owl pattern and you can get the Santa hat embellishment for free. So that's it. Thank you so much, Barbara. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Becky. And we are doing a giveaway after each live. So we're going to be giving away a $10 allbrands.com gift card. So everybody give me a shout out, make a comment, and I will pick a random winner uh, of that gift card. So if you do win, you just email events at allbrands.com and um, I'll verify that you were the winner and uh, yeah name email and phone number is what we need so let me pick a random winner who's commented so far Pat starts congratulations you are the winner hey, Pat. <laughs> all right so we're going to take a quick five minute break before we uh, transition to Reen Wilcoxon so again um, Becky, thank you so, so, so much for joining us today. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Awesome. I can't wait. Thank you. Bye, okay. everybody. Thank you. <laughs>
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. All right, everybody, it's 1030 and we have our next special guest for the allbrands.com uh, brother presented by allbrands.com booth. It's Reen Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden. I see her backstage, so I will just bring her in really quick, everybody. And don't forget, at the end uh, of each uh, live, we have a special giveaway. So be sure to uh, watch until the end. And here is Reen. Let's see. And Reen, uh, if you could unmute your mic, please. Hi, Barbara. There. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> How are you today? Doing great. Happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you so much. So what do you have to show us today? Today, I'm going to show you how to do one of my cork mirrors. Wonderful. It's going to be done completely in the hoop, and we're going to use a scan and cut, cut our pieces out to do this. Yay! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, take it away, Reen. Okay, first, Barbara, can you see my uh, iPhone logged in? This one? Yes. Yeah. We're, we're going over there right now to start. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I have the scan and cut 225, and we're going to be cutting cork fabric. We're gonna to need to cut our two pieces that we need. We need the um, front and you can see, hopefully you can see, let me put this behind here a little bit better, that there are little hearts cut out going all around it. And we need the back piece. This is gonna, it's gonna to go together kind of like this. And there's gonna be a piece of fabric that covers the, that shows through the little hearts. I also cut my fabric on the scan and cut but there are gonna be other presenters who are gonna showing you how to cut fabric. I'm gonna show you how to do the cork. So let's get started. 
First, let me put my cork piece down onto my mat. And all I'm gonna do is just stick it down here. I wanted to make sure that it's secured well. I'm gonna use the brayer, just kind of uh, make sure that it gets stuck down really good. And as a precaution, I'm just gonna put a little couple of pieces of tape on here because I do not want this to shift on me at all. And let me grab one more. Okay, and it's time now to bring up the patterns that I need. So I'm gonna hit retrieve data because I have mine on a USB stick. I'm gonna hit the USB stick. I put all the designs that I need for this demo inside of a folder. And let me scroll up to get it. Whoops. And the first one I'm gonna bring in is the back piece. It's just a circle. So let me hit OK. And let's go ahead and let's bring that down and out of the way. I'm going to add because we want to cut the front piece at the same time. So I'm going to go back to retrieve data. It is on my USB stick. Back in that folder. This is the one that I need that has the little hearts. Hit OK. And let's move this bottom one up just a little bit so we don't waste some of our cork. I could also go into edit. I could use the move um, arrows. And I get it right up there next to it, but certainly have enough room between the two to cut. So I'm done editing. Let me go ahead and hit okay. I'm not gonna add anything else or do anything. So I'm gonna hit okay again. And I'm going to hit please select. And what I want to do is cut. So I'll hit cut. Hey, Reen. Yeah. Would you mind moving the camera up just a little bit more so we can see the screen? How's that? Okay. Oh, that's better. Thank okay. you. So what I did is I brought in the front piece that I need. I brought in the back circle that I need. They're both on the screen and I'm ready to cut. You know what, let's, um, okay, let's do a test. You always want to do a test. And this, you, right here, you can pick uh, the shape that you want to use. And we, we're going to do a circle. I find that the circle is the best one for a test because being a circle, you get every angle there is. So it's right down there. Let's load our mat. And you see it has an arrow at the top so you know which way the mat goes in. I'm gonna hit the button to load it. Okay, it's loaded it. And now we're ready to cut. I'm not doing any settings or anything. Whoops, I had to hit start. <laughs> So the first thing it's going to do, you can see that it's going across the mat and it's kind of going up and down. And that's the blade is determining the depth of the material that I placed on the mat. And the first thing it's going to do, it's going to cut that little test cut. Let's just kind of lift this up and here it is. Hopefully you can see that little circle that cut cut out a perfect little tiny circle so I know I'm good. And I didn't have to change any settings or anything. I know that I'm good to go now. I'm gonna hit start. And it's gonna take it a couple of minutes to cut the um, two pieces. And again, let's look at them. This is gonna be the front of our little mirror case. It will have fabric behind it. And then this is the back of the mirror case. And it's going to go on to the back side, obviously. I did cut the fabric out of um, using the scan and cut. And what I did was I don't have the fabric mat, which is really cool. I want to get one. I sprayed my fabric with Terial Magic, got it really stiff and put it down on my mat. I did use the fabric blade and I cut the fabric circle. The set that these uh, designs come out of 
there is a whole set of mirrors and you get the SVG file to cut the fabric and the SVG files to cut the front and back pieces. So now it's less than a minute to cut what we need. I got my little tools here. I like to have those handy. So how are you doing today, Barbara? Oh, are you talking about me, Barbara, or Bar Barb Michael Icek, the brother educator that just commented in the notes? <laughs> oh, no, I can't see the comments right now. I was asking you, Barbara. Oh, yeah, um, I'm doing great. I'm so excited. It's like, huh, it's like Christmas. <laughs> you know? well, tell the other Barb I said hello, though. Yeah, so, so everybody, Barb Mike Lychek is a brother national educator, and she's in the comments on Facebook, and we also have her and, and YouTube as well. And um, she's available in the Quilt Sync booth. Um, if you have any questions, she's a an expert. I think we have the best woman for the job there. That uh, is great. Yeah. So good. Uh, good question, Arnell. You can purchase the fabric mat. It is available for the SDX models. And I'll put a coupon on the bottom of the screen. And Barb says hi. OK, so it's done cutting. I'm going to unload my mat. And let's just kind of take this tape off again. I just did not want this cork to slip. And let's see how our cut came out. This is always the fun part to me. Look how perfect that looks. So I'm going to use my little spatula. This is the solid piece here, the back. And this is our front piece. And here come the hearts. So the little hearts that did not stick to the mat, all I'm gonna do is take my little tool here and I'll just push them out. But look how nice that cut. And these little hearts are kind of tiny and they cut through the cork really nice. Okay, got one more to push out. And we got our pieces ready. And now I'm ready to go back to the machine and start the mirror. Wasn't that easy? All right, so I'm back over at my machine. I've got my pieces that I need. And I'm going to be able to change my camera so you can get a close up of my machine. Uh, Fran loves the cork idea. Yeah, cork is so fun to work with. Um, and tomorrow my demo is going to be a cork project too. So tune in tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my camera view. And we're going to hope that this works. Because I got a camera that is close up on the machine. Did that work, Barbara? Yeah, we got it. Okay, great. So I've already loaded up the design for the mirror. And I've gone ahead and I have hooped two layers of water soluble stabilizer because we, we need to use water soluble on this project. And I've gone ahead and I've stitched the first step. It's just three placement lines that stitch. The inner placement line will be for our mirror. The outer placement line is for the fabric. I'm sorry, the middle placement line is for the fabric and the outer placement line will be for the cork fabric. So the first step is to take our, our fabric piece and hey, lay it down. Reen, we did have someone say can't hear. Would you mind unmuting your phone? Um, and I'll use that for audio. Okay, so you, you can't hear me now? Um, actually, let's pull the audience. Can y'all hear Reen right now? Because I'm Charlotte afraid said, if I turn the other, the phone volume yeah. on, I had a lot of reverb when I did that. Got it. Okay, give us a second, because I'm asking, can everyone hear Reen? Hello? Just go ahead and keep going, and I'll let you know if they can't hear you. Okay, Brenda says you're good to go. They can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Jill. So I placed the a fabric inside of that middle circle placement line. And now I'm gonna put the hoop on the machine and I am using the um, Brother Luminaire. I love my machine. I, I think you guys got a good uh, view of the screen here. So what it's doing now is it's tacking this piece of fabric down. 
so a lot of people get a little nervous about this design because we are actually going to be putting a little mirror in our hoop at one point. And this is a three inch round craft mirror. Let me pull the hoop off the machine so you can get a look at what it did. It just stitched the fabric down here in a little circle. The next step is we are going to be taking the front side that we cut on the scan and cut, and I'm going to place it in this outer circle. And, you know, if you wanted to tape it down, you could. Let's be dangerous and just go with it. <laughs> but you can see now how the um, the fabric is going to show through the little hearts. So I'm going to put it back on the machine and it's going to do, um, it's going to be getting this cork stuff down well is what it's going to do. It's going to go around this circle on the inner part of the cork with kind of a little zigzag to attach it. Here are some of the other samples that I've done. This one is in, um, this is a vinyl that I use. So I've had success with cutting cork on the Scan and Cut DX225. I've cut vinyl like this. I've cut Craft Tech, which is a heavy kind of a paper. This is another pattern that I've cut. Let me see if I can put something behind here that you can see it better. But these are like little, little stars. And I've also cut little circles around the mirror edge. And this one has a scallop edge, you can see. So it's done with that step. It is tacked down that fabric. And the next step is going to be where I'm gonna take a pair of small scissors and I'm gonna trim the fabric piece only out of the center. I'm not gonna trim my stabilizer. I'm gonna leave that there. So let me get started. All I have to do is kind of get the blade of the scissors up underneath that fabric and make sure that I only have the fabric. Are there any questions, Barbara? Uh, Barb's getting to all the questions. Thank you, Barb, oh. Michael. I really appreciate Great. that. Great. So all I'm doing is I am trimming out this fabric circle in the center, and I'm gonna show it to you as soon as I'm done. This is just fun. I'm so glad you asked me to be here, Barbara. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Isn't it rain great, everybody? Oh, hey, we didn't discuss this, but um, we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. And um, is it today or tomorrow that you're going to have a coupon for your website? Um, I will do that tomorrow. Okay, First great. Thing. All right. So that'll I will be get tomorrow. It to you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Okay, so, so today, I've turned out the circle. Today we're going to do a, um, an All Brands gift card giveaway after this video. Nice. Okay, so I've just trimmed out that circle in the center. That was uh, pretty easy to do. Now the next step, it's going to do the satin stitch around this opening. So I have a matching bobbin in my machine to do this step. And it's going to make a few passes around let me show you this one again, kind of close up. What it's doing is it's working on the satin stitch going around. So it's gonna make a few passes. It's building a foundation for these uh, satin stitches to lay on. But let's see if I can uh, see any um, questions. Someone wants to know if, we're, if they can watch this later. Are these videos gonna be available, Barbara? Yes, so we're actually, uh we're streaming on allbrands.com slash quiltfest is our homepage for everything. The brother presented by all brands and allbrands.com mall. And yeah, so it'll be hosted on Facebook and YouTube. So either way you can rewatch this, but to be eligible for the giveaways, you have to be live. So everybody start commenting because at the end of this, I'll pick a random commenter to win a special prize. And didn't brother just come out with cork fabric? I'm so glad that you said that. Yes, they did. So I'm going to include um, when you go to the schedule on our allbrands.com slash quiltfest and you look up this class and you click shop products, all of the cork is listed um, there. So yes, yes, yes. And Barb Mike Glycek <laughs> says, your brother machines stick 
stitch cork like butter. <laughs> they do. It's so much fun. I've done a lot of projects using uh, cork and I've had no problems at all, no problems at all. Um, cutting it with the scan and cut, um, it just does a really great job. And this is the cork I'm using. You know, it's a little bit thicker. It's not that new type of cork that's really, really thin. Um, and just look how perfectly it cut around there. Let's look again at the, um, here's one with the little heart cut out. Let me try to get a real close view of that for you. Look how pretty. So it does a great job. I got my scan and cut. Oh, I, I got it at the Houston Quilt Festival in the All Brands booth probably about, I want to say two years ago, could be three years ago. I remember that, Rain. It's probably one of the best purchases I made. <laughs> <laughs> You've been cutting it up. Everybody says that you make it look so easy, but guess what, guys? It is easy. It's so easy. And we have, if you want to get the special brother cork from the link that I put in the comments, you can use this coupon bro 15 off for 15% off all brother branded accessories. So don't miss out on that special. Great deal. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like I said, I do a lot of projects with cork and you know, I don't have any problems at all. Um, it's really a fun medium to, uh, to work with. And here's one that I cut out of, like a vinyl. This is sort of that, I don't know, it's got like this backing on it here. And you can see the little hearts. I did the hearts on this one too, and it cut it out perfectly. No problems whatsoever. So there is so much you can do. I'll look to see if there's any other questions. So it's almost done going around the circle, creating the um, satin stitch around where the opening is going to be so you can see the mirror. I do have to get that fabric mat though, Barbara. So be looking for maybe an order coming from me soon. <laughs> yes, it's awesome. No more high tech fabric support sheets. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's, that's yeah. going to be a great thing. So it's almost done. It's got like maybe just a couple more seconds to stitch. And the step is now finished. So I'm going to be taking my hoop off the machine. And here's that satin stitch uh, circle that it made for the opening. I'm going to take my scissors now and I'm actually going to cut the stabilizer. I want to take the stabilizer out. I don't want to cut too close to my satin stitches. And later on, when the whole mirror is done, you will have a little bit of water soluble here at the edge and you can take a Q-tip, dip it down in some warm water and clean that edge up and it will make it look really pretty. I've had some people say, you know, that their machines don't like cork, but you can see that, um, you know, my Luminaire just loves it. Okay, so I almost have this trimmed out. I don't have to be really neat because like I said, later on I can get a Q-tip and run, uh, put some warm water around this opening and dissolve the rest of that. The next step is we're gonna go to the back side of the machine and I'm just gonna clip these little threads here because I don't want them to show through on the front side. And now it's time to place our mirror. Again, a three inch craft mirror and I'm going to be placing it into this um, stitch line right here. You can see this placement line. So it's gonna go like this. Now I am gonna have to tape this down. So I'll have to lay my hoop down and I'm gonna get two pieces of tape, make sure it's in the placement line. And I'm gonna tape it like an X going across. Keep it in that placement line. And I'm just putting two pieces of tape and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I get it taped down well. 
So all I did was tape it down, cross two pieces of tape over. Now, the next step after we place that, I'm going to be putting the back uh, piece on. And what did I do with it? Here it is. And you can see it's going to go in the outer circle here. And you do want to make sure that you get it lined up well. And I'm probably going to tape this down because I don't want it to shift on me at all. So I think just a couple of pieces will be fine for this. And you watch when you're putting tape on cork because you don't want anything to happen. There are different types of cork and you don't want your cork to get um, marred when you go to pull the tape off. So you can see that I've taped the piece on the back side. Now I'm just carefully going to put it back on my machine and make sure that, that nothing shifts on the bottom. I don't want my mirror to move and I don't want my cork to move. And I'm ready to stitch this next step. Now this is a tip I got from Joanne Banco. You know how sometimes when you start stitching, like a running stitch going around something, and on the back side, you get one of those nasty little knots. Well, if you look at this one, you can see that I don't have one of those nasty little knots. And how you avoid that, let me grab my upper thread here. So I'm gonna hold my upper thread in my hand. I'm gonna push needle down, needle up, and I'm gonna pull up my bobbin thread from the um, underneath. And let me just get both of these in my hand. Okay, so now I have my bobbin thread here, my top thread here. I'm gonna lower the foot and I'm just gonna hold these until it starts. Let it take a few stitches. And I can stop the machine because I don't wanna ever put my scissors under it while it's running. Clip it and then let it continue stitching that step. So there's, it's not gonna hit the mirror at all because of the way that I designed this. What it's doing now is it's stitching the top cork to the bottom cork to encase that mirror inside. And it's just doing a triple stitch as it's going around. Let's make sure everything stays where it should. And it's almost done. Everybody, don't forget, we have 15% off of the cork on our website with the coupon code GROW15OFF. Nice. You, yeah. you will see my machine has one more step. Let me see if I could kind of turn it. And that is a little X. And I put an X down here so that my needle, my uh, foot of my needle will not go back to the center over top of the mirror. That's there as a precaution. The design is done and it's ready to come out of the hoop. So you can see how nicely it's stitched. Let's change the camera back to me. Oh, I have to do that, sorry. <laughs> This is a lot to get um, set up here. <laughs> I'm surprised it all worked for me today. You look so festive. I love your room. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of changed things up for the holidays in here. So I've just taken it out of the hoop. And what I'm going to do is grab some scissors here. And I'm just going to trim my water soluble kind of close to the edge just to get this mirror out of here and get rid of all of this excess. And then what I'll do is I will go to um, the sink later on and I will dissolve the uh, water soluble that's left around the edge here and clean up the water soluble in the middle. And when I am done, I've got a cute little mirror. That is super so, cute, I mean, Rain. So, and it was so easy to do, wasn't it? What makes it <laughs> easy is the scanning cut. You know, because I, looking at the scallops on here, do you think that you could cut that out nicely? No way. No way okay. at all. You could not do yeah. that by hand. <laughs> I saw your face in the reflection. That's so cool. So <laughs> let's do a giveaway. Um, 
So everybody uh, give us a comment, like, if, if you like this, please share it. And um, I'm going to pick a random winner for an allbrands.com gift card for, for $10. And <laughs> give me some comments. <laughs> All right. Dolores Patterson, congratulations. You were the winner. Email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number, and we'll get your prize to you. So thank you so much, Reen, for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. You'll see me at 4.30, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again today. Thank you. Keeping me in check. All right. Well, um, we'll see you a little bit later. Thank you so much, All Reen. Bye-bye. Right. Okay. All right. So we'll be back in a bit. Uh, in about five minutes. And our next uh, presentation is going to be at our Houston retail store. So you can see all of um, the fabric and notions and machines that they have there. We're going to have Wendy and Bobby, and that will be in, a, in about five minutes. So here we go. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
Okay, so I love that we're a family-owned business. And I'm sorry because I'm seeing the comments from Team All Brands. And I love, love, love everyone that we work with. Whew, sorry, I'm getting emotional. But it's because my parents started this business in 1976. My twin brother and I are the second generation, and we really take it very seriously. Um, we love what we do. We love that we're able to inspire people and that you're here with us. So huh. anyway, I love all of our staff. So I would love for you to meet, um, well, it was going to be Margie and Wendy, but now it's Bobby and Wendy. <laughs> we may talk about that a little bit later at our Houston location. So we have seven stores in Louisiana and Texas. So Slidell, Baton Rouge, uh, Lafayette, Lake Charles is soon to be back open for the hurricane damage, um, Houston and San Antonio, Texas. So this is our Houston store with Bobby and Wendy. And oh my gosh, Jill, I love you too. I love all of our customers and all of our staff and David Jones and Barb Mike Klechek and brother, who's also a family owned business. Um, it's just so special. So here they are, and I know that you're gonna love them. So, all right. So, hey, Wendy, how are you? Pretty good, how are you? Bobby. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's been a crazy day. Uh, Hi, welcome to our hey. Houston store. We're having a lovely day today. It's actually cold outside. Winter has come for at least a day or two. We'd like to take your temperature to make sure that we keep you and everybody in our store healthy. Thank you very much. Now, we do carry for Nina and Brother sewing and embroidery machines. We also carry cover stitch machines, and sergers. So let's show you a few things about our store. If you look behind me down this side, these are our Bernina machines. We do carry the Bernina sewing only machines, as well as the Bernina dual sewing and embroidery machines. We're proud to have the newest Bernina serger in the store. It does far more things than an average serger does. So come on down and see us and take a look at it. I also, in front of me, are our two biggest machines, our Stellaire XJE, XJ1, sorry, and our Luminaire XP2. These are both dual machines. They both embroider and they sew. The XP2 I have set up for a little demonstration in a short while. And you can see that we're going to do a towel for Christmas. You can also see that we have used Kimberbell. And I have taken my Kimberbell Buddies pillow that I've already made. And I've decided because I like my snowman so much, I want to make some towels to go with it. So I have adapted the pattern to put it on a towel instead of a pillow form. As you come to this direction, a little bit more towards me, I'm back again. Hi. If as the camera steps towards me, you will look down the side over here you will see the rest of our brother machines. We carry brother dual, both embroidery and sewing, as well as brother sewing only, and sergers and cover stitch machines. We also carry the big 10 needle, the 1055X, and we carry the six needle, the Persona 1000, and we carry the small single needle which will still hold four threads, but you have to thread each one individually. Behind me, as the camera comes around, you will see some of our newest lines of fabric. We like to show off our newest fabric, so we place them up front so that when you come in, you get a good view of them. 
Also, you can see some of our Kimber Bell that is right next to it. That particular setup shows all of our patterns that we currently have. And one thing that we are very impressed with is Kimber Bell puts out both an embroidery magazine as well as a sewing version. So just because you don't have an embroidery machine doesn't mean you can't make a really cool Kimber Bell quilt. <laughs> and then just a little bit to the left of that is our Kimber Bell that we have some of our accessories. We have our glitter dot, our glitter material. We have our glitter dot organza. We have purses that we have the frames to put onto the purses. We also carry a Kimber Bell leather that makes excellent purses. We have our watercolor cards so you can customize your cards as you would like. We have totes that you can embroider design on and sew them up. We also carry kitchen uh, aprons, which are really cool for this time of the year. And Kimberbell has a line of towels. As you glance back over my shoulder, you will see that we are ready for Christmas and that we have several of our wonderful machines specially placed for people's eyes to be caught to catch it for Christmas presents. As we continue, you will notice that you can see more and more of our fabric that we carry in stock. Also, when you look up high around the store, you will see completed quilt kits and you will see panels because we carry a wide array of panels. And that way you can see them up before you try and figure out what they look like folded up in the little package. We also, as we're scanning over here, you will notice that we carry a line of pre-cuts the 10 inch layer cakes, the five inch, the two and a half inch jelly rolls. And we carry a variety of the cake mix recipes in both sizes to allow you to paper piece a really cute quilt. Behind me, oh, this is our beginning quilting class. This is the sample quilt that our students can make. They choose their own colors. We have a variety of books and pattern books that will not only give you more ideas of what you might like to create, but some of our books actually discover, teach you how to do um, basic sewing sewing A to Z. So you've got lots of reference material here. And then you will see our notions wall, which we keep fully stocked. We have everything from scissors to needle threaders. And we have a variety of choices because some people need things, different types of scissors than others do. We also carry a full line of pre-cut batting for quilting. We do carry a request dream come cotton. So we also carry a full line of the supplies that you will need to cut your material with. So we have rulers. And those are the Quilter Select. Yes, they're awesome. <laughs> the best ruler in the world. And actually it doesn't want to turn. We carry the Quilter Select rotary cutter. Behind here, we have a series of specialty rulers. So if there is something that you want to do that is a specialty ruler, like we have the 45 degree triangle to allow you to make stack and whack quilt tops. So 
Miss Wendy's going to turn slowly and you'll see that we have a classroom which is in use right now. So I can't take you in to see it. I would luck to, like to, but I can't right now. <laughs> also, we carry cutting mats, the quilters select. And one thing we do is we do fat quarters. And on Fridays, we have fat quarter Friday. So you buy two, you get one free. We have fat quarters all over the store. This particular area has primarily solids and tulip pink. We also have a wonderful wall of brother accessories. So if there's a specialty foot that did not come with your machine and you want to get it, come on in. We've got them here. And if not, we will order them for you. So this is our brother wall. Also on our brother wall is our software collections. So if you need to upgrade, we have those up here. If you need to upgrade your machine, your XP1 or the Dream Machine, we do have upgrade kits here. Also, we carry a full line of Schmetz needles. Since brother, takes an EBBR needle, Schmetz are EBBR needles, and these work wonderfully with any sewing machine. We also carry a line of hand needles. So when you're doing your hand sewing and you need them, we have them here. We also have long arm needles. Okay. More of our fat quarters. These are the uh, 18 by 30. And then we have this wonderful line of slimline and halo go uh, lights to put behind your machine. They are. Oh, can I interrupt you there, Bobby? Can I interrupt you for just a second? Yeah, so guys, we have specials uh really good specials don't hop out of this one yet because it's going to be every day um in the allbrands.com mall booth daylight is offering amazing pricing just for these three days so um we do have two booths going on at once so I, it just reminded me so um definitely don't miss out on on that with cali in the allbrands.com mall booth but Stick with us here today, for sure. And stick with us till the end of this video because we are going to be doing a giveaway for a gift card. So that's exciting too. Okay. All right, back Thank to you, you, Barbara. We do have the Wafer One light box, which is absolutely amazing. If it drops on the floor and you jump on it, it actually doesn't break. <laughs> Our very own Margie Coxie yes. showed that last year. Our wonderful manager tested it out at the quilt show last year. More of our fat quarters and Oh, excuse me. Let me get the right one, Barbara. More of our pillows that you can take the center out and you can embroider what you want on it. I have to say this, go Tigers. <laughs> Sorry about that. We also carry a line of Best Press, Terrio Magic, Temporary Adhesive, Restoration Powders to, to restore old quilts. And as we walk past our counter, where we have our two checkout areas, you will notice that we have, we have a series of scan and cut cards, and we have uh, more of our uh, dime fabric designers up there. We carry the scan and cut, which we absolutely adore, especially because as a quilter, I like sending it over to the XP2 so that I can do my applique without having any problems. Let 
me show you what we've set up over here on the Luminaire. As I said, I have done my Bench Buddy pillow, but I decided I wanted to do a Bench Buddy pillow towel. <laughs> so I have taken my design and I put it into the XP. And because this machine is so wonderful with its ability to show me exactly where I'm going to place it on my towel, I am able to set it right where I want it. So now I know that I have it as far up as I want it, or if this case I wanted to change it, it's very simple for me to move my towel to change it. And here he comes. So now he's ready to go. So I'm going to start out by stitching my placement line to put my glitter material down. Now the other nice thing about the XP2, because it stitches so well, I'm actually able to put this down without having to tape it. I am floating it and I will get no bubbles, no creases in it. It will stitch perfectly. So, Bobby, this is the Luminaire XP2 machine, yes, yes, and we have a very great quilt show special going on for this machine. Um, not only are we offering 60 months 0% financing on that, um, you get a bundle and pick one accessories. So you get Angela Wolf in the box with her uh, workshop masterclass. You get the bag set, the PE Design 11, a thread kit, all of the included accessories that are already included in the box. When you purchase it locally from all brands, you get guide classes uh, with the machine to show you how to use them. Um, and there's even more. I know that there's, um, there's another thing. So I'll come back in um, in a second. That's okay. <laughs> and for those of you that come to the Houston store, I am your guide teacher. And we have a good time in our guide classes. And hopefully you leave knowing everything there is to know about your machine. And this machine does far more than anyone can tell you in a quick come by the store and look at it. So I have to trim this now. And once this is trimmed, then I'm going to put it back in. By the way, another really cool feature about the XP2 is if, while I am embroidering, I run out of bobbin thread, it will allow me to do a lock stitch and take it out, do my embroidery, or change my bobbin, and put it back in. And I'll be right where I'm supposed to be to start stitching again. And that really, really with embroidery is nice. So as you can see, I have to trim. This takes a short while, sorry about that. So 
So while you're trimming that, um, the pick one option that they get the full bundle, um, plus they get to either pick a full market value trade in off of the MSRP of the machine, or they can pick the magnetic frame with the magnifying lens that um, Angela and I will be talking about a little bit later, or they can pick the Scan and Cut SDX 230D free with the machine or a 10 year extended warranty or a $500 gift card or the playbook or BES4. You have just a whole ton of options that you can choose extra uh, as a pick one option. So it's really geared towards you when you purchase from all brands, you get to pick what you get free with that machine plus you get bundles so as you can see it's not very hard to do this nor to adapt this design the nice thing about Kimberbell is when you get your package it prints out a pdf file that you can follow how to do everything that you need to do step by step so in this case, it's easy enough for me to not make the pillow because all I'm interested in doing is the embroidery work here. Once this embroidery work is done on my cowl, I'm done. If I'd wanted to make a pillow, I would have continued with the rest of the instructions in the booklet and I could have made a really cute bench pillow. Sorry for the glare. <laughs> So Bobby, besides that, what is your favorite thing about the Kimber Bells? My favorite thing about the Kimber Bells is that everything is very organized and it helps me to make sure that I don't make mistakes as I go through it. I have just completed my first Kimber Bell quilt I did on the boardwalk and I'm going to, now that I have my new uh, size frame, magnetic frame for this i'm going to be custom quilting that using uh my design center and hopefully i'll have it up as a sample in the store in about another two or three weeks it's really cute barbara you should see it it has to do with um a boardwalk in louisiana pontchartrain beach from new orleans Oh, wonderful. And lots of purple and gold materials, little tiger paws. It's so. very, very unique. And she said it was a great fun to make. Look how easy it is to thread that machine. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even have to try and get a magnifying glass to see the needle. <laughs> Any other questions, Wendy? Barbara? Um, no, we probably need to um, start to transition into the next live, which is me. So if you if you want to go over a little bit, that's totally fine because I'm uh, uneasy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he still has about another uh, 12 minutes to finish stitching out. So that's why I did one up front so that you could see the finished piece. Hey, how about this? I'll keep you backstage. The next demonstration is going to be me and I'm going to be talking about the upgrades. So when you purchase a brother top of the line machine and then they have another like upgraded model come out, you don't have to buy the whole new machine to get all of those features. That's what I love about brother. They come out with upgrades they come out with updates and upgrades the updates are free the upgrades add full features and sometimes even like tangible products to the machine so there's two 
uh, available for the XP1 to make it the XP2. So you're sewing on the XP2. I have the XP1, but guess what? My XP1 now, because it's been upgraded with the two brother upgrades, is an XP2 basically. So I'll bring you back in real quick. Yeah, so is mine. I have the same thing, Barbara. I have the XP1 at home and I love it. And I got both upgrades because I wanted my XP1 to come up to an XP2. And they work wonderfully. And another nice thing about those upgrades is they are very, very easy to follow. And our customers have had no trouble doing it themselves at home. So that's yeah. awesome with these upgrades. Yeah. Also, like I said, you're going to talk about those new upgrade features, so I won't steal your thunder. <laughs> All right. So we're going to just transition into mine, and I'm going to keep you backstage, and then I'll kind of um, bring you back in in a little bit, and you can show us your end project. How does that sound? Sounds great. Okay, so we'll be back in a minute. And Patricia actually had a question uh, about the trade-ins. So just contact your local all brands store in Louisiana and Texas. Let them know what machine you have and we will work out a deal for you. Um, so yeah, just contact the store and we'll, we'll, we'll take care of you on the trade-in. Uh, <laughs> Bertie says, wish cars offered upgrades without buying a new one. I love it. So before we transition to the next one, um, we are going to be doing a giveaway. So y'all start chiming in and commenting. I'm going to give a $10 all brands gift card to a random commenter. And so let me see. Okay. Connie asks, can't, <laughs> can't wait to get back to the store. I agree. And Jill says, where do you get to see all the machines on sale? So allbrands.com uh, website, you can see uh, our current specials at the top, or you can um, go to the schedule underneath the allbrands.com slash quiltfest and click the links for that. So let's see who's going to comment. Sandra Bro, congratulations. If you could email me at events at allbrands.com your name email address and phone number i will get that ten dollar all brands gift card um sent to you on monday and congratulations for that so let's just transition right into the next one and that's me um so we're going to talk about the xp2 upgrade today and i'm actually going to show you a video on that um let's see i think this is it here we go all right if you can hear me or if I'm echoing. Okay. okay. So this, this is me, Barbara. Just give me just a second. Oh, one, one woman show here. Okay. We have, oh, I know why. 
that's why. All right. So now let me know you can hear me. Uh, <laughs> okay. If you can't hear me, let me know. But this is the new uh, for 2021 Brother XP2 upgrade. And I'm just going to kind of show you what comes in the box really quick. And then we are going to show you some things on the screen. So there's so many different things that come in these new upgrades. I'm going to be talking about this for the next three days. So um, this is the box for the upgrade pack two. The model number is S-A-V-R-X-P-U-G-K-2. Thanks, Sandra, for letting me know you can hear me. Um, so when you open the box, you will get and I've already opened this, so it's not as pretty as it was before. You get these new amazing stickers. They're called snowball stickers and an activation card. So, and there's so many features on this activation card that I'm going to show you that's so great. And it's, I didn't realize how easy it is to update the machine. It is so, so, so so simple. So let me transition to the machine and I'll show you some of the features with that. So here's my machine. This is actually an XP1 machine that has been upgraded to the XP2. So all you have to do when you want to upgrade your machine is Okay, so it's going to do its little calibration, if you can see here. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Oh, my goodness, from Australia. How's the weather? That's so exciting <laughs> that you're watching from Australia. Welcome to uh, Louisiana is where I am currently, but we have stores in Texas as well. So when you go to your machine, you can go to, let's see. Oh, uh, Okay, so you want to find where it's going to have the upgrades on your machine, which is here. So if you're not sure if you have the upgrades or not, like when you want to purchase a used machine or which we still have maybe some XP ones available seminars uh, in some of our stores potentially, uh, but they're going really quick. So sometimes we'll get trade ins. Like, because some people actually traded in their XP1 for their XP2. Um, you can check on here to see if the upgrade kit one or upgrade kit two has been installed. And that's just on the screen right here. Let's see. Yeah, upgrade kit one and upgrade to kit two. So if they're not installed, then there will be a button. And then you just click certification. You type in the number on the card and it does it all wirelessly on this machine. So what are the new features? So the first thing is the quilt sashing feature. So let me just move the camera down just a little bit. Oh, Diane, you bought the upgrade? That's awesome. Oh, and everybody, the upgrades still qualify for that coupon, the 15% off if you purchase them in our allbrands.com retail store locations. Um, and this is the code bro 15 off for that. So let's see, how am I on time? Okay, I'm doing good. So let's go to um, embroidery and sashing. So before uh, I did my upgrade, it only had one option for sashing and that was a single color um, design. And then whenever I upgraded from one to two, it allowed me to, and when I put the upgrade kit one, it allowed me to do that even larger, but we're talking about upgrade kit two today. So what else is added? We have a two color quilt sashing pattern, and these are gorgeous, everybody, and hexagon. And the great thing about this is Whenever you choose this and set, you have the option to do it in a smaller fashion or the second option allows you to do it very, very large. So if I select the second option, I can go all the way up to 100 
and 18 inches, which is great. And guess what? There is a new hoop that's an optional accessory for this machine. It's called the magnetic sashing frame. And I'll show you that with Angela a little later, but it's a magnetized hoop that allows you to easily slide your fabric down uh, specifically for this function, but you can use it for many other things. Another great feature is you can now zoom up to 400% on your embroidery designs, which is so great. So if you choose a design and you want to see it very close, look at that. I can see all of my stitches so closely with that. And there's 50 new designs. So let's delete that. We're going to go to, oh, we're going to go to this last category, new designs for the XP2. So I love that it has an intuitive screen that allows you to zoom in and zoom out because I need my glasses sometimes. I have very hard of seeing, I guess. So um, these are just some beautiful, beautiful designs. You have some quilting patterns in here, um, like this one. Uh, just, just gorgeous, gorgeous designs. So if I wanted to, there's also another really awesome feature. Let me just go to a, a, a small design real quick. Here we go. Let's do a rose. Okay, so now if I go to edit, it has new stippling features in the machine. So before we had the auto stippling, and then I think with upgrade kit one, you may have gotten the uh, the echo. No, you just mm, I'll have to get back to you on that one. But there's and there's now you have all of the my design center auto fills in the screen. Um, so it's going to fill in the background. I can choose my hoop size here. So optimally, we want a square hoop with this machine. So it's going to like recalibrate. So I want to choose the 10.5 by 10.5 hoop. Okay, let's see. Wow. Okay. And then you select your pattern and look at all these beautiful fills without even going into my design center. This is a big deal because before you had to create a stamp around the design, then import it into my design center and then work with that stamp and not see the actual design in my design center. So this makes it so much easier to see your projects. So these are just absolutely gorgeous. So I can choose any one of these patterns and guess what? With any one of these patterns, there are so many different ways to manipulate that once you get it into the computer uh, on the screen. So I'll just zoom in just a little bit more. And I can like make the distance farther away. And I can change the size of that. So it's recalibrating all of the stitches right now. Um, all right, so I can change the size. Let's just click OK. Isn't that awesome? So guess what? What if you have this little opening? Do you see how it didn't, um, it left like a little opening here? Guess what? We can go to the stamp function. Oh, I made it too big. But anyway, you use the stamp function and now you can get into those little spaces that you weren't able to get into before. Oh my goodness, like before I had to do this design and then bring it back into My Design Center, scan it, and then do it again. So the new My Design Center fills are some of the ones that I showed you, but that's in the My Design Center. So in My Design Center, if you guys don't have the XP1 Luminaire, um, it's amazing. You can create your own designs in the machine. Um, so, and also, guess what? There's an app. There's an app that you can take a picture of a line drawing on your phone. So um, I can't do that now because my phone is using my audio, but it's really, really cool um, where you can send the design wirelessly from your phone, like a line drawing. So I actually was practicing that this morning 
And so what I did is I sent this wirelessly to my machine earlier as a JPEG image that I took on my phone. And why is that, why is that good? Because your phone has a higher DPI camera than, than the machine if it's a later model. So your phones are going to continuously have really great cameras on them and um, you can't switch off the camera in the machine. Um, so it's just, it's, it's a better picture quality. It's faster than using the traditional scanning mat, which is, which is this before you would have to scan your image. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Looks like I'm almost, so I would have to scan this and it would, it takes a little bit longer to scan. And then that would bring that in the, into the machine. So this way I snapped a picture. I sent it to the machine and I'm going to bring it into my design center. So it's going to ask me to crop it. I can choose what kind of stitch I want. So if I want a three uh, running stitch or maybe even like a candle wicking stitch, that would be really cute. I choose my color. Um, do I want it to be a closed or open design? Um, yeah. So uh, all I have to do is just crop out the things that I don't want in the picture. So this is called My Snap Mobile App. So say you're at a friend's house and you see like a line drawing from their grandkid on um, their refrigerator. Well, guess what? If you're thinking about doing a uh, present for them, you can take a picture of that with your phone and like secretly, you know, bring it to your machine now uh, to, to pull it in, which I think is really, really cool. So then I can set the design and I can do anything with that. I can fill it in with, with different fills. I can modify the outline um, so that my snap for mobile app is really, really neat. So we're going to be talking a lot more about the XP2, um, the XP1 to XP2 upgrades, but um, yeah, throughout the next three days. So like if I set that, because there's just so much, I can't, I can't fit it all in one, uh, <laughs> in one demonstration. So now um, I brought it into embroidery. Now, like I said before, you can fill in after you're in embroidery. Okay. Say you wanted to add a design. I mean, hello. And guess what? These machines have Disney designs, which are so great. So let's see here. Turn. We go to Disney. Look at all of these wonderful. So this is, um, this you get in the XP1 and the XP2, but look how cute this one is. I'm just going to put that little Mickey Mouse ear in there. That looks terrible, but just use your imagination. I think it's cute, right? And now if we go to embroidery, guess what I can do? I can go to, uh, let's see, let's go to edit. I can go to colors now and guess what? There is tons of different brands now of embroidery thread colors. So if we zoom in on this, you can see it now has the brother country, Madeira Poly, Madeira Rayon. This is a big deal, y'all. So if you have Floriani thread and you love it and you want to match your colors, that is perfect. So in the upgrade one, you get color shuffling. So let's see. Uh, let's see here, color shuffling because I have too many designs in there. We'll, we'll cover that a different day, but I hope that this was informative to you. And I'm gonna do a quick, quick giveaway. Let me switch my camera real quick. And we're going to transition to back to the store. So let's see here. Um, the giveaway is, let me switch my cam. Let's see. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, so let's see. We're going to be doing a giveaway. 
And so give me a comment and I'll pick a winner. Let's see, giveaway time. All right. And Marilyn, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm gonna be giving you a $10 All Brands gifts card. So be sure to email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And we will get that emailed out to you on Monday the 7th. So let's check in. Um, Bobby, are you ready? Sure. You ready, Always. Bobby? Maybe not yet. Just yes, let me know I'm if ready. you can hear me and you're ready. I can hear you. Okay, cool. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So you're on the screen. Why don't you give us an update on your design? Word design is almost finished. Hold on. Cameron is having a technical problem. Why won't you search? <laughs> okay. <Pause. laughs> okay. Here we go. Are we back? Yes. Hey, nope. We're back. We're about to show another really cool feature of the XT2. Um, as soon as I get to the last word, I, I want to change my color for the word home. And it will stitch it completely out in the color that I have now. So in a few minutes, as soon as I get to the end of like, I'm going to stop the machine, change out my colors, and I'll be able to back up to make sure that I get my word home all in the correct color. While that's going on, Barbara, I just want to show you this. Kimberbell has it where you fluff up the earmuffs to make them even more adorable. They have that as the instruction. I, just, I love that little touch. That is super cute. There's no place like home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not quite cold enough in Houston for snow, but it's cold out there today. So it's going to do my L-I-K-E, and as soon as it finishes my E, I'm going to stop the embroidery process, and I'm going to change my threads out, and then I'm going to be able to adjust, since I'll probably get somewhat into the H on home, and get the color I want to use in there. So I'm able to stop it right where I want it to be stopped so that I can change my thread out. Yeah, let's just throw the thread all the way down on the floor. Other fingers. We all have it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Watch your watch your thread on the thread spool right there. Mm -hmm. Shift it forward. Yeah. There you go. So if I wanted to, because I was able to stop it perfectly on the letter H, because you can see on my screen, my green plus is at the top of the letter H. But if I had gone into my letter H, I'm able to back up stitches or go forward stitches to make sure I'm in the exact place I need to be to start my last word. So this allows me to even change something that Kimber Bell designed and do it in the colors that I would like to do it in. That's why we like this big luminaire so much just wide open to being able to do so many things that you yourself want it to do.
Yeah. So for those of you who are just tuning in, this is our Houston store location. We have locations in San Antonio, Houston, and five in Louisiana. Um, one of them, Lake Charles, is currently temporarily closed because of hurricane damage. Um, but yes, Louisiana and Texas and don't miss out because these three days you're getting the 60 month zero percent financing, the huge percentage off the bundles and um, pick one. So that's really, really cool. Look how cute that turned out. So now our little snowman is finished almost. <laughs> and because I floated him and have him on a tearaway stabilizer, I'm able to take him out real quickly out of my hoop. And you can see our really cute, almost finished product. My next step is to go on the back and do some trimming of the bobbin threads. And that will allow me to make my earmuffs be really fluffy. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for staying after so that we could see the end result of that really, really cute. Um, there's snow place like home snowman. Thank you, uh, Bobby and Wendy, the, our camera woman. Um, and we really appreciate y'all uh, so much, all your hard work and cute mask. Oh, thank you. Love it. All right, so we're gonna uh, take a little five minute break and then we'll be back with Cindy Hogan at the top of the hour and she's going to be talking about PE Design 11 digitizing and split designs and yeah so thank you Bobby thank You're you welcome. Wendy. you did a great job keep up the good work and we love you so much y'all come on down and see us soon yeah Bye. what's the address oh the address 18 203 Egret Bay Boulevard and what's your phone number <laughs> You're not supposed to put us on the spot like that. Where we Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> Your phone number is 281-333-5322. So if y'all are interested in purchasing a machine from, um, from Wendy and Bobby, this is their phone number at the store. So and give Karen's them a call. In the background and say, yeah, oh. Sharon's here too. Wave, Sharon. Yeah, they will give you a great deal on a machine. You're going to get on the XP2 Luminaire 55% off of machine and bundles plus pick one. And that's an allbrands.com exclusive. So good luck, everybody. And thank you so much for, uh, for, showing us your store virtually. We really appreciate that. Not a problem. Enjoyed showing you guys everything. Okay. Have a happy holidays. Thank you. Okay. All Bye. right. Bye. So we're going to transition and we'll see you at 12 o'clock with Cindy Hogan. So get go get yourself a glass of water and uh, we'll be back very soon.
allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Houston International Quilt Festival, which is virtual this year. And I'm so happy that we're able to connect with you. So give us a comment. At the end of this presentation, we'll be doing a special giveaway. Um, and yeah, so we have a very awesome, awesome person that I see backstage. Her name in this corner, we have Cindy Hogan. So I will bring her in. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Cindy. I won't duke it out with you today. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm great. How about yourself? Excellent. Day one. Super Day excited. Day one. Going yes. good. <laughs> I've been watching in the back. Oh gosh, I hope you didn't see my my upgrade demonstration. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, but I do love those upgrades. So what do you have to show us today? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about, about software today. Oh, I seem to be echoing on your ear. Your Okay. Let me see if I can reduce my sound. Is that better? Oh, now I can't hear you at all. That's because I muted myself. Okay. <laughs> You're coming in loud and clear. I hear you. I think everything's good. Okay, so good deal. Just, 
uh, let's just take it away and you're going to show us PE Design 11 full digitizing software, which is available for purchase online currently. And we have a special coupon on it that I'll let y'all know. Um, so it's you, you can now buy it online and you get a discount. So take wow. it away, Cindy. <laughs> That's that unheard of. They don't <laughs> normally let us do that. So that's kind of exciting. Yes. P Design is our full digitizing program. It actually has many things in it, though. I kind of consider it my wonder toolbox because we actually have amazing machines. They have decorative fills in them. They, ha they will do a ton of stuff on their own. But there's times that you might want to do a little trick or two with software because it's faster, easier and you can snip it. But P Design also has a um, design database in it, which allows you to catalog your designs, convert your designs between formats. It allows you to actually print out catalogs of designs, see what you've got on your computer without having to do anything else. It also allows you to view thumbnails of your designs without going into any software. All you have to do is open your Windows Explorer. So it is a Windows based software program and I'm going to show my screen just to get started. If you never digitize a thing, you should always actually have a software program, in my opinion, because it does make your life a little bit easier because you may not want to create a design at all but you may want to take parts out of a design. So that's one of the things that we're going to start with is how do I take, how do I bring in a design and take out something? That's the first thing I'm going to show you after we do a little tour here. So when you first open your software up, it's going to give you this opening wizard. And what this does is it allows you to go to frequently used places. You've got an instruction manual, you've got a template designer wizard, you can set your hoop size and fabric, and this is kind of a recipe selector. So that's the first thing I'm going to do once we get started here. You can import text pattern shapes from your design library. You can open up your embroidery, an embroidery design that you've been using, and you can start your design database that I was talking about. If you've been working on something recently, it will appear up here in this box and you can select from the things that you've done recently. Well, let's choose set hoop size and fabric. And I was playing earlier, so it popped up. Um, <clears throat> this is where you select your hoop. You can choose from a single needle machine like your Luminaire, or if you've got a multi-needle machine like a PR1055X, you choose from the PR hoop selection menu. You'll get different controls based on which hoop you select, which style hoop you select because there's things that you can do for a PR that you can't do for a single needle machine. So it automatically lets you pick between the two and then you select your hoop size. Now I've got mine in metric because I've memorized them this way, but if you don't have, if you don't know metric, that's okay. I'll show you how to change that in just a sec. So I'm going to select my default hoop, which is a four by four hoop. It's hundred by hundred. And then it brings up, okay, what kind of fabric do you plan on creating this for? Well, what are you planning on embroidering on? That doesn't mean you can't change it later to change your selections, but this gives you a starting spot. So let's say I want to choose a knit fabric. I choose knit fabric. It gives me the settings for that. It tells me recommended stabilizers, recommended needles, and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, and then I'm ready to work. <clears throat> If I'm creating something, I've got tons of shapes here. One of my favorite things to play with are just the built-in shapes. We all like to do applique. So if I select my shape, I can click on my home tab and I can touch my applique wizard. What I love about this applique wizard is that it actually puts the file that you need to cut with your scan and cut to the correct dimension to where you don't need to resize it at all it pops it out to that outer edge. You want to, if you're going to do it for um, an applique, you would choose replace. If you were going to add to it by that, I mean, if I wanted the applique to go around the outside edge of this, I could choose add. But for right now, I'm just going to choose replace. And I've got my density set. I've got my um, width set and I've got a zigzag stitch. If I want a different style covering stitch, an E stitch is your blanket stitch. A V-stitch is like an invisible 
um, applique stitch, and then you also have chain stitch options. The most popular of the two are the zigzag and the E stitch. Let's go with zigzag and click OK. Now, I've got my design, nice little heart. Let's say I want to come in here and add text. So I click on my text tool and I click in the design page to activate it. And I type in my word and press enter. Now, I always type my text first instead of picking the font style first, because once I do that, I actually get to see a preview of my font style with my letters. Instead of seeing ABC, I get to see what those letters look like stitched out. The first five letters will pop up. So it's really important when you have an S and an L because those letters can sometimes look weird. You can use any of the built-in fonts, which there are 120 built-in fonts, and you can use your true type fonts that are available on your computer. So when you find one that you want, left click on it, and it will automatically apply. Oh, I haven't tried that one. That one's kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else we've got. I'm going to go back to my ladybirds because I do like that one. It's a true type font that I found recently that I truly love. It stitches out beautifully. Uh, so pick what you want. And let's see here. We want to change the color of that to red. Now, I want to send that file to my scan and cut so that it will cut out my applique piece. So I am going to select piece number one because that's my cutting stitch and click my select patterns icon, go up to my scan and cut tab and say export. Slide that offset spacing all the way to the zero, because remember I said you don't need to do anything with this. And then you can send it to Canvas Workspace if you want to go wirelessly to your machine. If your machine is not wirelessly wireless, you can actually just save it as an FCM file but we're going to go send to Canvas Workspace. Now, you do have to be logged into your Canvas Workspace, and there is a spot up here to log in. We're going to click OK because I it's sent. And now it says, do you want to send it to your Scan and Cut as well? You know what? That's exactly what I want it to do. So I will send it to my Scan and Cut, and then it's ready for me to pick up there and cut. So simple, so easy. Quick and easy is my favorite. That is the way I roll. Um, so, any questions out there for me, Miss Barbara? Just a lot of love, Cindy. A lot I of love. I love love. So, let's talk about taking a part of design out. Let's say I need a perfect snowflake today because it's winter, right? Although, and we did have snow this week. So I have a folder of designs. These are designs that came with the initial Luminaire package. So this is the, some of the designs from the um, 2500 that Brother gave out when with the first Luminaire came out. And I have those, so I'm going to go Selected Object Zoom. And if I look at this in realistic view, you'll notice I have a really pretty snowflake in there, right? I don't want to recreate the wheel. I just want to use what I have. So here's what we're going to do. Up at the top, when you have something selected that's in stitch format, which is anything that I didn't create myself, if I come up here to the Stitches, Stitches tab, I have some options. I can either just come in and take my Split Stitches tool and snip around my snowflake, or I can divide by color first to make it a little bit easier, but I'll show it both ways. We're going to choose our Split Stitches tool. And I am going to snip around that snowflake design. I don't care if I get a little bit of my red in there because the red is underneath it. No big deal. And I'm going to double click when I get that snowflake completely surrounded. And you'll notice it becomes its own little design. So I'm going to delete the rest of the design. There are two ways that I could do this. I could, as I said, divide by stitches, but or divide by color, or this is the easiest way. Click on your select tool, click on the select point tool, press the tab key one time. If your red activates, which it's the first color, so it should, press delete on your keyboard, and now you have a snowflake all by itself, ready to go. You can duplicate it. You could make yourself an entire design page of those because we have this little thing called an arrange copy tool. This is the bomb. 
we're going to choose matrix copy and that's going to let me fill my entire design page. I'm going to change my spacing to where they're spaced out a little bit further. And I'm going to put my cur cur cursor up there in the corner and drag it till it's where I want. Well, you know, those may be spaced a little far apart. So let's change them back down to five. And now you'll see that I get them closer together. When I've got as many as I want on there, I'm going to left mouse click. Now I have an entire page of snowflakes. Pretty slick, huh? If you want it in the middle of your hoop, control M for middle. They, it's very logical when you think about control keys, or you could have gone up to the arrange tab, choose move to center, and it would have moved them all to the middle. So that's an easy way to make decorative fabric. It's also an easy way to duplicate patches, all kinds of things that you can do there. Um, let's see here, Miss Barbara. What else would I want to do? Let's speaking of patches, let's say I want to create a patch out of this. I'm going to put it on a, um, a an item that would be hard for me to actually embroider on. I can touch my applique wizard. Once again, this time you'll notice it says I can only add. I cannot replace. I can only add. You tell it how far away you want it from the original pattern. Click OK. You've now created yourself a patch that's based on the style, uh, the based on the pattern that you have there in the screen. Now, you ask how I use that practically. Well, this is kind of fun. Let's say I want two color lettering, or I want a text, and then I want a shadow around the outside of it. So here's my lady, and I'm going to go to my home tab, and I'll choose my applique wizard. I could replace it or I can add to it. I'm going to add to it. This is a great way to make key fobs. You know, those, those key fobs that we have that are so popular, this is a super simple way to make that. If I wanted to have the key fob part of it, I'm going to undo what I just did. Grab my text and move it over. And I'm going to cheat and make myself a little rectangle right here. And you can adjust it to where it's in the center, but we're going to leave it like it is for right now. Grab all of it. Choose that applique wizard and voila, we now have a key fob. Delete. We're going to delete our rectangle. So I'm going to select it in my sewing order window. Move my cursor in and press delete. And I have a key fob. Pretty slick, huh? Yes. If somebody has PED Basic, which is the card reader writer box, they can still use this software, right? It will not work with their basic software, but they can buy PE Design. There used to be a PED Basic box that would write to a um, well, write to a card, but that and let you card. see designs, but that's all PE Design Basic does. Got it. Now. All right, so Barbara and I said we would talk about split hoops today. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. We have, Barbara, can you pop yourself back up here and take off my screen for just a second? Do you have the Durkee frame over there? I actually do. Let me, since we're not screen sharing anymore, this is Cindy Hogan. And I have PE Design 11 software, which I love. And this is it. And guess what, everybody? Just for the Quilt Show special, this is normally $2,000 for this software. It's now available for online purchase and in stores for $999. Plus, you can use a coupon on that. So now is the time. If you want to create your own designs uh, professionally with PE Design 11 software, mm -hmm. um, use code BRO15 off at checkout. And we're throwing in, if you have the, there's two options, the Persona or the 6 and 10 needle. We have this split design hoop. And Cindy, look what I did. You I did it. it. The embroidery size of my machine through this really cool split hoop. So um, don't miss out. Now's the time to buy digitizing software. I think that that's one of the best deals we have going on at the show right now. So, so back to you, Cindy. 
That is certainly a steal, Barbara. There's also a jumbo frame that works for the brother 10 needle that brother makes, and it automatically will use your snowman to reposition your design. So we'll start talking about it. Pop my screen on for me, Miss Barbara. All right. So if you're using the jumbo frame for the 10 needle, you choose your multi needle hoop. You come down here and you choose jumbo frame and click OK. Bring your design in. So I'm going to go to, let's see here. Um, let's go to some sample files that are built in because we have some really pretty sample files in here. And I actually want all of them up because there's one in here that is beautiful to do around Christmas time. And you know, or holiday time, but this is actually a Christmas design. I, I will have to say it is a Christmas design. Boy, it's taken my software a long time to do anything. It does not like being online. I don't know why. Okay, here we go. Now we can slide through. This design right here is created for the 10 needle jumbo frame. It is huge, absolutely huge. It, it fills the entire 14 by 14 inch frame. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it's exactly 10 colors. So you don't have to change colors on your machine. You set, the, set them up the first time and it's ready to go. So if I want to send this to my 10 needle, I have a 1055 X here. I can choose send, send a network machine. I have named my machine so that I know which one's different instead of sewing machine one, two, three. Um, my 10 needles name is my mother's nickname, Emma. And the other one is my grandmother. So Emma and Ethel are my two names. <laughs> Luminaires, Ethel. I may need to change that one to Rhoda because my grandmother Rhoda was the actual se seamstress in the family. It is sent it to my machine. And when I go over there, I can retrieve it from the wireless button. This design right here also, just so you know, has some great little pieces in it. And you can use that same little trick that I was doing a minute ago. That split stitches tool. You need an ornament. Come in here, snip around this little guy. You need a poinsettia. You need a, a candy cane. We're going to get rid of the rest of the design. And I'm going to show you that little trick one more time. So you'll see that you're left with the ornament and a couple of pieces. We don't need those right there. So what was my trick? Select point tool, tab key. We want to actually select the design first. Tab key, delete, tab key, delete. You now have an ornament. So no if I, easy. what? It's so easy. It, that is super simple. That is just so easy. Um, we're going to select our hoop. So now for the jump, for the um, Durkee frames, you have to do it a little bit differently. It's not hard, but you do have to do it a little differently. It is not automatically set up for you. So we're going to choose a custom size. And just so you know, even if you don't have a hoop that has two sides to it, if you're in a luminaire or in a different hoop, you can act different machine, you can actually split designs to make bigger designs for those machines as well. You just rehoop. The nice thing about the Durkee frame that's a brother exclusive right now is that we can actually split it into two parts. So the first thing we need to do is section size for the hoop. And the eight by 14 hoop has a section size of 190 by 190. That's basically 200 by 200, which is eight by eight. So it has to do it a little bit smaller. And we're gonna shrink the size of that down to where we have exactly two hoops. And you'll notice those red little dash, those red little lines around it, that's telling me how many hoops I have. And I happen to know that this is, I think, 370. I'll go up one and down one. There we go. We have our hoop set up. And we can now bring in a design. So let's see here, what have I got? Let's say we wanna do this one right here. Now let's do the one that, I've got, that I gave you, Barbara. I'm just double clicking to insert my design. You can click on it and click import. Either one of those will bring it to the center of the design page. You want to make sure that your design fits within your hoop parameters because it needs to be within those red dashed lines. 
and then click off the design. So I want to show you how what it does. I'm going to go down to my properties down here at the bottom right hand corner, select that, and it shows you what's going to show it. So in the first half of the hoop, you'll notice it throws in a not defined red color. This is your basting stitch. And if I'm stitching a design that's not doesn't have red in the color of it, that's exactly the color that I stitched the basting stitch line in. So it's nice and easy to see. Touch next. It will stitch that basting stitch first so that you can line it up. And then once you've got it lined up, you stitch the rest of the embroidery design out and you are done. Is that not cool? I love it. So what else would you like to see today? Oh, we do have to do photo stitch just because, don't we? Okay. We have uh, a minute or so to show that and then we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, there we go. All right. So let me hit new page and I'm going to change back to a standard hoop so that we don't go crazy here. Let's do an eight by eight. So one of the things that PE Design does better than any other software program, in my personal opinion, although you know I'm a brother brand ambassador, so I am biased, but they nobody's got us on this one yet. So I'm going to come into my PC and I believe those files are in my documents. And we will go into PE Design 11. There is a trial version that they can try out, but we're going to go into, to, I think it's samples here, and we are going to choose layout and editing and photo stitch. Here's a bunch of photo stitch images that you can, these are just pictures that you can play with, but this one's fun. I'm going to select my image and I'm, I'll give you a few tips and tricks, and then we will go back to your giveaway, Miss Barbara. Um, we're going to hit image tune because we want to sharpen our image up and click OK. I'm just going to crop it in because I don't need to see necessarily need to see that wall there. And click next. I'll fit it to my page so that it makes the maximum space. Click next. And there are two little things that was, are going to make your life easy. If you shorten the stitch, I want you to watch how much better detail you get, how, how this improves by shortening the stitch. You see how much more detail you get when you switch it up to fine, update your preview. You can increase your colors if you want to or not. It is up to you when you're done. You fit, Press finished. You can also select from candidates, but usually I find that I like the one it does originally presents me originally the best, but you can come and play if you want. When you're done, hit finished. One thing I will tell you in order for it to process faster, I suggest you are in stitch view and not realistic view. What, um, and Barbara's going to take a few minutes for it to process. So you can go up, pull yourself back up. You are muted, my dear. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I was clicking in the background. So like like I said, y'all, the time to buy PE Design 11 professional digitizing software by Brother is now because, because it is 50% off of MSRP. Plus you take additional 15% off with this coupon code below. Plus, you get the darky split frame for the 6 and 10 needle or the Persona. There's two optional packages. So don't miss out on this. This is an amazing, amazing deal. And you get Photoshop. You can create your own designs. You can send wirelessly to the 10 needle and the XP1. And so, so, so much more. So do you have anything else to say about it, Cindy? Um, now, it is my go-to software. I love it. It is a blast. It's great for customizing or creating your own stuff. Get in there and play with it. Have fun. If you don't need the Darky Hoop, that's okay. Buy the package and sell your Darky Frames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really, really. So somebody said it's on my wish list someday soon. Well, someday soon, this is going to be twice the price that it is on our website, and you don't get the 15% off. And 
uh, it's not going to include the Durkee frame in that package at that price. So don't miss out on that. So let's do a giveaway. I'm going to give away a $10 All Brands gift card real quick. So everybody give me some comments. I'm going to bring up that uh, ticker on the screen. It's giveaway time. And I will pick a random winner. Again, this is Cindy Hogan. She is a brother ambassador and amazing friend of ours. So I want to thank you, Cindy, for coming on the show. You're always great, great, great to have. And yeah, so let me pick a, a winner. Okay, here we go. Sandra Bro. Congratulations. Um, email events at allbrands.com and uh, your name, email address, and phone number. That's events at allbrands.com. And I'll get that $10 gift card emailed to you on Monday of next week. Congratulations, Sandra. Congratulations, Sandra. Yeah. So um, let's bring up the screen again. And our photo stitch is finished. <laughs> um, if I want to look at it in realistic view, I tend not to look at it in realistic view because your thread settings can affect the way it looks. It actually will stitch very close to what I've got right here. And it, the realistic view will take it a few minutes to actually pop up at, but you can change the realistic view down to where your thread settings are on thin and you will get a much more accurate view of what you're going to have. Isn't that pretty? Any cute? Gorgeous. I love it. Thank you, Cindy, so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate you and we'll see you again. Um, let's see a little later today at five o'clock PM central standard time. And we'll be talking about the magnetic sashing frame for the 10 needle. So don't miss out on that guys. So yeah. we're going <laughs> to, yeah. So I'm just going to take a quick little break, maybe like a, um, a minute or so. And then we're going to bring in Angela Wolf. It's uh, XP. It's XP today on the sash frame. Got it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> tomorrow right. we will play with decorative fills. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Well, we'll see you later, Cindy. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I know I, it said five minutes, but I don't want to miss any, any time with our next presenter because she is just so amazing. I'm sure you know who she is. Miss Angela Wolf from the Wolf Pack and Brother Brand Ambassador. And you are amazing. We're so excited to have you on the show. Hold on. I got to prepare for this because I'm not ready. Hold on. Angela Wolf. And if you're a wolf pack, give us a shout out. And here she is. Look how cute you look. I had to do this just for you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when that and I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> you look super, super cute. I'm so excited to be here today. You know, we couldn't be here in person. But, you know, this is the next best thing. And more people can view this and say hi. Uh, Deborah says hello. Hey, Wolfpack. I see them rolling in. Oh, so Barbara, I, had, I have another pair for this afternoon, too. Unfortunately, I'm going to not have – I can't wear them while I'm demoing because there's absolutely nothing in these. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have to show today angela oh my gosh so i don't even know where to start i'm going to be showing some new features on the luminaire too and there's so many on the sewing side and the quilting side so barbara what i set up is i have the luminaire two the brand new one set up for embroidery and i have the luminaire one with the upgrade set up for sewing so you wouldn't have to wait for me to go back and forth so I'm going to show a few things on the sewing side, which the brand new snowball, which is amazing. I call it the snowball. 
Endpoint yeah. showing. I'm going to show some samples, uh, some other things. Has anybody showed the quilt sashing yet? Not yet. I kind of demonstrated it in the, I, I showed it on the screen for the upgrades, but that's all I did so far. So Yeah, so I'm going to show, I finished a couple samples there. And actually, some of the samples that I'm going to be showing you are in the Luminaire Masterclass, which with the XP2 bundle is what you get. And so this is actually one of the bags that I show how to make. And if you look closely, this is all quilted with my design center, which we'll be doing that this afternoon a little bit. All of this was done in the machine with one easy piece of fabric, like one, just one piece of fabric, but you can design your own. So very cool. So would you like me to start with the sewing side first or the embroidery or do you not care? You know what? That snowball thing, that snowball feature is so cool. It is. You cool. So let's, let's go. To, let's go there first. If I can okay. remember which camera, I'll meet you there. Hey, that was a good guess. <laughs> All right. So I chose. Hopefully, you can see this fabric, okay? And um, I chose a bright pink because I thought you could see that better with the white background, and I'm using white thread. So this is what the sticker is. You get a whole sheet of these. Don't let your little nephews around them. That's <laughs> speaking from experience. And so the sticker is, you can use it over and over and over again, by the way. So I'm just going to take you over to the screen without getting you seasick. All right. Let's wake this baby up. I actually just, um, well, then, there we go. I, I just did the upgrade because I have Wi-Fi on here, and I didn't even realize there was an upgrade, and I put this on today, and it said, hey, you have an upgrade. So thankfully, I logged in early, so otherwise you'd be watching my machine update. So that is, by the way, I love this Wi-Fi feature on this machine. So this here is the XP1 with the upgrade, which will act just like the XP2. And I'm just going to go up here, turn all this off so you can see actually how I get this. So i bring you a little closer to the screen. And if you look closer, I spy. I'll be talking about this in a minute. Okay, so go into sewing. And you can use this feature on so many different things. It could be straight stitch. It could be decorative stitch. You name it. But let's just do a straight stitch first so you can see what I'm talking about. Click this icon up here. And you can see these are all of your options. It's this new button right here. So click on that. And this is what we call endpoint sewing. You can turn it off or on. So that's very important to remember. And also, if you look closely here, it actually shows you what to do. I love that. You really can't screw things up on here. Well, I mean, you probably could, but it's really hard to. It'll tell you when something's not right. So there it is. And also, if you're doing a decorative stitch, which we'll do second, you can decide if you want it to end at that point, no matter what. Uh, it doesn't matter if, if your decorative stitch is finished or if you want it to finish that entire decorative stitch and then end. So it's, you know, your choice. So for now, I'm just going to hit close and we're going to try this. So it's, it's in act. You, if you look over here, in act, it's enacted. <laughs> it's engaged. Oops, sorry about my camera. There you go. My elbow hit it. So what happens is this lights up. And if you see a rainbow effect, that's, that doesn't come with the machine. It's just a camera thing. Uh, there's actually a purple line here. Let me just bring it just a little bit closer to see if you can see that. So this is that projector feature that I've been talking about. There's a little purple line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Let me squeeze you back out so you can see the whole thing. I'm going to take this. Let's just say we wanted to end our stitch maybe right here. I'm just going to put the sticker in place. That's all you have to do. So if you had a corner you were trying to get to or an exact line you wanted to stop. So now I'm just going to start sewing. I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see what happens. It, this is the magic. Now, by the way, I'm putting the sticker not right in the path. See how it's next to where I'm sewing? And do you see what happens here? It's actually showing up. The blue line is right here on here. Now, I just stopped my stitch, so hold, hopefully this I didn't screw that up. There we go. Keep sewing. I have my foot pedal down. I still have my foot pedal down, and guess what? It automatically stops there. 
So I'm gonna bring you just a little bit closer and I might grab a different color fabric. Oh, now you can see that purple line. So let's just do that again because this is absolutely the coolest wow feature. Now you can kind of see that rainbow effect from the uh, projector. But let's just try this one more time with a decorative stitch. So this time I'm going to pick, and I'll just bring you over here with me. If the camera bumps out, I'll bring it right back on. So here you go. Let's go under, oh gosh, why don't we do something like that? It says, okay to cancel the endpoint sewing. That's fine, but we're gonna do it again. So let's pick this stitch and now let's click that again. Now if for any reason, your stitch won't work with the endpoint sewing, it's going to tell you that. So now, do you want it to stop halfway in the middle of that stitch or do you want it to stop all the way down? We're gonna let it, we wanna end our entire, we don't want like a half of one of those, call it like an ornament, you want it to stop at the end. So it will know where to go, which is amazing. So let's go back over here. And I'm just going to, Take my sticker and put it down here. We're just gonna pretend that's where we wanna stop. So you could put this, even if you got closer, that's fine. But let's just say you have an entire line you're gonna sew, just go ahead and put your sticker down. This could be a super long piece of fabric, it doesn't matter. And so now I'm just going to, you could either use the green button or use your foot pedal. So I'm just using my foot pedal. Of course, you could also use your laser light for sew straight sewing but I don't, I'm just gonna show you this one thing at a time. Bring a little closer in here. Now my foot pedal is in the full, full speed position. <laughs> and again, like I mentioned, you could just use the green button too. You don't have to use the foot pedal. You can see that line that comes across here. And guess what? Here we go. it automatically stops. That's it. So where it stops, if you wanna do a stay stitch, you can, or just use your cut feature. And look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So I can tell you, I've had so much fun with this. I did uh, quite a few different decorations on a couple pieces of fabric. This is so easy to do. So if you're sewing garments, if you're sewing quilts, anything like that. So. Hey, Barbara, have you tried this feature? Because this is really fun. And by the way, these stickers, what I do with them then is I just stick them right up here because you can use them over and over. So I have these and all my snowman features all over there. Um, so Barbara. Actually, say yes. Um, I do love that feature. I have the XP one because I got in in the very beginning <laughs> when it first came out. That was the one that I wanted. And so now I have the XP um, one upgrade to SAVR XPUGK2. And guess what? It's 15% off at the show. So if you have an XP1, um, yeah, they're available in our stores awesome. for 15%. That's off awesome. I love that. The show. So I've used it actually um, doing uh, decorative stitching around my sleeve where it has to end. And I want that stitch to finish the right way. You know, I don't want to have like half of a stitch. So it works great. And if you're doing quilting and you're just trying to get to corners and move around, I've tested it over and over. I've only screwed up once, but it wasn't the machine's fault. It was my fault. <laughs> so you just have to make sure you put that sticker to the side. So would you like to see um, the new the buttonhole foot, which a lot of people, I mean, if you have the XP1, you've seen it, but it's different than when it used to be the Dream Machine and the Stellaire. Would you like to see that one? All right, so we'll go back over there. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so the new buttonhole foot, which, for those of you that do know me, you know that I love to sew knit. So this is a little bit different. It's kind of like a big concoction, right? <laughs> so your fabric will slide in here, and then this goes on top. And I'm just going to remove this for a minute. Take you back over to the screen. Because if you didn't know this for sewing garments, there are a gazillion buttonholes. Maybe not a gazillion, but there's a lot. So let's see, if you go under here, it's icon number four. Uh, I love the touch screen on this. Everything is so easy to use. As always, slide up or down. Let's just do a keyhole. Yep, it's okay. It always tells you what to do. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and click um, 
let's see, let's do this one. This is one that I use for jeans quite often. It even tells you what foot to do, what you're gonna use. And so now I'll go back to them over here and I'll show you how to set up your fabric. So on here, you lift this up, slide your fabric in place. I'm just gonna use the same piece of fabric with white thread, I think you'll see that better. And just drop this down, just like you would on the regular foot. I have to be honest, I haven't used the buttonhole foot much. You wanna know why? <laughs> because there is a ton of embroidery buttonholes, which I'm gonna show you too, just briefly. I know you're getting a pretty good tutorial on that at some point today, I think, but I'll show you just some. So anyways, oh, you yeah. put your button here. Usually in the, the old foot, we'd put it in the back, remember? Now it goes in the front. And by the way, look at how big this is now. Do you remember when you could only get like a buttonhole maybe that big? So if you were using one of the new decorative buttons, you can't use those, so that's huge. All right, so put this down and let's go ahead and stitch this. I could use the green button, I'm just gonna use the presser foot because I have it plugged in. And the reason that this is nice with the two layers of this metal buttonhole foot is because if you were using a knit fabric or a lightweight fabric, it doesn't stretch. It doesn't stretch the fabric. I'm not even holding this. I'm just making sure that everything stays intact. I was just thinking, I paused for a second, Barbara. I didn't even look to make sure the bobbin was full. And you know we're live, so it probably isn't. <laughs> Will your bobbin always be full, Angela? <laughs> You know, in the old days, like 10 years ago, if you were doing a professional garment, sometimes you'd have to actually ha send your garment out to have buttonholes put in to make them look more professional. Not anymore. Look at how great that looks. And look at how huge that is. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. So while I'm over there, let me just show you. Actually, I'll switch cameras. I just want to show you. Um, on the Luminaire 2, which is very cool. While you're switching, Angela, can I show everybody a new accessory that came oh, out? Oh, yeah, we love new accessories. This one? Oh, <laughs> and I haven't figured out why nobody, my brother hasn't sent me that. Have you seen my glasses lately? <laughs> <laughs> this is a serious magnifying lens, and guess what? It fits the XP1. Luminaire XP1 and Luminaire XP2, but guess what else it fits? The Stellaire and the Dream Machine as well. So if you have one of those older models, um, yeah, so it's S -M -A S A M L is the part number. It's available uh, for purchase in our retail stores and you can get 15% off of that. And it's got two magnifying lens. Um, so depending on what you're looking at. So you said in the olden days, um, you know, when sewing. Well, in the olden days, people used to go blind sewing, so this will definitely help you. So definitely, um, I love this new feature, so I'll bring you back in. Let's see, I'll just bring you back over here. I agree with Barb. Uh, nice to see you again, Barb. We were just on a Facebook Live together doing really fun things. Um, I agree, that, that foot is awesome when it comes to chiffons and lightweight fabrics. It's, well, she's a garment sewer too, so she knows. <laughs> All right, so go in here. If you go under embroidery, now, there's so many new cool things in here, but let's just go under here. Let's see, I think it's under this one. I always have to re remind myself because there's so many different areas here. So again, on the embroidery screen, making sure, I'm sorry about the lights up above. You make sure you can see everything here. There you go. I'll just try to, to block it with my head. <laughs> okay, so on here, you can make this bigger or smaller, which I love. And you can pick any of these buttonholes. That's pretty big, right? I actually use these on pillows and home deck all the time now. There's so many different ones. But if you look down here, you can go medium. And now there's these small ones, which I love. Sometimes they would never get small enough of something I could use on a garment. Uh, so look at that. Click set. When you're doing these for embroidery, the only thing I do is I'll put my hoop in, I'll lay, I'll, I'll use sticky back stabilizer, and then just set my jacket 
or my jeans or whatever on top to do the buttonhole and then just tear it away. You know why this is kind of nice? Because if you're doing a thick fabric, let's just say on here you want to change this a little bit, you can, by the way, which is kind of nice. But let's just say you're doing something really thick like jeans. So when you went to embroider, if you went to do this with the foot, even the real good foot, sometimes, now, let's just say the old foot <laughs> for sure, but sometimes you have like a really thick piece of fabric right here. Just think of the front of jeans, right? And now if you do it with embroidery, there's not a foot pushing down on this. So it would do that buttonhole just perfectly with no st stitches that are skipped. You know, sometimes if you have really thick fabric at one end and less thick at the other end, well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But if you've done it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So now if you went to embroider this, you wouldn't worry about the fabric. So here, again, you can make a couple of these if you want. And maybe you're gonna do an entire, like I did this for, what do you call those, a duvet cover? Yeah, that's what you call them. Those have a gazillion buttonholes. Now, of course, it is fun to sew them, but this was so much easier. I put the whole piece of fabric and I just had a whole row, of course, using the monster hoop, and I was able to embroider all of those. That was really fun. But while we are at the embroidery side, I have to share a few more things that are new. And if you can't see this for any reason, Barbara, just let me know. So under here, um, we're going to talk about my design center this afternoon. That is super fun. I've got a really fun project for you there. But let's just look into the embroidery because there are a few new things that you might not have noticed before. And under quilt fashion which those of you that know me, I'm not a huge quilter, but I'm actually becoming quite addicted to these because they were great for garments and little home deck projects. So look at these, there's multicolors now. Isn't that cute? And there's a few more things. We've got hexagon shapes and I'm gonna show you a project that is in the Luminaire Masterclass. Uh, I use this feature right here. Here's a few more, but when I go in here, I just wanna show you something. Now, let's grab this. When you click set, you have two different options of what kind of split do you want. So if you click this side, look at how big this can get, 118 inches, that's huge. And this walks you through how to do this. Now, of course, your hoop isn't gonna be 118 inches or <laughs> that might be, you need a whole new sewing room. So right on this screen, you pick whatever size hoop you're gonna use whatever you want. And through here, it walks you through it. So number one, you would measure how wide you want this to go. Let's just say we want 50. Click set, go to here. And again, it says you can have anything from 4.72, I think I have mine set up as inches, at least I did, and all the way to 118.11 inches. So let's say we want 50 by, oh, let's just go with 118, right? Click set, all right, and how wide do you want it? It will tell you, so this will be how wide the decorative stitch is gonna go. Anywhere from 1.18 to 3.94. So let's just say we want three, and then you click set. That's how easy it is to set up. So all you have to do is measure your fabric or your design of how you want that to go, write the numbers down and put them into your machine. Click next, and check this out. So this is split into a ton of different designs. It walks you through, this is 32 pieces, believe it or not. You can have a single stitch or the triple stitch. Uh, pick whatever color you want. All of this is right on the screen. So easy to do. And click memory. It saves it to the memory. Okay, and there it is. You can see all these other ones I've been working on here as well. There's a lot of fun things in here. All right, so in here, you can see each one of these is laid out. See all those designs? You're just gonna click from one to the other. Embroider that, click set. You're gonna embroider this onto your fabric and it walks you through, as soon as that's finished, it will take you to the next piece. I have a piece of fabric here I wanna show you. And I think this will kind of give you a little bit of an idea of how this works. So I think it's this camera right here. There you go. So this is actually, uh, Barbara, this is in the master class too. I actually showed them how to do this entire piece of embroidery here. And isn't that cool? 
that's the outside edge. So this could be a pillow. This could be, I just did it with batting. This design here, guess where that came from? I told you I'm not a quilter, right? So let me just take you back over there and I'll show you where that came from. There's a whole section here, I'm gonna click home, embroidery, and let's see, I just have to remember which one it's under, right? <laughs> There's so many. Here you go, number two. Look at all of these. So, you know, I was playing around with these because I thought this would look really cool on the back of a jacket. And you can turn this into an applique, and if you have the scan and cut, with the new fabric mat, you can actually cut the pieces as well. You could turn this into an applique or you could just keep layering just different pieces of fabric, which is what I did. So take a look at that. And now that's not the exact same one I used, but it's pretty close. And now take a look at this. So especially for the holidays, I love decorating for the holidays. So this is the fabric I use just to give you an idea, just cotton. Look at this nasty stuff. <laughs> this is stuff you'd put like in a, I don't know, a gift bag, but hopefully it wouldn't unravel everywhere. So I just kept layering each piece. It walks you through each section. And then we added this to the outside. Here's another one. I know this might shock you guys. This is also in the Luminaire Masterclass. But this, oops, sorry about the camera. This, look at how long this is. That's the sashing. Yeah, doesn't it look great? Yes. And then this is the hexagon sashing. So two different fun things. There are so many things in this machine, Barbara, from the sewing side. I, mean, I have a few more things for sewing. I just want to make sure I'm not talking too long. You know me, I could go for hours. Am I doing, am I okay? <laughs> uh, we're good for a, a, another minute or so, but uh, yeah. So I wanted to make sure that everybody knows that when someone purchases the XP2 Luminaire, you come in the box with it, right? Yes. <laughs> there are 13 lessons. I believe there's um, almost 40 videos. And actually, I have a surprise for you guys. So some of you have purchased the Luminaire and the class opens up every week. Like there's new lessons with the project every week. Well, we've been able to shorten that now. So every three days you get a full like five or six videos plus the project together. So you'll be able to get all these finished. Uh, in a month or so. But you know, there's so many different things in there and you'll have access to this class for a whole year. You can go back, click search if you're looking for one thing that you're trying to remember and there's embroidery, there's sewing, there's a couple surprises. And because the class is there and I can add and change things, I actually have a few surprises for everyone. I'm adding two extra chapters. I'm actually working on them right now because I thought it'd just be fun. So those of you that have already finished, thinking you're finished with the class, not so much, I'm adding some more. So <laughs> that does come with the class. So it's very easy to access and it's all videos. So that's very wonderful. Cool. So when you purchase the XP2 Luminaire from all brands, uh, retail stores in Louisiana and Texas during the quilt show, you get the $7,200 package from Brother, which includes PE Design 11, full digitizing software, that does wireless transfer. You get Angela Wolf's masterclass in the box, the thread kit, the um, the luggage set, um, and there is a rebate for the free wide table, which is perfect for quilting. And you get 60 months, 0% financing, and you get to pick one option, which includes a trade-in, um, the magnetic sash frame, the playbook, the magnifying lens attachment and so much more options. So we'll really get a package to to suit you. So I hope that um, everybody takes advantage. If you're not in a luminaire, um, you're missing out for sure because I love, I absolutely love that machine. And I'm just speaking from my my personal love of that machine. Oh, that one I love it too. And I also I know that a lot of the Wolfpack had bought the luminaire the first one. And I just want them to know that I've talked with brother and we're working on something for you. So don't worry, you're not going to miss out on the class. We've got an idea. It just, um, it hasn't happened yet. So don't cry. <laughs> but yeah. the thing is, is that I, I'm always the type that wants the newest machine right away. So, um, so don't worry about that. There'll be something coming. Cool. So um, let's see. Where, what were we going to do? Oh, we're going to do a giveaway. I almost forgot. Oh. So, good. yeah, so I have a giveaway. Um, let's see. 
I'm going to give away a $10 allbrands.com gift card. So if you, um, and you know what? I don't see Kathy backstage yet, so we can go on if you want. Oh, I have do you want me to show you some more? <laughs> I've got a whole thing for, I'll see you guys again in a couple of hours in my design center. You could spend all day there, but I just want to show something else with the projector, if that's all right. Yeah. Let me do the giveaway real quick. So y'all give okay. us a comment and I'll pick a random winner. And while you're drawing, Barbara, you know okay. what? Look, I see a lot of the wolf pack here and I just talked to Barbara this morning and guess what? Remember on my list, I had one thing that said, stay tuned. Guess who filled that last spot for hashtag social hop 2020? Barbara, yay. yay. Yay to all brands. They have joined the social hop and I believe, go ahead, Barbara, tell what you decided to give. Okay, so it's really hard to say what exact machine that we're going to give away because <laughs> they're just going out of stock so quickly and we're getting new inventory in. But we are going to pick a machine that's $500 value to give away. That that's is email, awesome. not MSRP. So even more oh uh, MSRP value. So, yeah. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Wolfpack says thank you. And if you want to get into the social hop, by the way, um, we're so excited. And you know what? I, I, Barbara, you, you're the perfect one for the last day before the huge day of the giveaway. So this goes 18 days. If you go to AngelaWolf.com, you can join it. And we'll have a fun surprise for you, Barbara. The Wolfpack will be coming to hop to your page on the 17th. So mark your calendar, guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Cool. So I'm just waiting for Kathy to come in, but let me pick a winner. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to close my eyes and pick Arnell. Congratulations. So email ah. Vince at allbrands.com. Congratulations, Arnell. And she's in, even in the social hop. Fantastic. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yes. Uh, so while you're okay. waiting for her, I'll take you back over to the sewing machine and show them just a couple more cool things on here. And then you just tell me when to be quiet. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So on here, guys, this is really cool. And I'll just bring you a little closer. I had to clean my floor in my office so you didn't get a peek at that. <laughs> Moved it to the corner. All right, in here for the sewing. I just want to point out a few more things here. This still has, by the way, the stitching in different directions, which is awesome. But let's just look at something just for sewing. You're just sewing a straight seam, right? And we have all these other features up here that we haven't talked about yet. So let's just take a look at the laser light. You might have gotten used to this so straight stitch that we've had, you know, for a few years, but it's a little different now. There are a few different screens here. So first of all, you can turn the guide off or on. And I'm actually going to let me just switch color fabric just so you can see real quick. Let's take that off of here. You can see how about that's pretty busy. Why don't we just use this piece of fabric? Oh, piece of paper. How's that? Now, I'm not going to sew <laughs> on my stickers, but this will let you see. So check out this grid. So there's an entire grid now. And not only that, you can change the position, and I'm just gonna show you these and then I'll show you what it does on the screen, what it does on the fabric. So you can make this go, can you see it moving? It's moving down. Maybe you're trying to line up one of these with one seam or one cross or one, uh, you know, whatever you're sewing. So that can move. You can also move it to the left or to the right. You can change the color. This is my so straight line right here. Can you see that went from white to green? And there's red where it blends in with the whole grid. So these are all different options. You can actually change your length to small, medium, and long, depending on how far back you're sitting. And Barbara, I don't know if you've used this feature much, but when I, this first came out, I thought, you know, I sew 10 hours a day. I don't need that. Well, guess what? Now, when I have this, I've gotten so used to it because I can sit back further. My posture feels better. And, you know, at, as we get older, <laughs> it just helps to have something like that where you're not leaned, hunched over your sewing machine. So I'm just pointing a few more things out here. Do you see this 
these other lines here. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, so you have all of these options. So there's this here, and there's another line. So all these angles, so when you're stitching, you can easily get into one of these 45 degree angles, 60, 90. You can even adjust the seam allowance on here, which is very cool. So you have a guideline where you would line up your seam allowance on the edge of that red line, and then this would be your stitch line that you can follow. Super fun. So you got you can just do one straight line. You can do the entire grid. Um, gosh, there's so much to do. I don't even. You can also change the grid size. I mean, the possibilities are endless on this thing. And everything I'm doing, I'm just touching the screen right here. So this is how I. This is your angles. There's your straight stitch. There's your grid. Uh, that's under your subcategory, and you can even turn it off, too, if you don't want the grid and just the lines. That's what I did when I was working on that. You can change the colors of your line. You can change the colors all around, and then you have the main position here, and this is where I was showing you you can change your line length. There's the colors. Depending on your fabric, this really is helpful with these colors because, as you can see on that red fabric, it was kind of hard to see everything. So depending on what you're working on. And that's all right here under this icon right here. And you can click off and you can click on. That's how easy it goes from off to on. And now I have it with a green, a green rainbow. I always love it when the camera picks up the rainbow on that. So very, very simple. That's really cool, Angela. And we're actually still waiting on Kathy backstage. Do you happen to have that magnetic hoop the sashing oh, frame i do you want to see it oh, yeah i would, i that's so awesome and i love the little tool that picks up the the magnet okay i gotta find the tool but i have, <laughs> i didn't bring the tool over but i yes i have to because i have to open it so this is the frame and actually and hopefully this camera doesn't flicker off on you i think the the cord is going on vacation today. It's not even Friday. It usually does that on Friday. So if I need to switch cameras, I can. Let me just. Angela, I got to tell you what I did this morning because I was so, while you're doing that, I was so excited. <laughs> like, I felt like it was the night before Christmas or something <laughs> with all of this um, planning that we put ahead of time and everything. I So for breakfast every morning, I fix a smoothie and coffee separately. <laughs> so I made my smoothie. And I had my cup of coffee, my empty cup of coffee and my smoothie that was filled up in the cup. And I was just thinking, 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 and I poured my coffee into my smoothie. Oh, so, no. So I have a two in one breakfast this morning. Oh, my gosh. OK, that's that's a double coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's okay. I think last time I was live with you was the morning that I was in such a, like I was just getting things ready, not paying attention. And I have a Keurig here at my office and I hit go on the Keurig <laughs> and I had the cup with me walking around. So needless to say, it was clean up in aisle seven, big time over there. The coffee was all over the counter and I'm carrying around an empty cup. So <laughs> you, I think you beat me on this one though. That sounds, that actually, how did it taste by the way? Um, it was really, 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 really bad, but <laughs> oh, I have, so it's like I'm forced to drink that. So behind scenes, I'm drinking my uh, my terrible smoothie coffee mixture. Oh my god, that's so funny! All right, so I'll take you over here. I found. I think I I kicked I kicked the camera, so we'll see if it works now. Okay. <laughs> you just never know. All right, so here's my huge quilting thing. I say quilting things. So I'm going to turn it into some form of home deck. All right, so here is this frame. And this frame, by the way, is heavy, it's sturdy, and I find myself, you know how much I love that big hoop that comes with the machine, right? But I actually have been using this nonstop. So you just lift this up to pull these off. And if, oh goodness, is that cord doing it again? Hold on one sec, Barbara. Okay, hold on one minute. You come up for a second. I'm just gonna switch cords on you real quick so you can see it. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, it'll just take a second. Oh, look, Becky's watching. She said she, <laughs> yeah, she she was with me this morning when I took my first sip uh, and I was like, wait a minute, this is not right. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is gross. 
<laughs> so, um, okay. Martin asks, where is the social club? Oh, it's um. So it's, it's <laughs> go to angelawish.com and click on blog. You'll see it all there. There's one entry form, so you can enter to win prizes um, on the 18th. We're going to do a live show. Barbara, I hope you can join us on the 18th for the live show. I would love to. I think it's going to be so much fun. So you'll see that, and then each day you hop to different places. And it's a lot of people that have been really good to the wolf pack and stuff that we use. So I just think it's going to be awesome. So I have my frame ready for you now. Oops, right here. And... If it starts blinking this time, then we're throwing the camera out. <laughs> I've had to do that before too. All right, so you just lift this up. These are all magnetic. Watch, don't put your fingers in there. But the nice part is that these are all little pieces. So now this is not the same hoop that you've seen on the 10 needle, okay? This is different, it's similar, but different. You can't use it on the 10 needle. There you go. And you cannot use this on the Dream Machine and things like that. This is just for the XP. So I'm just going to use this itsy bitsy thin piece of fabric. Isn't this gorgeous? I embroidered this with my new embroidery collection and I'm going to make cuffs. So this is actually two sleeves. So there's one cuff you have to imagine. So I just embroidered these together. And I did this with the frame. And the reason I'm using this fabric, you could of course use this to hoop big quilting projects too. But Someone asked me the other day, are you sure this is safe on thin fabric like this, especially the mesh? And I'm like, heck yeah, I use it all the time. I love embroidering this stuff. So there's the fabric. You just slide this into place and it snaps like that, okay? And then you have this side, slide this into place. There you go. Look at how quick and easy that is. So if you need it tighter, it's easy to move things around. If you had one big piece here, sometimes to get this mesh, it can really be a mess. So I'm going to do this piece, and then I'll show you it on a really thick piece of fabric. See that? Angela, that is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Isn't this fun? Oh, it is so fashionable, too. I would love to make a garment out of that. Oh, these here? Um, you, I believe you have this collection too on your um, website. Yes, actually, in collaboration with Dime. Yeah, so actually, in our allbrands.com mall booth, we uh, have some specials on designs and machine embroidery with Eileen Roach, and she's been doing tons of giveaways, uh, not giveaways, tons of specials, and they're doing giveaways every live in that other booth. So yeah, Angela, guess what? Kathy's backstage now. Yay! Hey, Kathy, great to see you. We had a lot of fun earlier, too, by the way. She yeah. has recipes that I cannot screw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have to I'll have to get some recipes for her. Ask her. They're not in the kitchen. <laughs> They're better. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Well, thank you so much, Angela. And um, see you in a little bit. As usual. We'll see you at 2.30 Central Time, where we're going to talk about Brother My Design Center, right? Yep. See you then. Oh, Bye, guys. Bye, Wolfpack. Bye. All right, everybody. So I'm going to bring in our next special guest. So don't forget to watch through. We're going to do another giveaway at the end of Kathy's presentation. That's going to end at 1.25 Central Standard Time. And, yeah, um, let me pull up her. Let's see. Um, Kathy. Where are you? Here you go. There we go. Transitional time. All right. So, Kathy, I'm going to add you to the stream, and you can tell us all about sewing rope bowls with your brother, NS80. Hey, hey. Kathy. Welcome. Very glad to join you. Yes. So, tell us how you're doing and, and what you've been working on. So, what I've been working on are some little rope bowls and rope hot pads, trivets, Here's another little example. This is just a bowl to hold coasters. So that's what I wanted to share with you today with my little NS80 Brother Machine. It's a compact, lightweight, but powerful machine that I think everybody needs to have one. So should we get to showing it? 
Yeah, that would be great. Uh, Charlene says hi, and Marilyn says hi, rope balls. Yeah, so I know these have been really, really popular lately, huh? They have been, and I like the fact that I can always I can be sewing one on my little NS80 while I'm embroidering one on my Luminaire. That's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm just so, gonna have to change cameras. All right, so I'll come back in while you do that. And Kathy's making her debut on the uh, All Brands demo stage. So welcome to the All Brands family, Kathy. We're so happy to have you. And she has a wonderful little sewing machine. It's called, and everybody saw you on Angela's show earlier. It's called the Brother NS80E. And we have inventory on this and it's currently available online. So I'll put a link there if anybody's interested. It's a perfect gift uh, machine. It's also um, a great travel machine. All right, so here she is. So this is the Brother NS80E. It has 80 different stitches, eight one-step buttonholes, and there's just so much that you can do with it. It's a perfect little machine, and I, I think you can see that I've got the extension table attached to it. I really love having the extension table. It sure makes making rope, rope bowls a little bit easier. And also it's better support for whenever I'm quilting with it. But I wanted to start out today with the rope bowls and just show you a little bit of how I get started with them. So I'm going to angle my camera down just a bit. Okay, so you can see that I start out with coiling the rope. And I'm just going to coil it around. One of the things that I have done, this is a scrap of water-soluble adhesive stabilizer. And once I get my coil made to start with, I end up just sticking it to that little water-soluble. Then I'll stick a couple of pins in it to hold it while I get it under my needle. And to me, that just makes it a little bit easier for getting it started. So I'll move this under my needle. And then we're going to change the camera to the machine so you can actually see me sewing. Oh, great. And thank you, Becky is still on. Thanks, Becky. And she shared it to her group, uh, Power Tools with Threads. She does a great job. All right, here we go again. Okay, so I'm using my zigzag stitch, and I've got a stitch width of 5.5 and a length of 2.0. And so I'm just going to start stitching just kind of straight through the middle and I'm going to go back and forth a couple of times. Then I'm going to start just going around and I don't know if you can notice but right in the center of my J foot there's a little line right here and that's what I'm lining up in between the two pieces of rope. And this is just standard clothesline rope that I asked my husband to pick up for me at our local hardware store. So as I get around to that pen that I had previously stuck in there to hold, I'm just going to remove it and just keep on stitching. Oh, that's wonderful, Kathy. Hey, we have and a quick so you're question. You're going to continue in this manner until you have reached the size or diameter that you would like for your coaster or rope bowl bottom to be. I have several. I've got one that's fairly big. I'm in the process of making another one now that I can use as a fruit bowl. But I've also just made what I'm calling hot pad trivets because I think that they will protect tables and stuff from the heat. But you're just going to continue on in this manner. 
like I said, until it's as big as you want. So here's one that I've got about the size that I want to stop with. So to make a rope bowl, I want to be able to bring the sides up. So I've got another step over here that I can show you that with. Let me just get it back under my machine. So as you're wanting to go up on the sides, take and tilt your bottom part that's flat up and then just keep bringing the rope kind of in towards that and that'll I it's almost like it wants to go part way on and part way off I don't know if that makes any sense but once you get started with it and you just want to keep holding it up as you're going Can you see that fairly good, Barbara? How that's oh, creating yeah. the sides of this? And the further yes. along you get, the faster you can go with it. And it's going to build the sides of your bowl. So if at any point you want to stop and then start again, all I would suggest is that you just use your reverse sewing, back stitching, and back stitch a couple of times. I'm going to bring my needle up and I'll finish this one later on. But I have another special thing that I wanted to show you. This one that I started yesterday, notice how I have these beads for a handle. I'm going to start with this one back where I was sewing again. Get it back up underneath my presser foot, and I have that extra high lift, so it will help me get it under there. I'm going to go around, and I made a mark about halfway around so that I knew where my second handle would be. And I'm getting close to that, so I'm going to just thread my bead onto the end of my rope. So you need beads with a fairly large hole in them. And then I just kind of pulled it out of the way, made a loop. And if you can see right here, I'm just kind of holding it either with a stylus or some of your tweezers. I like to backstitch where my handle starts and stops a little bit. Then I'm letting my zigzag fall off the edge till I get to the point of where I want this, this one to join. And it's just that easy for you to put a little beaded handle on your rope bolts. So what I'm going to do whenever I get around here to where this other handle was at is I'm going to show you how I like to end my rope bolts. I'm going to take and just cut my rope at an angle. Probably scissors would have been better than my little snips. Grab my scissors real quick. So I have sort of a diagonal cut on that. And again, I'm just going to keep zigzagging. There are plenty of ways to do this. This is just one of the ways and what I found works best for me.
but I also like to, at the end, kind of snug it up with my tweezers, back stitching, and then going over and seeing about dropping that zigzag off the side of the end of the rope to try and get sort of a cleaner finish. You can back stitch if necessary. But do you see how I'm trying to clean up those little loose edges with my zigzag stitch? And then I'm just going to trim my edges. And now I have this cute little bowl with handles that my coasters will fit in. Kathy, that turned out so cute. Do you want to come back in front of the camera and tell us a little bit about that machine that you're sewing on? Sure. Okay. Guys, this is the Brother NS80E sewing machine. It's on sale for $499.99. It's free shipping, and you can finance that through Synchrony Financial on our website for only uh, for six months. So you can defer the payments, which is really super exciting. So, Kathy, you ready to go? Oops, let me change my camera. Okay, got it. So, while she's changing her camera, we are going to do a giveaway. So, give me a comment, and we are going to choose a random winner for a $10 allbrands.com gift card. Um, so, I'll give you a few seconds to give me some shout outs, uh, tell us where you're from, and oh man. Yes, those rope balls are so hot right now. Everybody wants one. And let me pick one winner. Michelle Klein, congratulations. Email me at events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And we will um, send you that electronic gift card to use on our website, allbrands.com, on Monday the 7th. So congratulations on that. And I will bring back in Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Oh, let me unmute you. There you go. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. So, so this is the big rope bowl that I made. Can you see the embroidery design in it? Oh, it's gorgeous. So that's an embroidery design that's on my luminaire, but I've been sewing all these other ones while my embroidery machine is stitching out. That's gorgeous. So this is a compact machine. So um, this is a great little machine for um, a gift for maybe a younger person or a companion machine to your um, to your bigger machine. Like if you're traveling, didn't you say that you checked this in on an airplane and it fit? It fits in my duffel bag that will go in the. <laughs> <laughs> the overhead of an airplane when we get to start traveling again. Oh, so my I, I no longer have to sit in the hotel at night with <laughs> nothing to do. <laughs> and it's a perfect size. Even my grandson, when I first got it, he came over and he said, Grandma, he says, you now have a machine that's my size. So I think it's a wonderful machine for children to use if you're just starting out. Um but it's a great machine because it has the the technology of the bigger machines just in a smaller footprint. Which is it so nice. does. It's lightweight, 14 pounds. I can program my needle to stop up or down. I can program it to start with my needle in the left position or center position. It makes awesome buttonholes. Um, yeah. So let us see that machine. It's right behind you, correct? It is. I'll move out of the way. And with the optional extension table. With the optional um, extension table. I'll move my little bowl down. Yeah. So, so I just leave the extension table on all the time, really, to tell you the <laughs> truth. Yeah. So if you wanted to add on the extension table, if you're taking it maybe on a quilt retreat or something like that, use code because all brother branded accessories are 15% off at the show. So use code bro15off 
on our website or in our stores to take 15% off your purchase. Well, we got to head out and take a little break before Colleen comes in, but I want to thank you so much, Kathy, for coming on the show. Well, thanks. I'm glad I could finally get in. Hopefully tomorrow yeah. won't be such a big, um, <laughs> big deal. We'll see <laughs> well, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, what are you going to be talking about? Oh, tomorrow I wanted to share with you some of my favorite feet and accessories for the machine. <gasps> yes. Yeah. And those exciting. are all 50% off too, which is exciting. I love brother feet. They're so They wonderful. are wonderful. <laughs> all so. right. Well, we're going to check out for today and we will see you tomorrow, Kathy. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for having me. Okay. It. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We're going to take a little break and we'll be back in five minutes. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
Welcome back, everyone. And you're on allbrands.com TV, uh, streaming live from the Houston Virtual International Quilt Festival. And we have, uh, we're in the Brother presented by allbrands.com booth. We have representatives from Brother in the chat in this video. Uh, so thank you guys for that, as well as All Brands team members. So ask away if you have any questions. And we have a very special guest, Colleen Sweatman very good friend of all brands and an aficionado in multi-needle embroidery machines. And yeah, so this class is called the Brother 10 Needle Embroidery Machine. And I'm going to bring Colleen in right now. Hey, Hi, Colleen. Everybody. Welcome. How are you? You know, I'm great. Awesome. I've awesome. been playing with my machine this morning. <laughs> cool. Cool. So which machine do you have? I have the brand new Brother PR 1055X. Me too. Me too. I love it. But that. I'm going to confess, when I saw that very first 10 needle come out into the marketplace, I'm going to tell you I snatched one up. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Um, can I make you full screen? Well, I'm going to move out of the way, and then you can make my machine full screen. How's that? Oh. Got it. So I'll come full screen for a second. Guys, don't forget, at the end of every demonstration today um, and tomorrow and the next day, we're giving away a prize. So stick through to the end and uh, we'll announce a winner. Um, just uh, we pick from the comments. So uh, the more you comment, the better chance you have of winning that. So Colleen, are you ready? I am. All right. Let me bring you back in. All so right. There is my beautiful machine. And this is just a side view so you can see how pretty it is. I know sometimes people look by it, walk by it at a show and they go, oh, that's big and scary, but it's really not. So here's the difference. If you have a brother machine at home and you're using it, this is exactly the same process. It works the same way. The difference is instead of threading one needle, you thread all 10 needles one time and then you're done. That sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, it is. It has an automatic needle threader. Probably my most favorite thing and the reason that I bought one instantly was because I was getting ready to do family t-shirts for a family trip. And we had a, we were taking a little grandchild with us who's real busy and we were going to a place where no one knew him. So I made shirts for everybody in the same color, bright day glow orange, with a logo on them so that everybody could see it. Well, there were three colors in that logo. So there was red and white and blue. Now I did 10 shirts, 10 shirts, three colors. You do the math, that's 30 thread changes. But on my most beloved 10 needle, that's once. Yeah, hey, Cindy, I mean, <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, hey, Colleen, Yes. I don't know if your secondary camera is up because I'm looking at the hat hoop. I don't see you. Okay, I got out of the way so they could just look at the pretty machine. But oh, got it. I, what I am going to do though is I'm going to change to the screen because okay. now they can actually see the beautiful screen. It's the size of a tablet. Anyway, to finish my story, the tin, the tin colors, you know, you thread them one time and it doesn't do, matter how many you, you, you do it. The colors are right there and they go in order. So it's amazing, amazing, amazing. I will tell you a real quick story about a young lady one day came into the store where I was demonstrating and she bought the machine and she was like 20 years old. And I was like, wow, do you mind me asking what your plans are for the machine? And she said, oh, I have a really big family. And by the time I've made all the Christmas presents, I will have paid for the machine. 20 years old, I asked. <laughs> okay, so back to the machine. The machine has so much on it. It's got this beautiful screen. It is the size of a full-size tablet. Um, and the stylus stores right here. And I'm just going to go through this really quickly. To be honest with you, I can only just do a flyby because when... Um, really need to come in and see the machine. But there's dozens of useful designs here. We have a whole category that opened up another whole category. So there's a million designs and I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm gonna pick and choose uh, just so that you can see uh, different categories. The quilting, there's all kinds of quilting designs here. 
This one has, and, and I'm going to focus on this one for just a second because I want you to see, whoops, I went a little too fast. And I'm sorry, my fingers are in the way, aren't they? I'm going to choose that fellow because that's a hat design. And it's um, this machine, of course, does hats. One of the things that makes this machine so special is the free arm. And the free arm means that, and I'm going to switch back to that other camera really fast so that they can see the free arm. This is the free arm right here. And what that means is that I can put things that are too small to do on your flatbed machine. I always say things that would make you say bad words because <laughs> you can do a hat, but it's not very much fun. When you do it this way on the machine, it's very easy. And I happen to have a tote bag hooped right here. And I'm gonna slide that in because I wanted to embroider on my tote bag. And you can see this just slides right in and clips into place. And then I'll just pull and make sure that bottom of the bag is out of the way and I don't stitch it closed. And I'm ready to stitch with that. Is that fast and wonderful? Now let's switch back to the screens. I'm sorry to switch around on you, but we got sidetracked because I get excited with all I have to try to cram into the time. I want to tell you so much. So the hat driver is there and that's wonderful. This guy I call the utility designs because there's just a million different little designs in here that, um, let me do this, that have all kinds of things that you would just, you know, whenever you need a design, there's probably something in this category to fulfill it. And let's close that out. Here we have shapes. So you have uh, 10 shapes and 14 different stitches that you can put around it. So if I choose the diamond and this, then you have that. So you can see that's pretty useful. This one, a lot of people love because it does beautiful, beautiful machine stitching and buttonholes. These buttonholes come in at uh, four, almost four inches, almost three inches and almost two inches, but of course they are resizable. So exciting buttonholes, think about that. You could do that in that nice long hoop and you had, wouldn't have to mess with them. Automatic monogramming, so there are different monogramming styles and then different monogramming frames. All of that's just included right on the screen. Here we have what are, again, the useful designs, the designs that you're gonna really, really use all the time. And this is 25 different fonts, and there's all kinds of fonts and all kinds of things. This is one of my favorites. Let's just put in B for brother. There's all kinds of things we can do with that. We can change the size, we can array letters, we can do a million things with it. We can even change the whole font. If we've typed in a word and we decide, oh gosh, that isn't the font I meant to touch, it's okay. You can touch this key right down here and choose a completely different font. Isn't that exciting? They made this machine so, so useful. Um, before I go any further, I'm going to get out of that. I'm just going to go right on that because I want you to see the pretty, the pretty letters. There's tiny letters here I want you to see, so let's do that. Tiny, tiny letters. These are for prayers, palms, um, maybe putting things in a christening gown or a wedding gown for the date it was worn and that kind of thing. Over here we have the beautiful letters and there are 12 showing on screen, but if I go down to the next screen, you will see the Greek alphabet. Very, very useful for the fraternity and sorority crowd. These are just spectacular and there's so much you can do with them. And then the quilting. Now, I'm not gonna tell you a lot about the quilting because I know there's an entire class on it, but what I will show you is this. Just so you know what's happening, there are um, 20 quilting designs in here. And if I choose one and touch it on the screen and touch set, you will see that I can make it any size from uh, almost five inches to up to 118 inches. So that is a super king quilt. And then I can do my sashing up to almost four inches. So it's really nice that it, it's variable. The program will let you use it, uh, the pieces by yourself and just line up the pieces or bless it. It will also align it automatically for you. And of course, that would be my first choice. <laughs> That's how I do it. Uh, so then down here is a piece de resistance and that is my design center. And my design center is really uh, basic digitizing. It's gonna give you the right on the screen tools to do things. And I'm gonna try to write my name. Usually I do this on the screen and it's really easy, but in this case, the camera's in my way. So I don't know how it'll turn out. Oh, not bad, Woo, yay. So 
All I have to do now, I've written on the screen, and it may be a little hard for you to see because it's not um, very dark yet, but I'm going to choose this. I call it a recipe card, and I'm going to choose bright blue so you can see it. And I want you to see there are eight different stitch choices. I could stitch that in, but if you touch right here, you'll find some magic. And there are an additional 10, so there are 18 stitches that you can use to stitch your outline in. So I actually want to choose the chain stitch because I know I'm going to do triple for this. And I'm ready to go, so I'm going to touch OK. Now I need to touch it to apply what I told it to do. The pencil would make a dot, the bucket will fill it. So I will just touch the bucket and the whole thing turns colors. And I'm going to do something tricky here because I can see it's too big for my hoop. I did a four by four hoop. Uh, so I'm just going to grab this to select. I'm going to touch close and I'm going to touch size. Now the secret here is that this is a graphic. I'm not changing stitches because this is just a drawing. So when I resize it down to say four inches or three and a half, I'm not worried about what's going to happen to my design because it's the graphic that I'm changing. So isn't that cool? I'm going to touch OK. And I'm going to touch Next. And it's my final look. Now if I wanted to, I can still go back up here and I can still evaluate my stitches and my colors. I can still change it even though I'm just at the last, last possible place. Um, there's some wonderful, wonderful tools built into this. And by the way, you can scan it. I'll show you that in a second. So now is the warning. Converted to an embroidery pattern. Are you okay? And it's okay. Yes, it is. And I'm going to tell it that uh, I'm not going to change the size. What I am going to do is touch center so it will move to the center of my hoop. And I'm going to do another little trick because this hoop has some stuff in it that would, um, I don't want to, to stitch over. So I'm just going to touch the little camera here and it's going to scan so that I'm not stitching over what was already there. I certainly don't want to ruin what I had. Oh, good. I'm not. You can see my stitching right down there at the bottom. And then you can see, oh, that's perfect. Yay. It's better to be lucky than good. Um, so I'm going to touch edit end and I'm touch embroidery and it's going to choose, uh, it says that blue I want to use is on number three. What I really want is, oh, three. No, 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 no. I'm, I want to choose number five because you know what? That's where I have red. So I'm just going to tell it, get ready, get set, lock and go. Now while it's doing that, I have some other stuff that I want to show you. One of which is a brand, brand new feature. So I'm hoping I can get this to, there we go. So let me hold it in front of the camera. So can you see that? Oops. There we go. This is called Stitch Monitor. And I see that I have my machine so really, really slowly. But the Stitch Monitor is telling me that I'm on Stitch 1 of 2 minutes. And it's telling me all kinds of things. Now, I'll tell you this. If I have a thread break, it's going to let me know. So if you leave your machine to go downstairs and get a cup of coffee like I do all the time, then it's going to tell you something goes wrong. And I love this feature because it's on my phone and I can just in my pocket and wander around the house if I need to, or do another task. Put you back in front so you can see it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to set my monitor down while it's stitching, and I want to show you something else that you can do. So, mine, I just drew right on the screen, but I want you to know that this comes with the machine. This is a scan tablet, and it's really a cool piece because you can put uh, any drawing. You could have written it on a piece of paper and put it on here if you didn't want to write on the screen. What's really cool about this, and I'm going to tell you my secret because mine always turn out good, so here's my secret. If you do this and you're doing it from a coloring book, scan it with your home printer first. Just print a copy of it. When you print a copy, you're printing on better paper, 
So you're going to get a cleaner print so it scans better. The better the scan, the better the design. And then it's just a simple matter of coloring in. Now this little fella comes on the machine and on, on the tablet and it stores right here. Like I said, this is included with the machine when you get it. So you get, when the machine comes, you get the machine, you get four nice size tubes. They're almost eight by 14, five by seven, four by four and one and a half by two and a half. So you get a, a really nice variety. And then of course there are a million uh, accessory hoops that you can get if you need them. Uh, and this is included. The support table for heavy, heavy items is in included. Now I want you to see what this looks like stitched out. So there it is. I'm gonna try to move this pretty close to the camera. So there's uh, the little one I did as a red work. And then here I did him filled in with color and try to get him pretty close so you can see him. They it did a gorgeous job, didn't it? I just, I've had such wonderful, wonderful results with this um, program and this product. Now let me pull this off the machine. I'm gonna tell it that it's done. And there is my name on my tote bag. This is a tote bag that I carry sometimes to shows. And I do like to put my name or initials on them because sometimes they, disappear get lost so when my name is on them they tend to not get as lost and the other side of this was done with um scan and cut and of course it's one of the really fun mickey designs so they're even more likely to get lost so let me show you some fun things because i see that time is running out and i have so many fun things to show you but here is one of the caps so the cap hoop is a neat neat tool to have here is another amazing tool that we have available for you. It's called the Playbook, and it is specific to this machine. And uh, it has 34 project lessons, and it has, I think, 50 videos in it. Uh, so it has a lot of videos with each, with each lesson. Man, that doesn't make sense that it would have more videos than projects. But it is a wonderful, wonderful workbook. I always say it's like having an educator sit beside you at the table. Uh, because the things are done just as a regular little, uh, they have a picture of what you need to touch and then what it does for you. So it's really amazing. Then I wanted to show you a couple of little things because the PR really, really shines when you're trying to do these small items. This happens to be a little bubble suit for a little boy. And you can see we did the monogram. You can see this is a tiny little thing. So I'm not saying you can't do it on your home machine. I'm, I'm going to say you won't because it will make you miserable and cranky uh, for sure. Now this little fella, this little design right here is a little, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. This is a little ladybug design put on this little toddler's first pair of sneakers. Grandma's nickname is Ladybug. And so she wanted her granddaughter to have little ladybug sneakers. So she does. So um, there are some other fun things that you can do. I did a lot of, I brought a lot of small things in to show you because those are the things that you just cannot do uh, on your home machine without taking them apart. And nobody wants to be the one to take their, their materials apart. They just want to stitch with it and have fun. So these are the best for uh, Christmas gifts, barbecue gifts. Um, I'm kind of like that young lady I told you about in the beginning. I haven't bought a wedding gift or a graduation gift or a gift of any kind in since I bought my first PR because it's so easy to make so many wonderful, wonderful gifts. Um, one of the things that is available that we haven't talked about is software. So sometimes people want to get into software because software even gives you more tools. Now this probably looks like a photograph and it is a photograph except that in our PE Design 11, it was turned into a photo stitch. And so it's actually soft and crushable. Um, it does a gorgeous job, as you can see. You can even see the bars of the, of the fence of the park and you can see the knob on the little unicorn. She's sitting on one of those Rocky Horse unicorns. What I love about these is that they are, they're beautifully, beautifully accurate and delicate, but they're also, because you're using good polyester thread, they're almost indestructible. So if you want to have a little memento of something that someone can stick in their pocket or travel with, this is ideal. 
And this again was done in our PE Design 11. And that isn't all it has. It has a million more fun things in it, but that was one of the things. Yeah. Colleen, I'd love to tell everyone about the amazing show special we have on the Brother oh, PR 1055X to Needle and Board. I know you were just talking yes, about that PE Design 11 software. I'm going to break up the specials on the screen, um, but I did want to let everybody know the percentage off of MSRP at allbrands.com stores is 68% off of the machine and bundles, plus you get to pick an extra. Um, so I'll show you what the specials are on our website. They look Barbara, I like... To, I just have to interrupt for a second. You're this. telling me that they're getting nearly 70%, 68% off? Whoa. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bye now. So this is the special for that. So not only do you, you get the machine, um, you get the free stand, uh, which is a $1,400 value. Plus there is a rebate from Brother currently on that Durkee seven piece frame that you showed and the, um, the playbook for that machine. And then you get um, financing, and you can pick one. So you can either do a trade in, you can get the sashing frame, you can add in the PE Design 11, which I think that would be a really good option to pick. Um, you can get a scanning cut. So you get to choose one from the options below. So don't miss out um, on that. Combining the financing plus pick one, plus the seven piece frame, plus the playbook, plus the stand, plus all the amazing things that already come in that machine. Colleen. So um, guys, don't miss your chance on that. Um, it's going to be great. So I'd like to do a giveaway um, for a lucky watcher, just like I promised. So let's see. Um, go ahead and give me some comments below and I will pick a random winner uh, for a $10 allbrands.com gift card. So we have seven retail stores in Louisiana and Texas, but we also have an internet website where we ship all over the world. And guys, my parents started this business in 1976. Allbrands.com was the first sewing machine internet website uh, online in 1997 for selling sewing machines. So uh, <laughs> you can shop with confidence that we've been around for a long time and we're going to be around for a long time so for a ten dollar allbrands.com gift card congratulations donna i'm gonna write your name down and email me at events at allbrands.com your name email address and phone number and i will get that ten dollar allbrands gift card uh, mailed out to you on Monday. So uh, Colleen, I'm going to bring you back in if that's okay, just to say toodaloo before we take a quick break. Are you available? I'm right here. Awesome. I just awesome. in front of the camera. Hi. Hey. Thank you, for joining <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. And uh, I love working with you. You just have so much knowledge. And I know it's, it's hard to say um, everything in 25 minutes on that machine, but you'll be with us again tomorrow. I will, and I'll throw some same stuff and some new stuff. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much. We're going to take a five-minute break, and next up on the stage is Jerry Granada. So we'll see you soon, uh, Colleen Bye. Sweatman. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Welcome back. And next on our demo stage is Jerry Granada, brother, national educator, and great friend of all brands. And what an amazing quilter. And thank you for your service and a musician and just an all around great guy. So he's going to show us a little bit about the Stellaire and my design center. And I will bring him in and be sure to stay tuned to the end because we will be doing another um all brands gift card giveaway um at the end of this presentation so hi jerry hi everybody how are we doing good i was watching our video from um the big reveal the other day because i yeah. was like i need a refresher on all of these <laughs> features and we were dancing in the last video and uh that music that we have in the five minute interval is like, oh, it's so catchy. I've been dancing in between. I came, really close, I came very close to, you know, getting my groove on, but I decided not to. Cool. So but what do you have to show us today? Well, today I'm very excited to show you. First off, I want to say hello to, uh, to all of my All Brands friends. Um, it is so good to be with you again. I've, I've met a lot of you. Um, I look forward to the day when I can see you live again. But for now, this is our world as we know it. So what I want to show you today 
is the Stellaire XJ1. The amazing thing about the Stellaire is it is a combination machine. So it's a combination sewing and embroidery machine. But the clever thing that Brother did is they split it into two machines. So there's the XJ1, which is the sewing and embroidery combination that I'll be using today. There's also the XE1, which is embroidery only. So if you have a sewing machine that you love and you wanna bring in embroidery, the XE1 may just be the way to go for you. What's really great about that is you get all of the features of my design center and all of the features of the XJ1 just without sewing. So if you already, again, if you have a machine you love, it's a great way to go. What I wanna talk about today, specifically with the XJ1, is quilting in the hoop. Now, we all, have all, we all have UFOs hanging around somewhere in a drawer or in a closet, and we don't know what to do with them. Um, and we wanna get them done. And you know, the holidays are coming. I know it's the H word. The holidays are coming, they're coming quickly. Um, but some of you may not realize that your inverter machine is a really great way to finish a lot of those. Um, if you want to do something quick, maybe pick a smaller project, or if you if you really want to do something special, more heirloom, um, you can do a large quilt on, on these. So use your embroidery machine for quilting. Well, how do we do that? There's several different things that we can do. There's several ways that we can quilt in the hoop. Um, with the Stellaire, you can quilt around uh, an embroidery. So if you have a piece of embroidery, you can quilt around it. You can also quilt uh, in sashings. And you can, you know, using the camp, the 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 app, and the uh, Stellaire itself in my design center, you can really customize. You can put triangles in triangles. You can put uh, rectangle designs in rectangles. So I got that app on my phone in the upgrade for the XP2, and yeah. I love it. Are you talking about my design Snap Mobile app? Well, I was talking about my design center, but I'm going to talk about the app in just a second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Back off, Barbara. I got this. I'm just kidding. I love her. Anyway, um, yeah. So, you know, in combination with the app and my design center, you can really customize quilt designs. Now, there's a lot of designs already built in uh, into my design center. So you don't have to go out and buy anything. There's already... A, a lot of, and I'm going to go through some of them with you, a lot of designs already built into the machine. So um, you can bring in uh, quilt designs or using the My Design Snap, you can take a picture of, you know, maybe some vines and flowers or things like that and turn that into a quilt design for you. So you can really customize how you want to do this. You could even bring in a picture of your fabric and you can draw around it using My Design Center and turn that into a quilt pattern. So it's really customized for your project. There's just really so many, so many things that you can do with it. Um, I will say I will start off with an apology, kind of. We um, we adopted an English bulldog two weeks ago, and he's in the room with me, and he's not quite settled down yet. So if you hear some snoring in the background, it's not me; it's my dog snoozing. So hopefully he'll he'll stay snoozing. So let's get over to, uh, let me switch my camera over and I'm gonna bring you over to the screen uh, and over to my other camera where you can see exactly what's going on here. So those of you who have our brother owners, you'll be very familiar with this grouping here. You have sewing, you have embroidery, you have Disney, and you have my design center. Um, what's really nice about this is, uh, as you can see, if you have the XJ1, you will have sewing, if you have the XE1, which is embroidery only, this category will not be here. So you'll have the, the lower three, the Embroidery Disney and My Design Center. Um, again, all the great features, you just don't have sewing. So how are we gonna use all this? So we were talking about the app and the app really is where the magic happens. It's the thing that makes this all happen. And I've got my little device here and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a little um, icon and I'll pull it in. Hopefully it'll, let me refocus for you. There we go. The upper left-hand corner is a brother logo. It says my design snap. So I'm going to press that and we're just going to give it a second. And I am now connected to my machine via the app. Now, an important feature to this that you have to know is your device and your machine have to be on the same network. Makes sense, right? You want everything talking together. So as long as your device and as long as your machine are on the same 
uh, network, you're, they're going to be able to talk to each other wirelessly. Now let's talk about some of the categories that you're seeing here. In the very top, you have embroidery, my design center, uh, two different versions of that. Um, so I won't talk about the, this, this too much. I, I just want to show you some of the basics. Again, please see your local all brand dealer um, where they have classes on all of this. So I'm kind of just teasing a little bit and give you just a quick overview of what, what works here. So uh, we're going to be working predominantly with my design center today. And what you're going to do is you are going to, let me put this down. Now, what I want to do is I have a little sample here for you. So this is, um, I'm kind of known for using unusual fabrics. So I have, uh, it's a metallic linen that I have embroidered on in the middle. And then around the sashing is a square of lame, gold, uh, silver lame. And then I just have some cotton for a border. Now this is a sample. Now this, we'll just say that this is a representation of a, of a whole quilt that I've done. Um, and I do have a finished sample I'll show you after I'm finished. Um, the design itself is built into the Stellaire. There's a whole series of red work, and I think they are just beautiful. They sort of have a classic traditional look to them. Uh, of course, I did them in blue. <clears throat> you are free to do them in any color. I had someone at an event ask me, can I do red work in green? And I went, um, yes, you can. <laughs> You're free to choose any color that you want. Um, this one I just did in blue to match everything else. So let me pull this away. And I'm going to show you the hoop real quick. So this is a nine and a half. I, I can't even get the whole thing in my in my frame here. This is a nine and a half by 14 inch hoop. Huge. You'll notice that there are markings on one end of the hoop. And let me flip it over. And there's markings on the other end. This works in conjunction with the app. Once you take a picture of the hoop, the app will recognize it and send it over to your machine. So I'm going to do this on the bed of my machine to make it easier so that so that we don't have the Dramamine effect so my camera is, is wiggling all over the place. But what you're gonna do is you won't necessarily put your hoop in the machine like this to take a picture. You're going to do this on a flat table away from your machine so that you get a nice flat surface. Now, what I'm gonna show you is you do not have to hoop uh, your project at all. So say you want to just play with this a little bit and you have a like an orphan block like I have and you just want to play with it But you don't want to put it all together yet because you're not sure about how it's going to look You do not have to hoop this you just lay it in the hoop so that your machine can see the markings or, I'm sorry the app can see the markings and it'll be on the flat surface Then what you'll do is you're going to go back to your app and you're going to choose the category that you want. Now, in this case, we're going to be working with My Design Center, and Angela's on right after me, who's going to be talking about My Design Center. So she'll probably, um, knowing her, she'll dive into this a little more detailed than I am. But again, just giving you a quick overview. So what I'm going to do is I want to um, I want to edit this. So I'm going to snap capture with frame for pattern editing because I'll be in My Design Center, and that's exactly what I want. What's nice is you could be halfway across the country, you could be halfway across the world, and if you see something that you love and you want to stitch it out um, or quilt it out, you this is a select image for pattern energy editing. This your picture will go into your gallery on your on your device, and you can pull it right from there. So you don't have to take a live picture. You could have something stored uh, that you want to pull up later. Um, again, this is going to work for positioning in the embroidery area, and we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. But for now, I'm going to snap capture with frame for pattern editing, and it goes into this section right here. Sorry, I got a little bit of a thing there. And let me get my thing out of the way. There we go. So now, as you can see, this is a live view. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this over my hoop, and I'm going to raise it. And what it will do is it will talk me through. Now it's saying that it can't be detected because it's not flat on the table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, it's going to tell me everything I need to do. And then it will say, um, send to the machine. You're going to say yes, and it will magically go right over to your machine. So let's, I've already done this previously. So let's go ahead and, and kind of pull all of this off. Oh, I can leave that there for now. So let's go to my screen and let's find out where my picture went. Well, since I was in the My Design se se section of the app, I need to go to My Design Center on my machine. So let's go ahead and do that. And there is my play area. I love this area. This area is so much fun. This is where the magic happens. 
So I need to go, for, well, where's my picture? I need to find it. You're going to touch this little leaf in the upper left-hand corner right up here. Now, how did I bring this in? I brought it in wirelessly, right? So I, I didn't use a USB stick. I brought it in wirelessly. So I'm going to touch the wireless icon. And here are all the files that I sent over. Now, the newest one, the very new one that you sent over will always be at the top. So it makes it really easy. So you don't have to, like, if you have a ton of these, you don't have to rifle through them all to find out which one you just, you know, I just sent this over. Where is it? It will always be the first one at the very top, making it really easy. Now, I've done a couple things here, but I know that my file that I'm looking for is here. So I'm going to tap that and it's just going to take a second. And there is my picture that I took. I'm going to set it. And we'll just give that a second, and there it is. Now, this is not a live picture of what I have in my Who. This is a picture, remember, I took previously and sent it wirelessly over to my machine. So there it is. And if you go down to the bottom, right down here, <laughs> where my little, my little uh, stylus is, I can darken this. I can lighten it so I can see exactly what I'm doing. That's probably good right there. I think that's enough that you'll be able to see it and I'll be able to see it. So what I need to do is, um, what I did previously is, is picked my, uh, my design, my embroidery design, and I created an outline for it. That went over to my design in the stamps area or the shapes area. So what I need to do is go find that. That is up here in the very top where this little flower is. And there I've done several. So there's the outline of my embroidery design. Now, I can do this a couple different times and send them over here and choose the one that I want. I like the one in the middle. Press OK. And the red line represents my outline. So if I move this around, you can kind of see the outline in the background. So what I want to do is I want to try and get this outline right over my embroidery design. You can resize it here if you want. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. Um, I'm kind of okay with that. It's uh, it's far enough away from the embroidery that I don't think it's gonna mess with anything. Now I need to create a barrier. So I'm gonna go get a shape, in this case, a square. I'm gonna press okay. There's my outline. It's a little big for my, my inner square. So I'm just gonna touch the proportion. And now I can either move it on the screen or I can use my arrow keys to position that outline where I want it. There's a square there. Now, all I have to do is go into the menu for my designs. And here you have stippling. Uh, and this open, touch this icon, it will open up even more. And look at all the designs that you have available to you to use as quilting designs, or as background fillers behind your um, embroidery design. So let's go ahead and come all the way down and the first one selected. That's fine. And we'll touch OK. And now I'm going to touch the little fill bucket because I want to fill it. Now I'm going to touch anywhere inside the square but outside my outline and watch what happens. Isn't that amazing? Look how fast and easy that was. Um, so now I have a, a nice quilting design inside of my square but outside of my embroidery design. So all I have to do is go to next and I can adjust the size if I want to, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with where it is. Now I want to preview it because I want to see what this is going to look like. And there you go. Isn't that amazing? Now I can go back in and I don't want a satin stitch around my design. So I'm going to return. I'm going to go up to my line properties. Tell it not to stitch. Okay. Again, my fill bucket and I'm going to touch the outline. Touch next and preview and watch what happens. That satin stitch is gone. So isn't that incredible? I mean, it's just a really fast and easy way to get uh, some quilting behind your embroidery design. So that's one way that we can quilt in the hoop. So let's see another way here. What if you just want, you know, what I call a get or done quilt. You just want to get it done. So what you're going to do is you're going to hoop up your quilt just like you would a regular sandwich and you're going to hoop it. So you're going to use your batting, your backing, your top, and you're going to hoop it up in your hoop, and you're going to choose another design. So let me go ahead and show you um, 
very quickly the finish little sample that I had of my last my last uh, thing that I created here for you. And there it is all quilted up. Notice the sashing. These are also included designs in the Stellar. But the beauty of my design center is you can resize these however you like. You can make it look exactly the way you want and stitch it out in your sashing. The outside, again, is that same design we just used, but I used metallic thread. So that's a silver metallic thread. And all it was was just going around and rehooping and stitching in because we have the, the app, I could take a picture of my sashing area and place this design exactly within that sashing area. So it's absolutely perfect. And then because this is a sewing machine as well, I use metallic thread and put a blanket stitch uh, so that the little bite was going out that way toward the binding. So, and then of course I use lame in on the binding. Who uses lame in the binding? I do, because <laughs> I'm just that crazy when it comes to, to creativity. <laughs> and then of course I use the outline feature again to do the candle wicking in metallic thread. And then you can see some of the designs that I used. So again, I used uh, traditional quilting and also kind of a little more customized quilting here. So you can do that in my design center. Um, let me show you another sample of, of some sashing. Here's another quilt design that you could do in your sashing. And again, you, you have the freedom to customize this. So I didn't want it to fill the whole space. So I just kind of used my little arrow keys and maneuvered this exactly where I wanted it and then stitched that out. Also the Disney, Disney princesses are in here. Kind of the same way I did my other sample. So I stitched out the design, did my outline, made a square and then filled it in. And then again, in the sashing, I used an included design in the Stellaire to quilt within the sashing. And then I did, again, being a sewing machine, I did free motion feathers in the, in the border. So these are, these are ways that you can use your embroidery machine to, uh, to quilt. And let me show you this one. This was a scarf, lovely scarf that was given to me as a gift that came from Japan. And it's cherry blossoms. Hopefully you can see that. It's, it's a little hard to see, I agree. But I used monofilament thread on the top and a 60 weight in the bobbin because I just wanted an overall design that didn't take away from the cherry blossoms. So again, pulled into my design center and I'll show you this in a second. Pulled in my design center and I just filled the entire hoop with a design. We'll just choose the same one. And there we go. So once I take a picture of what's in the app, I will have that as a background and I can overlay this design on top of my entire quilt and just keep rehooping and just keep moving. It's the fast and easy way to quilt. So there's no excuses for UFOs anymore. <laughs> Get those out and, and use your embroidery machine to finish them. It's a lot faster. <laughs> now I, I heard a new term, Jerry. What is a PhD? PhD? Somebody said what's that? no more. I don't know. Let us know, uh, Kimberly. She said oh, project, too project, many project, UFOs project, and PhDs. Maybe she's very educated. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So thank you so much, Jerry, for showing us. So that is actually not the top of the line machine of uh, Luminaire or Ten Needle that we have. You can get that in embroidery only or the combination of the two. It's called the Brother Stellaire. There's two model numbers and we have an amazing show special that I'm going to put on the screen real quick just so that everybody can see. So this is uh, Brother's Holiday Gift Guide and um, all brands is like sweetens the deal. Um, so you get the free XJ1 bundle with the combination. So this is the sewing and embroidery machine and it does Disney designs. It's got the the my snap mobile app it does a nine and a half by 14 inch uh hoop embroidery area um and oh my gosh it's amazing you get the bag set bes4 lettering software we haven't even talked about that yet uh 400 additional designs with it you also get a rebate for guess what a brother scan and cut sdx 230d um and that's from brother and they also have another rebate um 
for a free mobile device with this. So that is, I think, one of the best specials that we have going on now. So if you want to take advantage of that, you do have to come into our stores in Louisiana or Texas um, to purchase that. And so guess what? If you have a sewing machine um, and you just want an embroidery only machine, Brothers got you covered, right? They yeah. have XE1. So that comes with the luggage set. 24 packs of thread and the re that's a rebate and then the rebate free mobile device isn't that cool that's so that's an amazing deal and i do want to point out with the xe1 you still get that big hoop and you get my design center so everything i just showed you you can do in the embroidery only area too well thank you so much jerry um you sure. think we should give something away before do we bring it. Angela. So, <laughs> so, oh my gosh, everybody's saying, wow, Jerry, we love you so much. That's so pretty. And your love quilts you are absolutely gorgeous. Did you Thanks. use King Star thread? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I did. I love King Star. King Star is great. Oh, yeah. So that'll be in our allbrands.com mall booth um, where we have designs of machine embroidery. That is an amazing, amazing thread. So guys, give us some comments. I'm going to choose a random winner for our giveaway. And yeah, so if I choose your name, you email events at allbrands.com and send me your name, email address and phone number, and I will send you the prize uh, by email on Monday. So let's see. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Congratulations, Sandra Bro. You have won the $10 All Brands gift card. So email Ooh. us at allbrands.com. And thank you so much, Jerry. So you're going to be coming back with us again, right? I am. Tomorrow, yeah, we're going to be talking about the, the PRS, the Persona, the PRS 100 with uh, the border feature and the cap frame. I'm laughing at Angela. She's backstage. She's got an outfit on. Is she doing bunny ears behind my ear? Is she doing that behind my head? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so great. Okay, so we're gonna take a five minute break. Everybody get some coffee, some water, and then we'll see Angela. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Jerry, for sharing your love of thank sewing. You. Thank you all, Branson. Thank you, Barbara, for having me. Yeah, you're always welcome on the show. All right, so we'll see you in five minutes, everybody. All righty. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started.
allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Hey, Angela, welcome everybody to the Albrand Show. And we have Angela on again. I'm so excited. I have a second pair of glasses. I, I, I'm going to have to go buy more for tomorrow's show. I have to have a different pair of <laughs> Yes, yes. So we're going to talk about Brother, my design yes. set, right? That's so my exciting. favorite. My favorite. <laughs> yeah, my favorite. And I love those glasses. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Sandra says, welcome back. Marilyn, um, Jerry's going to be on at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Yes, 2 p.m. Central Time. And Angela will be again with us tomorrow as well. But not Saturday because she has a big fishing thing, right? <laughs> Going fishing. I should join you from out there, but I wouldn't have my luminaire with me. <laughs> so I got my all brands hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Ah, oh, so what a day. This what is so day. much fun. I've actually been watching while I've been working on the side. And, you know, I, I mentioned this earlier on a Facebook Live earlier today. It doesn't matter how many years you've been sewing or embroidering. When you watch some of these educators and brand ambassadors show certain things, there I always pick up one or two tips. Always. Yeah, me too. Jerry uh, <laughs> Jerry has a lot of good good tips. And his quilts are just absolutely gorgeous stephanie says angela has the largest coffee cups <laughs> oh yeah i have I'll, I'll bring the one out tomorrow my sister just sent me but this is a christmas one for today but wait till you see the one tomorrow i'll save it for that <laughs> it's huge <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i love it and mary oh, hi says, mary <laughs> watch angela all the time i love it oh my goodness so one thing that I love about um, Brother Machines, Angela, I'll take off my, my hat, is that they do Disney designs. Mm -hmm. They sure do. They do. They're so great. 
Would you like to see a few of them and how I use those in my design center actually? Kind of combine things together? Yeah, I, 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 want, I need some more Mickey in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see if I've got you in the right spot. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> I gotta put my real glasses on so I can find the real Mickey, right? Okay, so a couple things. First of all, this is, has nothing to do with my design center, but you know there's this entire section here of Disney, which I love. And again, with this huge screen, you can make things higher. Look at all of these designs. Oh, my gosh, there's so many. And some of these are so stinking cute. Well, they're all cute, but there's some of them that are my favorites. Like this one here is really fun. Look at how big that is. Isn't that great? And Barbara, I don't know if you knew this, but well, you probably knew it. I don't know if all of your fans watching knew this, but you can actually make this larger. So say you're trying to see how big is this? And then you can use the hand. Well, actually not on this section. You can't, sorry. But um, you can make it larger to get really close to see what this looks like. So this is all in the selection screen. Look at all of those. Isn't that cool? I love that. Fun, fun thing. Fun. So let me just show you a fun thing that you could do with my design center. I'm just going to show you a few embroidery things, and then I'll show you something really cool in my design center. So let's just let's pick a design. How about, let's see, how big is she? Ah, she's pretty big. Let's go with, oh, that's cute. How about mini? And why don't we, yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, my gosh, that's cute. That would look good on your jacket. <laughs> okay, so in here, you can't change the size of the Disney designs because they're licensed, but you can do a lot of other things. So maybe you wanted to add an extra one. You could. <laughs> we could have two minis, uh, but we'll just stick with one. How's that? You can move it around. You can rotate it. You have all of these options, but I want to show you this icon right here. So this will actually put an outline outside of this that we can move into my design center. So there's an outline there, and you can actually change the distance. Maybe you want it further away. See how, Can you see that moving? And I'll move it out just a little bit more, just so you can see it. Otherwise, it's too hard. See that? So that outline I can take and put into my design center so we can add stippling all over the place or other designs around it, and it won't affect that. So just click memory, and it saves it to the machine. And it tells me, like I said, you can't forget anything. It tells you what to do. So click OK. And you could go ahead and embroider this. Now, a couple of things. You could, from this screen now, go in and add stippling right from here. Isn't that cool? So you don't even have to take that to my design center anymore, which used to be one of the biggest things there. It also has adjustments here uh, where you can adjust you know, the, the size of the stippling. You can also, I think it's so Angela, you know, what's so cool about that. So what? for those of you who have the Luminaire XP1, uh, which is what I have, Angela has the new for 2021 XP2. You can tell because it's got the dark blue outline on the screen. Yeah. And these features that she's showing you, some of them are only available in the XP2. But guess what? XP1 owners, you are in luck and you get a discount if you up purchase the two upgrade kits, um, it turns your XP1 into an XP2. So I'll just put that coupon code on the screen and those are available in our stores. So um, great, great features. This is so much fun. I could sit and play with this all day long, but you could do all that here. Now let's just see what you could do in my design center with this. So let's just say, take the stippling off and you just embroidered the Mickey. You could put your fabric back in. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you haven't embroidered the Mickey yet. Maybe you have it more like a patch. If you go into my design center, go under, I have to always have to remember which one to go under. <laughs> which one is it? Oh, that's not it. You can see some of the designs I've been working on, though. Let's see. Go back here. Cancel. I love it. Wasn't that fun? There's a lot of fun things in here. I have um, signatures. Look at this. I signed this, and I can. I actually did another one here. This is the scanning mat. So I'm, I'm doing personal Christmas gifts for my family. Uh, I got I better add Wynn's name on there too, right? <laughs> uh, but you can scan this in and it shows up like this on the screen. 
So this is an older one. Have a nice day. But okay, let me go back to the mini and then I'll show you that. There's so many things. Okay, back to my design center. It's under here. So you already have all these shapes built into here and you can either tell it to just have a satin fill, just an outline or both. I mean, you have so many options. And then we have these out here. Now these are kind of fun because you can actually use these as an outline on here. And look at these, really cute. But here's the icon for my little stamp. And you can see some other things I've been working on. There's my big A and um, princess, frozen. So there's the outline. You're probably like, whoa, wait a minute, what do I need that for? Well, you can actually go embroider that uh, mini onto fabric and now maybe you're adding it to a quilt. You wouldn't want to do a whole embroidered mini on top of with batting and everything. So you could actually bring your fabric in then. Here's your mini and maybe you want to add a couple shapes. Let's just add a few shapes here. Why don't we add something like this to the outside of mini? That looks pretty good. And maybe we'll add just a few more just for the heck of it. You have options to change the size in here. And I'm actually overlapping these a little bit on purpose, <laughs> just for the record, because I want to show you something really cool. All right, so we've got a couple shapes and we have the outline of mini. So when I click on uh, this bucket fill and go in here, you have, again, the stippling that you can use. And then you have all of these, which you also saw on the embroidery screen. So they're in both places. And speaking of your hat and Saturday, I think there's one with fish on it. Maybe Minnie wants to go fishing. Where did they go? Did I lose my fish? <laughs> there they are. Let's make them pink. So I can add fish. Let's just add fish outside of mini. Look at, it went all the way outside the outline and those circles that I had, that actually blocks this off. And I did that on purpose. Now that's like a very unattractive design there, but the point I was trying to make here is that you can add stippling to different sections. Like when you add shapes on top of each other, it will automatically only go where you touch. So you don't like it, back it back out. So let's just say you like the stippling all the way around Minnie, which I actually cut half of her off. So <laughs> that's probably not all good. But let's take a few of these out. You can always go back. Angela, that blew my mind. I never realized I could overlap shapes. I know, like isn't that, that fun? So now we're back to, just to the basics. Mm -hmm. And there, there's an outline. There's mini on the inside, and you could keep adding more shapes outside of it. You know, this is a good opportunity after you embroider it, you could do this quilt sashing. So you go back and forth. But um, that's really fun. And there's how you can take something from embroidery. So uh, I've got a couple more fun things to show you. I have this really crazy fabric. It's just a knit. I use the magnetic frame for it. But I was trying to find something super bright. I would probably not really embroider on this, <laughs> but I wanted a bright fabric so you can see it because I know on camera it's sometimes hard. So I think one of the coolest parts of my design center is you can scan in. I just showed you if you scanned in handwriting, right? And it would show up like that and turn it into embroidery. You can also do this with fabric. So I'm just going to start over, click OK, and let's see right here. Let's scan in an image scan. And by the way, I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually take things from an SD card, um, USB stick, Wi-Fi if you have the software and the machine. And then all, there's also my design snap, which you could just take a photo. I'm just going to bring this in. Oh, I saved that on here. Can you see that screen by the way? It has purple all over it. Well, remember the bag that I showed you guys a few minutes, like in the last session, by the way? This is that fabric. I scanned in that fabric, so take a look again. Wrong one. That fabric, and I was able to turn stippling all around it. So it looks like this. 
This is in the master class too, just a cute bag. So that's one thing. Now let's scan in and look at the stripes. All right, let's see. There, I had hit machine, that's where I had saved it. So let's go ahead and scan and see what we have. All right, it tells me to put my snowman sticker down. And if you look really closely, it might be a little bit difficult for you guys to see that. Try to do this without making you seasick. The snowman's right there. You see it on top of my sticker? So what you have to do is you have to lay that down as close as you can to that section. And it shows you right there. All right, whoops. And then click OK. It's recognizing, it does the scanning. And every, I think I've only had one time where it wasn't successful and it was because my sticker was on cockeyed, but it'll just say, okay, all good. So remove your sticker. I usually just stick mine on the machine up here. Click okay. This fabric is fun, isn't it? It's a knit, so I'll probably make I a pink top. But you could add rows and rows of embroidery on there if you wanted to. I want this for purple pink. What did you say, Barbara? I want to use this hoop for quilting in the hoop. Could I like use this hoop for hooping? Wait. No, I would like to use this hoop because I just got it. <laughs> um, for doing like an all over stipple and then like matching it and like making the whole thing stippling on. That would be very cool. Yeah, it's available for the 10 needle and the luminaire, the PR 1055X and the luminaire, which is so cool. I love it. So I saw a couple of things, um, just so you guys know, that make sure that you have your upgrades on your machine too. There was another upgrade that came out a little while ago, so check that in case you're having any, you know, they always, upgrades are, it's like a computer where it just updates, you know, if something isn't quite perfect, they keep perfecting it. All right, so look at the screen now. It scanned in my fabric. That looks fantastic. So now you could actually go in here and there's a couple ways you could decorate this fabric. Maybe, um, well, here's one of my favorites, this little paintbrush. And why don't we pick, oh gosh, I don't know, pink. And let's pick stippling. I should probably use my stylus. So you, and my hand isn't in your way. Oh, by the way, I can make this darker. So you can see it really good now, can't you? And I'm gonna just draw on here. You can see that line right there. Well, I could just keep filling this in with stippling, which is kind of how I did that other fabric. So whatever fabric you bring in, you can decorate it with stippling, you can decorate it with satin stitches, and I'm just drawing like on a, I'll even put some lines out here just so you can see outside of the fabric. See what I just drew there? A little messy, but that's because I'm reaching over my camera. <laughs> you always have to love the shots on the live shows. All right, so let's just do maybe one with um, white. Let's pick a different design. How about, yeah, that'd be kind of fun. And again, you can go in here and just fill this in. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. There's a fill. And if I take this down, you can see what I just did. See that? Or you can actually use, there's a pencil feature, there's a bucket feature. There's a, so many different things on here that you can use. I do like this one though. Because here you can actually draw in lines. Okay. And if I take this down, you can see that. And then I can go back and fill it. See that? That's really cool. And so what you could do is you could scan in your fabric and that's exactly what I did with that bag. I scanned in the fabric and I would just draw. So let's just say there was a triangle. Oops, wrong one, because that's I have the bucket. I think 
you can say <laughs> go back so let me click on the pencil again so you can actually just draw something just like that click on fill oops there must have been a little bit not open there oh yeah there's a little piece that isn't closed right there so I'll draw in just a little bit more and now let's try it nope <laughs> I must have a little opening okay so let me show you another way to do that then there's actually where you can take this let's see is it remember which one it is here there's all of these different drawing tools <laughs> and look at all these different things you can use there's that candle wicking that we've been seeing so frequently triple stitch and it let me just show you a couple of these See this one, it automatically has it closed. So I don't have to worry about going back. And if I look really close right there, I can see where that one's open. So click on fill and it fills. Now this little piece here, you can actually make this larger and then use your pan, move it down. Oh, look, there's my little opening that I couldn't get. So click on here again, go to your pencil, and just close that. You could make it a little neater than that, but <laughs> I think you're getting the idea, right? And let's give it another fill. Maybe, I love these fills though, because I'm not very good at that whole actual quilting thing. So this really makes it look like I know what I'm doing. Look at that. Well, it's called quilt broidery. Um, so you don't have to be good at quilting because the embroidery machine uh, with my designer, do, my design center does it all for you. And Mary says creative ideas. And I agree. It's so much fun. You can even write with the stippling. So you can design your own fabric so easily. And again, in here, you can, let's see, in here, let's just do like a candle wicking. How about green? All right, so that's a whole hot mess, but let's just see what it looks like when we go to the next screen. So this is where you can really make sure everything's where you want it to be and you can actually see what everything's going to look like, including the outlines. So it takes a few minutes, or, or I should say a few seconds. I've got a lot of things on there, but look at, see how my straight stitch turned to candle wicking just by drawing and my other stitches, those are a little bit odd, <laughs> but you can go through here and remove stuff. If you want everything to embroider together, you can link it. Uh, there's so much that you can do. Which is so nice that you come in the box with the machine, with the new machine purchases. Uh, yeah, they get yeah. all of that instruction with the machine. So that's wonderful. Yeah, there's about, I, I can't remember if there's 40 or 50 videos, but like I mentioned, I was actually adding something fun and you know, in the springtime, I know I'll be adding something new too, because there's always something fun for each season, especially like Valentine's Day. So I saw somebody ask a question about the um, handwriting. So I did not, just for the record, this is a piece of paper uh, that I wrote on. So I did not write on the mat. You do not write on the mat. That's a no, no. <laughs> and then I put magnets around here and just slide it into the machine. So, you know, coloring books, oh my gosh, you could have so much fun with that because you can actually fill the colors with what you're working on. So I just take this, click on my design center, we're gonna scan, and this time let's turn it into a line drawing and scan, click okay. And if you have any issues when yours is scanning, by the way, if it's not reading, if something's wrong, uh, make sure that you don't have too much overhead lighting. Now, this usually doesn't happen in a home, but you know, some of these new lights that we're using over our sewing machines are super, super, super bright. And sometimes that light will affect this very rarely. But if you are having problems, that would be the only thing I could think of. Because I remember when, when we used to have big uh, events at your place, Barbara, when we'd have hundreds of people and there'd be all those overhead lightings. There'd be like one machine out of a hundred that would be affected by that light. So that's just a tip though, because you know, if you have a super bright LED light right over here, it's gonna affect what the machine sees too. So, all right, and here we go. There's my lettering. So you don't want to, you don't want to embroider your magnets. So bring this in. 
and you have the option of making this darker, lighter, single stitch, satin stitch, whatever you want. Let's just do a single stitch for now. How about purple? Click OK. And there is my embroidery. Look at it. If you need it to be a little darker, you can adjust it right here. Click set and it turns it into embroidery. That easy. So this will now embroider however you want it to do. So then you can go ahead and just like before, you can add maybe a big shape around it. This is a great way to make a mug rug, by the way. So you, you can actually create your own in the hoop design right here, right on the screen. Okay, and then why don't we just add like just a couple more shapes just for the heck of it. Let's see. I have a better idea. You could totally make a Christmas tree with those triangles and it would be so cute. Oh my gosh, you could. Let's see, there was one in here. There we go. How about that? Look at how cute that is. And you could make this darker. Now when I make this darker, you can see the handwriting, but you can also see the magnets, although the magnets were cut off of that. You're just make what you're making darker here is what you had scanned in. So just in case you couldn't see it or something. Now that looks great. And then maybe um, let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, so if you had that triangle, even if you put like three circles in here, so see, Looks like a little bit of a hot mess, but you can, I've given you the idea of what's going on here. So again, here, if you wanna change something, you've got the letters that you can change. Maybe you want this one to be, I don't know. I probably wouldn't do that, but at least it'll give you an idea. So if you had one big letter, see how it changed that? Isn't that cool? So you have the options, even when you get to this screen, to change it, and then you can actually see the visualization up here. Now, let's just say that you're working on something. I'm gonna hit all clear. This is one more cool thing. Speaking of the holidays. Okay, there's a circle. And why don't we just add another? I know you'll guess what this is, by the way. Is that something that happens when it's cold? It, it sure is. And how about one more? <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, and I'm doing this all right here. By the way, I know a lot of people that say that their kids are getting into embroidery. They love the customization. And this is something easy that you could do with them, too. Just be careful. They get a little addicted to these screens, and they have a lot of fun. <laughs> Ask how I know that. Okay, so let's just say you want to add, why don't we just do, I'll do satin stitches just so you can see them really good. How about, okay, now you're like, wait a minute, but I, that's not going to work for me. So what you can do is you have an eraser, and so you can go in here, and I'm hoping that it's not too light for you to see, but you can go in here with the eraser, and now you can see it pretty good. What size eraser do you want? Let's just go that big, click OK, and now... I could go in here and get rid of those other circles. Isn't that cool? I'm not gonna do this whole tutorial, but I'll do at least part of it because what happens here then, all of a sudden, when you go to click on the stippling, well, we better add the nose, right? That's awful big nose. <laughs> Let's change the size. I love how you can change all the aspects of it. Oh, I know. Making it smaller. That's a very odd nose, but we're just going to go there. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. See, it's looking a little bit better. It just looked was so big. My goodness. 
So while you're finishing that up, everybody give us some comments down below. I'm going to do a giveaway for an allbrands.com gift card. And if you win, you just email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And I'll email that to you on Monday uh, for that gift card. Um, so, oh, thank you, Angela, for this wonderful, wonderful demonstration. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in on you for a little bit longer while we get those comments in for the giveaway. Isn't that fun? So you can see it coming together, but we better add a few eyeballs first, just, and then I'm all done, I promise. I could sit and play on this forever. This and then you could actually turn this into an applique. I mean, you could see I'm just playing around with little sizes. And if you don't like something, all you do is you click the undo. And you're good to go. So let's, let's give him some eyeballs. <laughs> so cute. I could even just fill those in like that. But I actually just wanted the real circles. So if I click fill, I can fill his eyeballs. Oops. <laughs> That's more than an eyeball. <laughs> I love it. So let's pick a random winner uh, for the All Brands gift card, and it's going to be Donna. Congratulations. Go ahead and email me. I have your name written down um, yeah, as the winner. So congratulations. And Angela, we do have to transition to the next one. We're going to take a quick five minute break, everybody, and then we're going to have. Um, Rosemary Castillo Sarton live from our San Antonio location. Thank you so much, Angela. I told you I could play on that thing forever. Great. You are you Great are deal. amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow, Angela. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. So it'll be fun. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
I just have to dance in between each of our, <laughs> that gets me at my blood pumping and, and ready to sit down and, and learn some more um, from our amazing presenters that we have today. And uh, I love this lady. Her name is Rosemary Castillo Sarton. She's actually our guide class instructor at our San Antonio, Texas location. Um, and she's been doing our virtual events for us for Kimberbell and Pickle Pie. And she's just fan fantastic. I'm a big fan. So I will bring in Rosemary Castillo Sarton. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're so happy to have you. Welcome. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here. I'm all sticked out. I got I got a sparkly hat on. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Very so cool. You have to, what would you like to show us today? Well, we're going to start off with some applique. I'm sure that's a, and actually that's a big thing for quilters is applique and how do I cut things and what do I cut it with? And guess what? I'm getting too old to cut with my scissors. So let's look at alternatives on how to uh, cut our applique fabric and to incorporate it with our design, with our PES design. So are you ready for this? That sounds great. And everybody stick through to the end because we will be doing a giveaway at the end of this presentation. So take it Hi, away. Hi, Donna. Ruth. Donna popped up. <laughs> nice to see you. So uh, one of the things I really enjoy doing uh, is Kimber Bell. And uh, I host the events here in San Antonio. So if you look behind, I'm going to move out of the way. And there's the We Whisk You a Merry Christmas quilt uh, from last season. So that's a lot of applique in there. Some of it is raw edge and some of the you did cut uh, with your scissors. I did not. I used the scan and cut to cut anything that could be cut. And that was one of the great things about Kimberbell is they provide you with a cut file for any cutter you need. So what is difficult to cut? This, my friends, is difficult to cut. I am not going to cut snowflakes by scissors. If you come in and talk to Giselle about the dug rug, she will say never again. She is cutting it on her scan and cut. So this is really fantastic. I cut, obviously I made this one yesterday, so this is really awesome. And I have another file right here. And let me show you uh, a couple of ways how you can get this file ready for your scan and cut. And like I said, um, the, you know, Kimber Bell and there are other designers now that are giving or including cut files when you purchase this design. But say you don't have a um, a cut file that was provided. So let's take a look on how your machine can work with you with that. So I'm gonna feature two machines and it's going to be uh, the NQ1600E and we'll start with that one because I've got the, the mug rug file in here. So let me change my camera and show you that one. Bear with me. There we go, it's gonna show you another one but I'm gonna come down and show you this one. All right. So we have this design right here on our uh, on our um, screen. I'm going to go back because I actually did the, the file and I'm going to do some editing. I actually want to color that cut line or that placement line in this design. So I'm going to go forward until I get that first snowflake. And there it is right there. And it's showing up red. Let me zoom in just a little closer. Oops. There we go. Showing up red. Uh, and I'm going to get into another color. Now with Brother uh, Machines, you can act, it actually has an applique position color on there. So you're just going to second there we go so we can see a little bit more of that all right i am going to go through the pages until i get to the very end and these last three right here so you can see that we go down a little bit there we go these last three right here pertain to applique so if i 
select this first one and color it to that color, it is going to be, it will become a cut fall when I take this to the scan and cut. So I am going to say, okay, because that's really the one I'm concerned with. I'm going to say, okay, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to save it to my USB and it's saved. All right, let me take this file. Now let's go over to the scan and cut and see where that file is and what it'll do. One second. And changing my camera. There we go. Perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. Thanks. All right. So here is my scan and cut right here. This, this device is really phenomenal. I really enjoy working with this. And one of the big reasons I, I enjoy it is because it has so much on it. Uh, a cutter is a cutter is a cutter. It doesn't matter which one and what brand of, it's going to cut for you. But this one, you hardly need a computer because all your designs are right here. So when I go into patterns, I can just bring up everything. And I am working on the um, on the SDX 1000, which is the Disney uh, edition. And so here's a lot of little Disney right here. And you've got great designs in here to cut, to draw just about everything. But what I'm going to do is put in my USB because I want to bring up that file that's living here. So bear with me. Let me go back one more time or let me just go home because there's no place like home. I'm going to retrieve my data or data, which is on my USB. And it is B pocket. That's where it is. Nope, not that B pocket. Let's look for another B pocket. Uh, it is, there it is. The Snowflake PS, nope. It can be. Oh, 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 what is this? Perfect. Is this it? Yes, there it is. You can barely, 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 barely see it. I'm trying to do some shadow work here so you can kind of see on that. But you can barely see that. But what I really want you to pay attention to are these two emblems right here. And because I colored that snowflake, uh, placement line, I am going to hit this shield because if you look on some of your machines, you will see the shield as an applique. So I'm going to hit there. Oh, oh, perhaps I have the wrong one. Let me see. Well, we're going to do it another way. Say you didn't color it <laughs> on your machine. I'm going to hit my flower there and I'm going to say, okay. Now it gives me a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of information. And the only one I'm really concerned with is this one right here, the one that has stitches. And if I say, okay, select it and say, okay, I'm going to ungroup it because there's lots of things going on here. And I'm going to set it. And lots of things happening. You can just, I'm going to click there again and just start selecting things and pull it away. Don't need that. If I go to edit, I can make it go away and I can just start selecting things and making it go away. Let me pull that. Oh, that looks familiar. That looks like a cut line. Perfect. I'm going to move this one out of the way. I'm going to select marquee select the rest of it because I don't need it. And nope. Sorry about that. Let me do that again. I did not want to get rid of my snowflake. Get on over there. There. Now say okay. And okay again. And make it go away. And boom. Now you are left with a snowflake that you can cut. I'll bring that over there. Shade that a little bit. There you go. You can shade that right there. And that is our cut aisle. Now you can prep your fabric any way you need to prep it and you can cut it. How easy is that? Because who wants to cut this snowflake by hand? I don't think so. I know I do not. That's why I cut it this way. 
The other way, let me see if I can find that file real quick, is on my USB. It should be in here because I did do it. What is this one like? Uh, maybe it didn't save correctly, but you can save it. I did save it. Boo. Boo. Fail. But that's okay. Because if you did not have it, let's see if this one does it. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Snowflake. That's Isn't that neat? Snowflake. Rosemary. Shield. Dun, 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 dun. Say okay. And say set. And there is my snowflake again right here. Let me bring it down so you can see it off of the glare, and there you go. So just by coloring it in your, in your um, machine, you can make your snowflake right here. So I've already, let me say, take you back to the, the machine camera because I already did the placement line on there. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I did it in blue. Let me take it out of the machine. Sorry about that. I need a camera crew. That's what I need. So here is my placement line. And I did it in blue. That way we can show up a little bit more. You can be whatever color you like. And then you're just going to place it inside that placement line. And if it were a little bit more flat, and there you go. And now you can tack it down if you wish. This does have heat and ball in the back. It still has the paper on it. Oh, part of it fell off. So I, once I place it in there, I can hit it with an iron and I am done. I'm done with it. I can go down and do the tack down line or skip the tack down line entirely to, uh, and go straight to the satin stitching. Oops, my bad. There we go, oh, sorry about that. Here I am, there it is, right there. And back to me, oh, back to me. Ta -da! There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It, it seems like it's a lot of work, but if you're into applique, I, I really don't know any other way uh, to do it, unless you're just going to do it with scissors and, and cut it that way. Uh, so that's a great thing about the scan and cut and doing that. And the new models that have come out uh, this year have a new mat, have an actual fabric mat that uh, is more sticky and it's going to adhere, uh, your fabric's going to adhere to it a little bit more. Uh, so that's really fantastic. Uh, what else? It is Christmas since then we're doing, the snowflake is kind of the theme for, for what I'm gonna do every day. There's a, there is a snowflake in just about, uh, yeah, there's a snowflake in every demo that I'm doing for the next three days of some sort. So it's gonna be kind of fun and, uh, uh, and of different things. So today with Robert, tomorrow it will be something entirely different. But it is the gift giving time. And if you were like me, I'm not ready. I don't have, I have, oh yeah, no, no. Uh, my husband's gift came in. I have to put it together. <laughs> so, but you want to be, you want to make this easier on yourself and do some things um, that you don't have to make. How about just embellishing something, say like a tote bag that you can get from anywhere. You can go to one of the big box stores, get a pre-made tote bag and stick an applique and do a really nice monogram on it. But on like the 1600, it becomes a little difficult to do. So that is why the PRS 100 that I'll show you real quick. And I'll show, oop, wrong camera, that one. 
And let's go over here to this one. It is a single needle machine. One, I know it, it's a little confusing. I've got three threads on there, but I kid you not, it is one needle. So why would I need this? It has all this open area right here that's going to allow you to do hats. It allows you to do tote bags. These are closed in. It's really fantastic. Uh, it's, it's quickly becoming one of my, uh, my favorite machines for entry level embroiders. Uh, and it's got lots of features. It has an eight by eight frame, which is the largest. It's not the biggest one out there, but if you're starting out and you're not running a business and you just want to make nice things for your family and for other people, this is a great, great machine to consider. So I really love that. That's the same features like on a smaller machine of where you can color in your design and uh, save it and send it to your scan and cut. So that's the PRS 100, and that's going to allow you to do the bigger things, such as, not a scan and cut, such as the tote bag. Oh, this is a double-sided tote bag. I actually have my name on one side. And this is actually a design on one of the, uh, the PR machi uh, machines right there. And I forget whose font this belongs to, but uh, it's from, from one, of the, one of the designers that you can buy online. But that's what I have for you today. How fun is that? I love that. So you showed actually three different machines in this one video. So the first I one did. That you showed was a six by ten embroidery only machine. Correct. That is not usually available for online sale. But guess what? All brands has plenty of stock just in time for the holidays. And it's available um, on our website. And I know that these are a hot item. They've, uh, they're in high demand, but it's only $14.99 free shipping in stock. There's freebies that come with it on our website and 12 months, 0% financing. But guess what? That persona that you were just showing yeah. with the tubular arm is also available online. So if you're interested in tubular arm embroidery, that machine is $49.99. And guess what? during the next the fourth and the fifth if you buy it from all brands uh online or in our stores you can choose 60 months zero percent financing so that is an amazing offer on that Pretty machine neat. and it has extras too so i included the link below uh in the in the comments if awesome. anybody's interested in that so Very yeah cool. and then Since the scan cuts and the scan cut, I'm sure yeah. there's, there's great deals on the scan and cut right now. Um, I, I love it. There's so much you can do. The biggest difference, I'll tell you right now, because I, like I said, a, a, a cutter is a cutter. It's going to do exactly what it's going to do. It's going to cut whatever you want. The biggest difference uh, when I have people are asking me, oh, well, why should I buy uh, a scan and cut? Or why, why did you buy a scan and cut? It's because it's the only cutter on the market that scans. You put whatever it is on there. If you want to do some fussy cutting for your fabric, you can put that fabric on there and cut just that image. It's that good. So that's really the main reason I have this cutter. So it's fantastic. I love it. I have also want to mention that, um, you know, I mentioned Kimber, I really like that. And I've used several designs. I'm doing a virtual class. Yay. On Sugar Plum Jubilee, and this is what you're going to make in that class. It's a flower class, uh, and details are online, but it's awesome. Look at that little mouse. That little mouse is actually cuddle fabric. Uh, he keeps turning around. It's actually cuddle fabric. Really cute. Here's our nutcracker. Yum, yum for a cake. Our little ballerina, our sugar foam fairy. This is actual uh, a, a ribbon. A ribbon pole which is nice and then our drum has some embroidery leather on that so hopefully you get to join me and have some really fun times with this yes so use the scan and cut and embroidery and you don't have to be local to take that class because nope. it's virtual and you nope. can join in on video and we ship you the kit ahead of time so that you have the supplies uh the fabric and the designs and what is it the way they call it? Kimber embellishments that you yeah, need to exactly. 
complete that. So you get everything in this kit. It's really fantastic. <laughs> so that's great. Well, thank you so much, Rosemary. Let's pick out a name um, yep. for a giveaway for a ten dollar all brands gift card. Perfect. Uh, if we pick your go ahead and comment to be eligible below. If we pick your name, email events at allbrands.com and with your name, email address, and phone number, and we will email you the gift card on Monday. So let's see. Oh, uh, Barb, you can't win. Oh, uh, Barb. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Barb. <laughs> Barb is in the chat uh, helping everybody with their technical questions. Uh, and oh, yes, right. I agree. That is super duper duper adorable. So <laughs> let's see. Okay. Michelle Kim, congratulations. Yay, Michelle. You have won that $10 gift card. So email events at allbrands.com, name your email address and phone number. And thank you so much, Rosemary, for joining Absolutely. us today. Join us Always again tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, yes. And so we're going to take a quick five minute break. And then next we have Brent from Durkee Embroidery Hoops. I know you know those yep. hoops, right? I do. I, I love them. <laughs> They're great. Great product, great company. So he'll be coming up in just a, sh uh, uh, a few short <laughs> five minutes. And thank you so much again, Rosemary. Absolutely. Bye. Mwah, America. Okay. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the All Brands Show. I'm Barbara Chatelaine from allbrands.com and oh, embroidery all the way and hats. Oh, my gosh. But do I have to buy like the top of the line machine and the, the big, huge calf frames to do that on? No, guess what? You can do that on a single needle machine and now there's even more options available for you. So I have a very special guest with me. Be sure to stay through to the end because we'll be issuing a gift card to a live watcher. And I will bring in Brent from Durkee Hoops, very good friend of all brands, a very great product, a very good company to do business with in North Carolina. And oh, thank you. I'm glad that you like my hat, Sandra. And here's Brent. Hey. Hi, welcome to I'm the show. How are you doing, Barbara? Oh, doing just excellent. Thank you so much. And thank you for making amazing products. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I love your hat, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> well, you, I think you kind of gave a little teaser with the lead in there, and I appreciate you doing that. You know, every single year, uh, we try to bring out a new product that uh, helps solve some problem in the embroidery industry. And this year is no different. This year has certainly been challenging for a lot of reasons, but uh, the, the product we've come out with, we're very excited about it, and we hope you will be too. Um, I hate to use the word because it sounds negative, but uh, it sounds like it's on a different plane, but hear me out just a second. A lot of people say the opposite of love isn't hate, it's being ignored. No one wants to be ignored. And you know, in the embroidery industry, sometimes it seems like if we have one particular type machine that maybe a bigger machine can do more than ours, and gosh, I wish I could do what that one can do. Well, guess what? Nobody's being ignored here. If you happen to be one of those great, great people, and I mean thousands and thousands of people that own an embroidery machine by brother that happens to have a maximum sewing field of four by four, guess what? Your horizons just got stretched. We are absolutely delighted to announce that we have created a four by four cap frame for an embroidered machine by brother with a maximum sewing field of four by four. And what's unique about this cap frame as compared to all others that we've created, instead of sliding into the machine the traditional way, this one, if you will, kind of sets sideways. And so once you create your design for your machine, you know what, rather than me waste time showing you how it works, Barbara, don't you have one there to demonstrate? I do. I just got it, and I'm so excited. And we have a phenomenal little machine for sale called the SE600. It's a 4x4 embroidery machine. And before, you know, they didn't have the option to do cap frames because you do have a 5x7 frame that fits the PE770 and PE800. And, um, and uh, all up from there. So we're so excited that now this new hoop is available. And it has some even, I think, added benefits because it has a unique shape that we haven't seen before. So that's really exciting. So I'm going to switch my camera around and I'll show you guys um, how this little contraption works and how you can do hats and not have a you know, tubular arm and border machine. So it's really exciting. So I will go ahead and let's see. Let me just switch my camera around. And here we go. Here is the brother SE. Oopsies. That was my cord. Sorry, Brent. The SE 600 embroidery machine by brother. But there are tons and tons of four by four embroidery machines available. Um, so basically I can take my other camera and set it up here and give you like a closer look at this frame. So let me just switch my camera back again. And there we are. All right. So basically you have a four by four area here and you have this clamp here. So what you want to do is you have your hat here you want to flatten out the brim of the hat so just like so and on the inside of the cap there is a uh, sometimes it's a sweat band sometimes it's other things but you just want to maneuver that with your hands out of the way just like so 
And then you take some tape, and I'll just use my, uh, my brother painter's tape to tape it out of the way. So if you can see this, excuse me. Alrighty. I'm going to tape that, that sweatband out of the way so that it doesn't get caught. My embroidery design doesn't catch the edge of that. Just like so. And actually, Cindy Hogan did a wonderful video on this too. So there's plenty of resources out there once you purchase this on how to use it. And I think it's damp here in Louisiana because my tape doesn't seem to be sticking. But you take some sticky stabilizer um, and then you put that on the back of the hoop. So I went ahead and I just already prepared that. So this is what we call floating in embroidery. So you take a sticky stabilizer, you stick it on the back of the hoop, and then it's tacky on the top just like so. So you take your brim of your cap that's flattened out and the sweatband out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and release that and kind of fold that up so that this is a flat surface. Okay. And then it has little wing nuts here, which I got to say, Brent, your products are the best manufactured hoops there's i think it's anodized aluminum i'm not sure what this material is it's gold but i it's beautiful and i love it so you just take your flat brim of your hat and let's see here i'm gonna um, turn your sound on just in case there we go okay um and then i just put my flat hoop flat hat portion in there and then I'm going to press down the hat and it's going to adhere to that sticky back stabilizer and then you just tighten the wing nuts until it's tight 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 and then you just press down the hat and take the little parts out of the way just like so so say you ha know someone or you have a, a little five by seven embroidery machine. Um, you can do hats on this and it's much easier to hoop than you think. So this is the clamp on style hoops. You'll see these two little um, screws here and the port on the machine looks like if you can see that looks like that. So you just take the hat hoop and you lift your foot to put the hoop under there and you snap it on. And then I'll transition my camera to the machine so that you can see that, how we position in the camera. All right. So here we are um, on the machine. And so I'm going to touch my screen, and it's going to move the hoop, and I'm going to pull up a new design. So I'm going to zoom in to the screen of the machine, if you can see that. How's that? So let's say I love Texas, which I do. I am going to find a T in my machine, and... There's our T, and I'm going to click set. And then what I can do, because the hat is uh, rotated side sideways, I'm going to rotate this design 90 degrees to the right. So I'm going to move my camera up just a little bit so that you can see that better. All right. So I rotated it 90 degrees. I'm going to click OK. And one thing I love about this machine is the moving and sizing uh, feature in it. So you definitely want to do a trace um, on this before um, stitching it out to make sure that you're not going to hit the side of the hoop. Um, so I'm going to click the, let's see, uh, the trace section. I'm going to go to the bottom right 
at the bottom left. And y'all remember when this was only available on the top of the line machines? Well, guess what? You can get this feature in this very um, easy to get into affordable priced four by four embroidery machine. Um, I can do a full, full one around and then I can move it to where it fits well on the hoop. So I'm going to move it down just a little bit. So it's easy to toggle between moving and my stitch out there. And then I can see my center. And you definitely want to make sure there is a line in the middle of this hat. And I actually forgot to show you all that. So I'm going to switch my camera around real quick because there's a really great function available to help you line up your hoop. So before I would embroidery, embroider this, I would make sure that there's a line here. See that line? Well, there's also a line in the center of your cap here. So you line up the center of your cap with this line. And then there's also a guideline on the back, which I kind of eyeballed it pretty good, Brent. Um, so you take that seam and line that up with that so that you know that you're going to be centered each time. So I'm not going to um, fully stitch this out, but I also wanted to tell you guys, you can do so many more things on this besides hats because it has this unique shape on it that allows you to, when it's on the machine, it kind of acts like a little arm where it gets the, uh, the excess bulk out of the way. So say you're like doing a bag or like, um, you know, some kind of like quilt or, or something like that. And there's a lot of back and forth going on here. You can use this as like kind of like a leverage arm. Think baby bibs. Think, oh my gosh, there's so many more things. Face masks um, that you can just use this. Use the sticky back stabilizer. And you know that the side of this is going to be lifted and well out of the way. So I think that that's really cool. Brent, can I bring you back in? Absolutely, great job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, Barbara, just to, to hitchhike on what you were saying, there are so many possibilities with this. Let, let me get you excited. Folks, can you imagine doing that with your machine? If you have a four by four maximum sewing field, guess what, you can. But you know, some people probably say, or they're thinking, there's gotta be a trade-off. Can't possibly be as good as those multi, multi thousand dollar machines. Can't possibly be as good. You know what? You're right. How about better? Big statement, hear me out, listen to this. If you buy one of those 15, $20,000 big commercial machines, the cap driver system that goes with those machines that varies but between a thousand and two thousand dollars. And guess what you get to do with it? It's round. So you have to have your cap design digitized for round. With this cap frame, digitized just like a left chest, flat. So flat, easy design. Number two, with that big commercial deal, two and a quarter, two and a half inches, that's the largest thing you can do. With this cap frame, guess what? Three and a half by three and a half. Imagine doing something that big and that beautiful. Oh, oh, that's the trade-off. That's all you can do. No. Guess what you cannot do with that commercial machine that you can do with this machine that you've got now with this cap frame? How about the back of the cap? I hope you can see that. I hope you can see that. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the front of this. That's 26,000 stitches. Folks, this cap driver, I'm not trying to say it's the, the, the mean all end all, but it's a great device for your machine that allows you to do just what Barbara said as well, not just caps, baby bibs, masks, pet bandanas, uh, tea towels, excuse me, there's all types of things that you can make with this. So let me take just a minute and talk about, because today we're going to talk about single needle equipment. Tomorrow we're going to talk about multi-needle. If you happen to have a multi-needle machine, please come back and join us. And then Saturday we're going to talk about packages for all, for single needle and multi-needle. So be sure and come back and join us. But for right now, I want to talk about the difference in caps, because if caps are new to you, you need to understand just a little bit of the language. 
Uh, the technical language in CAPTCHA, we talk about them being structured and non-structured. Big words, all that means is soft and hard or firm, if you will, okay? This is a beautiful example of a totally non-structured cap. There's absolutely no shape or form of that cap at all. There's nothing inside, just the fabric itself, okay? That's what we call a non-structured hat. Can you do that on, on, on your machine with this 4 before cap? Absolutely. What about when they get a little stiffer or firmer? Those are called moderately structured hats. And what creates that structure is a product inside. It's a fabric called buckram. And the more buckram that you have, the stiffer the hat, all the way up to perhaps you've heard that the language truckers have. Those things are so hard, you can almost walk on them. Well, with this 4 before cap frame, you can do anything from a soft cap up to a fairly well-structured cap. You wouldn't want to go all the way to a trucker's cap, but you can get pretty close with it. And again, you can do the front and back. And by the way, Barbara, I don't think I've ever shown you this. This is my favorite hat. Have you ever seen a hat with pockets? These are functional pockets. Can you believe that? I love it. So that's called I mean, have, have I fun with caps, okay? <laughs> so that's some of the language. Now, Barbara mentioned something else. I want to just divide the, the cap frames into three categories as far as how they attach the machines. We've just shown you the 4 before the brand new, it's just getting launched today, the brand new 4 before cap frame. The second type category, if you will, is a different type of attachment. It's, she mentioned for the PD770 and the 800. Now with those machines, they will stitch a maximum of five by seven. And a hoop that comes with your machine, if you have one of those machines, obviously is a five by seven hoop. The way you use our cap frame that is specifically designed to go with your machine is you take the inner hoop out, that leaves the outer ring, and our cap frame fits directly into the outer ring of the 5 by 7 and then it just clamps onto your machine, okay? So that's how this one works. Then the third category of attachment is the slide-in. Once again, the, like the NQ1600 all the way up to the, to the Luminaire. All of those machines have a slide-in type of an adapter. Now, with this particular one, once again, you use the 5 by 7 take the inner hoop out and place our insert fits perfectly into the outer ring, okay? So with that slide it in the way you go. And believe it or not, can you believe it? That design is in your machine. We didn't even create this. So you can do beautiful, beautiful caps on any brother machine that you've got. We have a cap frame for you, okay? So that's enough, I guess, about cap frames. So let me just take one minute or two to talk about another product we have for the, uh, the machines with the slide in adapters. We call them easy frames. And they look like this. Most people at a trade show, when they walk up and see us stitching with this, they don't see anything because they're just fabric laying on top, and they see the hoop moving around. They say, what, how, how's that thing staying on there? Well, it stays on there the same way as you just saw with a cap frame. Apply a sticky backing to the bottom, press your fabric down on top, it's called floating, and the material just floats. So when you finish, you just peel it off that tearaway backing, and you finished your job. No more worries about carpal tunnel syndrome, arthritic hands, et cetera, et cetera. No pain, okay? Just slide it in and go. One added point, with our single needle easy frames, it's the only product we have that when you introduce it into the adapter of your machine, your machine actually recognizes this hoop. It knows, for example, this is a five by seven hoop and it has a five by seven stitching area available. Always, with any hoop, trace your design, but your machine does recognize the hoop and it will fit perfectly, okay? So with that said, one last thought about all the frames and hoops. One of the things that we have to address on a regular basis with the easy frames is this. Someone bought a dream machine three or four years ago. Fabulous, top of the line machine, absolutely the best you could buy three years ago from Brother. Love it, it was a great machine then, it's a great machine now. Maximum sewing field, nine and a half to 14. The next year and last year along comes a brand new Luminaire, the Luminaire 2, fabulous, fabulous machines. But they have a sewing field of 10 and 5 eighths by 16. So I'm sitting there with my dream machine saying, I want to stitch bigger. So I'll just call a Durkee and I'll buy one of those 10 and 5 eighths by 16 easy frames and put it on my machine. If you do that, when you get that frame, there will be a red sticker inside, red and white says stop. If the maximum sewing field of your machine is anything less than 10 and 5 eighths, send this back. It will not work on your machine. Machines will read down. They won't read up. So if the largest uh, hoop that will fit on your machine that your machine will recognize, for example, is a 7x12, please don't buy any frame from anybody bigger than 7x12. Only exception to that is if you've purchased a software upgrade for your machine that perhaps allows it to go to an 8x12, okay? I hope that's clear. And Barbara, I just think we ought to give something away. Can we give away one of those 4x4 cap frames? 
I am not going to stop you, Brent. And I want to thank you for being so generous in the giveaway. I think that that is phenomenal. So everybody, be sure watching this video. If you're on Facebook, like, comment, and share. If you're on uh, YouTube, give us the thumbs up, give us a comment, and then subscribe to our channel. So I'll, I'll give you a few minutes for for some you know people to chime in so that they could be eligible to win that four by four frame that you have that's so awesome oh my goodness I, before it was just not an option for people with a four by four machine to do hats so thank you for making that available brent and Absolutely. your amazing company and i'm so excited about our live that's coming up tomorrow did you want me to show you what we're going to show tomorrow if you want to, go right ahead. Go just yeah. bake, bake water. <laughs> so speaking of other solutions and not being left out, um, Durkee has an amazing product called a split frame. And these are for um, the tubular arm machines. So for the Persona, PRS100, and Baby Lock equivalent, and also the, um, the six needle and 10 needle. And basically what this does, it comes with, um, there's a package available that has PE Design 11 software and it takes your hoop from, oh my gosh, do you remember the dimensions, Brent? Absolutely, it will take a persona from eight by eight to eight by 14, and it will take a six needle machine from eight by 12 to 12 by 14. So you can substantially enlarge your sewing field with these multi-position uh, sturdy frames in concert, in concert with your PE design software. So yeah. those two things going together, you just got yourself a bigger stitching field. Yes, you can. Um, and look, see, see how these are two separate designs and we line them up and it looks like one big design. So we'll be demonstrating that tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so we got a bunch of new comments coming in. And uh, let's see, let me pick someone random. Nancy Aiken, congratulations. You hey, are Nancy. the winner <laughs> of the four by four easy frames. Uh, uh, not easy frame, four by four cat frame by right. Dirty. Yeah. Oh, and thank, is Danielle back there? Yes, she is. Hi. Hey, Danielle. Thank you for doing the camera work and and we just love your company. You make a great product and have amazing solutions for okay, well just just because you. just because you said that. I now want you to give away another four by four cap frame. What? No. Do it. Do it. Get to away. How about this, Brent? For those of you who shared and subscribed, I'll announce the winner at the end of the day. Great. Yeah. Yeah. On Facebook. So, uh, so yeah, be sure everybody to share this video and don't forget to tune in with us tomorrow because um, Durkee has some even more exciting uh, multi-needle solutions. So thank you, Danielle. And thank you, Brent, for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. And we'll see you tomorrow. Our pleasure. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. So we'll take a quick five minute break. And then next is Carrie Cunningham with the Scan and Cut. Bye guys. Bye.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Welcome back, Barbara from allbrands.com, and you are watching the Brother presented by allbrands.com booth, uh, streaming from the virtual Houston International Quilt Festival. We're so sorry that we couldn't be there for you live, but this is just really cool. I love getting to connect with everyone, and we have a very special guest today. Let me actually change this to the correct... Uh, there we go. Carrie Cunningham from Endless Designs by Carrie. So I am going to bring her in really quick. Hold on just a moment. And here we go. Hi, Carrie. Let's see. How Hello? are you? Good. How are you? I am good. <laughs> oh, what's that? Okay. How's that? That's better. Okay, great. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. And I know you've just been cutting up on your brother, Scan and Cut SDX 230 machine yes. and the Disney version. Yes, the 230D. <laughs> so, um, 
can you tell us a little bit about what you want to show show us today on that? So today we're going to use the heat press and we're going to do some offsetting. So this is what we're making. But we're actually going to put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> Not a scrap of fabric. But I just want you to see what it looks like. We get two oh. different colors there. And we actually are going to put grandma on the shirt. Because I'm a grandma. I can wear it. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're doing today. That is really cool. So is that like layered vinyl? It is layered. So it's HTV on top of HTV. That's so cool. I love cool. that. You know, um, I never knew about that until Rosemary from San Antonio made me a Yeti cup with my name on it. And she did that. And that is such a cool trick. Well, that, cup, that cup is what gave me the idea to even try it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> See? Yes, <you> <laughs> like, I need to do that. <laughs> I love this hobby, and I love that we're working together to inspire other people to be creative and to see what you can do with these amazing products, my brother. It, it is amazing how we inspire each other and other people. Yeah. It's infectious yeah. <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> Oh gosh. Well, yeah, that's so cool. So how did you do that? So you, um, in your settings on the machine, you actually have the option of offset. And then you just decide how much you want to offset. This one is 0.18 which is kind of my favorite one to do, but you can really see that background. So you would lay down the background first and you and do that on the heat press, and then you put the letters on top. It's really cool. I use a scanner. I use two different pieces of vinyl, obviously two different colors, and set it up for offset, get a half cut, and I was a happy camper. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, so allbrands.com has a heat press that we really recommend to everyone. It's the Sizer Red press on our site. So I'll put a link um, to the shop um, in the comments if anyone's interested in a recommended heat press. Um, that that's that's a really nice one to use. So. I want yeah. that red one. I like having splashes of red in every room. So that would be a perfect <laughs> splash of red. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, look, Reen's here. She says, look, you look great, Carrie. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> She's been saying that a lot lately. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. So how did, so do you want to show us how you did that on your scan and cut? I am. So I'm going to switch up on you a little bit. I'm going to go around to the other side of the table here. So my hand is not in front of the. Okay. Bottom. I'll come up the screen while you transition your camera. Yeah. And don't forget, everybody, at the end of each live, we're doing giveaways in the Brother booth and the allbrands.com um, mall booth, uh, which are both on our YouTube and Facebook channels and in the portal or virtual Houston International Quilt Festival. So we're really, really excited about that. Oh I gosh. I need to do is turn the machine on. <laughs> oh yeah. So Terry asked a question. She said, what brand of HTV are you using? I like this the sides are easy way. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice one. I yeah, have some but I prefer that. Yeah, Brother makes a really, really good vinyl. Um, I, I do like theirs as well. I saw someone use it, and it seemed like it was also, it weaved it very easily. So that was like, I think just yesterday I saw it. I did, with Angela Wolf and um, Cindy. Cool. Yeah. All right, so I guess we're ready if you are. All right. So when you turn your machine on, you always get this little notification to move your hands away. So move your hands away. 
So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and lay my, I cut two pieces of vinyl. There we go. Two different colors because we're gonna layer. And I cut them a little bit bigger than my design. I think if I wasn't demoing, I would have cut closer. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lay them with just a little bit of space between them. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because when you're doing um, heat transfer vinyl, your vinyl needs to go shiny side down. So the back is kind of white looking, but I'll hold it up anyway. I think you can see the two pieces. Then I'm gonna go ahead and load that in the machine, load the mat. I'm standing at an awkward angle, but hopefully I'll load it properly. And I don't know if you saw me, but I used this to uh, the scraper to kind of push that vinyl down against the mat. My mat is nice and clean and sticky, but I don't want to take chances. So I'm going to go into, let me show you where I am. I'm going into pattern. So this is right off the machine. And then I'm going here, trying to find my silence, where it says smile, create, click there, click Bon Voyage, and I know that design is in there. And here you have a choice of scrolling up and down with your stylus or using the arrows to go up and down. I'm just going to pull it up with my stylus. There's Grandma. Oh, new Grandma. And then I'm going to change the size of it. I want it to be 10 inches wide. It doesn't give me the option of not moving all the sizes or both sizes. So I'll just go with what I want the width to be. And you can either click one at a time or you can just hold the plus sign down. Got a little echo, I think, Bar. Um, to me, actually, you sound pretty good. Okay, that's good. Maybe it's just in here. <laughs> in my space. So let's see. So there is 10.1. I think that's all I'm going to get. 10.1, which gave me a height of 2.42. And that's fine. So we'll hit set. Happy with that. And now I'm going to do the editing here. So the first thing I want to do is click on edit object. And I've already done the size, so I don't need to do that. But I do need to mirror because again, your vinyl is upside down, face down. So you need your letters to go accordingly. So that mirror reversed the direction of the word. And then this little half circle or it looks like a roll is the offset. And I know I want that at 0.18. So I'm just gonna go up to that. You see everything okay? Actually, um, the screen could be a little closer to the camera, but we're following though. So it's up to you. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. So after I get the offset distance that I want. So the offset distance means how far away do you want this background to be from your lettering? So I like the point eighteen. So I'll just hit OK. Processing. It's there. So what I want to do is move this down just a little bit. Uh, it's not going to make much difference in the end, though. I just like to see where everything is. Actually, I'm going to move it down more because I need to see the offset. So I don't know if you can see it from there, but uh, this is not very dark. But the offset, the background letters is at the top and the letters itself, the word grandma is at the bottom. But I don't know where it's gonna land on the mat. So I need to scan the mat. I'm gonna say, okay, edit object, go to the tools. I made this dark so I can see the background when it scans. Okay. For the scan. It disappeared on me. It's here. <laughs> here it is. So once I clicked OK, you have the option of saving, but when you're offsetting and you save, 
it will weld those together and they won't come apart again. So I tend to not stay those. So I'll do hit the scan, which is this little button in the middle. Looks like a rectangle with a line through it. Hit that. And then it's giving me some information and I'm saying yes. Says so if you're okay with the way we're doing this, okay. So start. Now it's scanning my two pieces of vinyl. Okay. And because I made that background darker, you can see. So I'm going to pull grandma letters down onto the green fabric. And then I'm going to kind of place the offset so that it doesn't get cut off. Just a little bit. I don't know how much you can see. But once I get it in place, just say, okay. There's a lot of okays. And it's okay. <laughs> Now we hit uh, select and hit cut because we're not drawing or embossing or any of that stuff. And then you want to check. This is where you kind of want to stop and make sure you're not on full cut. You're on a half cut because you want it to cut through the carrier sheet, which is the back side, and leave your letters. If you put it, if you put it on full cut, it's going to cut right through, and then you're going to have a little bit of a mess. And then I've learned the hard way to always do a test. <laughs> so I'll hit test. And the nice thing about tests is you have the options of shapes. You can do circle, triangle, and I think a little box. But uh, I already have it kind of set, so I'm going to leave it where it is. I believe I have a triangle set. If not, it'll be a circle. So it just, all it did was check the depth of the vinyl and then it did the little test cut. So don't freak out when it goes all the way across and back because it's doing its job. So I'm gonna remove this from the mat, just a second. And I'm gonna check that cut. I took my glasses off like we all do, right? Here. Triangle. Here you can see the perfect cut. Exactly what I want. I'm going to put this back on the machine. You just simply do load again. And then you have the option of testing again if something was wrong with your cut. But go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and hit start because I got a great test cut. It's going to cut for about two minutes. So, Carrie, I always get confused whenever I'm cutting vinyl. Like, when do you turn it? Like, do you have a trick for that to remember? When it goes face up or face down? Yeah. HTV is face down. Okay. The... Um, Adhesive vinyls are face up and they're full cuts. Because if you think about it, you're going to put that on your cup. So here's my cup. So if you did this on, if you did this on an adhesive vinyl like you should on a cup and you reverse the direction and the, re the direction is going to be, your seat would be over here, your name would be totally back. But on the shirts or garments or whatever you're using HTV on, you want it to be reversed because the carrier sheet is sticky. And you want the sticky side to go down when you're when you're placing it to heat. So use it on the what's that machine called? Heat press. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for me it's just remembering HTV goes face down, adhesive goes face up. And then there's a lot of other vinyls like foil, that kind of thing. I just read the directions on those because I don't do them often enough to, to remember. And that's a good that's a good clue for everyone too is read your manufacturer's directions for the vinyl that you buy. Like right now, because I'm still kind of new and buying vinyl, um, I'll keep the label with it 
in case I have to go back. So it's done cutting. So it's asking if I want to cut again. I don't want to cut. Take it off. <laughs> and what I like to do is leave it on the mat, depending on the size. I'll leave it on the mat and do my weeding. So weeding is just taking away what you don't want. And I like to start in a corner because usually if I don't, I make a mistake. Because it gets kind of hard to see. I'll show you a little bit here in just a second. See how nicely that's coming off? Here's my background. Here's my vinyl coming off. I'll continue that. So if you guys need tools for these things and you have a scan and cut, Brother has an amazing tool kit that if you use the coupon code on our website, grow15off, you can get 15% off of this. And basically, um, you open it up, you have a spatula, a pick, um, some tweezers that are the good kind that stay closed when you need them to stay closed. Very nice. <laughs> Um, a scraper tool and a stylus, and it's all together, all in one, so you don't lose your tools, which I'm constantly doing. And the dork in me likes the bag, likes the, the carrier itself. <laughs> I like that. So I like that it's in there and everything's in place and nothing moves around. I like that a lot. Okay, so I finished the first line. It's all weeded. You can't see the colors yet because I'm still looking at the back. And now I'm going to go to my second word, the actual word, and read that. Kimberly commented that the operation of the machine is quiet. And yes, so these new Brother SDX models have a... Um, have a different kind of motor than the last kind, and they're super, super silent. They are. It's very quiet. So I can do this in the middle of the night and not disturb people. <laughs> it's kind of like the luminaires, right? How quiet they are. Yeah, I used to have trouble watching my shows whenever I was crafting, but now I don't. Right. <laughs> All right, so I've got the bulk of that off, but I've got a little bit of weeding to do in here. Like this little piece sticking up is going away, so it's not a big deal. And then I'm going to pull that away. The only thing Barbara has found a solution for is where to dispose of all the negative space that I pull away. It ends up on the side of the table, then it ends up on the floor. I hear you on that one. I know, right? <laughs> so would you say that the, because, I mean, like you're not necessarily a brother ambassador. You're just someone who loves the product, um, yeah. who is really, uh, you've been a wonderful seamstress. So this is actually um, new for you as of this year. Has it been difficult for you to learn? I I refuse to leave it in the box because <laughs> so, I hear people say that a lot and I don't do that. So I took it out of the box and I made the very first project, which is probably close by. No, it's in another room, but it was a little gift box or a gift bag type thing, paper product. And I'm still not big on paper crafting, but I do like the things that I've made. I've made a couple flowers and some other things. Uh, I'm still planning. I was planning on doing some adhesive vinyl on my walls in my living room and another room. And then I switched the rooms around to make this space bigger. So I haven't done that yet. And I keep looking at it and thinking, my style is very eclectic and I have to be very careful of not adding 20,000 colors in the room. <laughs> so this room is kind of gold and white. And I'm trying to keep it that with just a little splash of color. Okay, so these are both done. Let me show you what they look like. And I'll talk to you about the carrier sheet. So see, Barbara, it's, it's facing forward now. 
the carrier sheet, the back of the carrier sheet is sticky. If I cut that in the reverse, then it would have been totally reverse because of the sticky back. So that's that. And I'm going to put, I usually put everything face down so it doesn't get stuck to things. And there's our background. It looks like it should be weeded more, but it's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this all goes together over by the heat press. Let me grab the t-shirt. So I'm going to walk back and forth just a little bit, but I want to talk about this um, t-shirt. It's just a regular t-shirt. I'm going to do my pieces over here now. So Barbara, I'm at the other camera. Thank you. And so what you do is, let's see me. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe if I face the camera. Does that help? <laughs> okay, yeah, you can see the t-shirt now. So what I do is I fold it in half carefully, very carefully. I match up the shoulders. I match up the, from collar to the shoulder seam. Fold that and then make sure it's all straight down the middle. And I lay this on the heat press. My heat press is already on. I'm doing 310 degrees. And I don't need to press the whole thing. Well, I'm sorry, let me, let me back up. So first I need to press the shirt because the, all the experts talk about the moisture in the garment. I'll put it on the heat press. You don't have to press the whole shirt just where your vinyl is going. And make sure, I'll move in just a second. Make sure that your collar, shoulder seams, and all of that is out of the way. Because then you'll get bulk and you could not stick. So there it is on the heat press here. And there we go, I think. One second, ladies. Are we back? There we are. Okay, so it's on the heat press. The collars are all that is out of the way. I just heat it up for a couple seconds. I don't even let the whole pressure down. Just enough to get what they call the moisture out of it. I'm not sure what happens if you leave it, but I don't. I listen to the experts. And now I can take it and fold it in half using the shoulder seams as my guide, collar as my guide, line all of that up. And then press a crease right in the middle. Again, you want the collar out of the way. You don't want that on there. So this is a quick press too, just a couple seconds. I have it set at 13 seconds for normal heat pressing for this project. And then if you need to know true center or you need a guide, you can press this across the body of the shirt from the armpit, right at the armpit is where you want to fold it. And put that down and you'll get a cross, nice crosshair. And we, all of us who embroider, we know what that crosshair is. You know what that means. So I'll do that for just a couple seconds. And then I can lay my project down and using those crosshairs as a as a guide. And then what I do is I take I'm gonna do the bottom first and I take my vinyl and I fold it in half. Not sticky together because it'll be stuck. And then I use my fingers. I think we talked about that last week for my guide. Three fingers down. And I'll press this. Letting it all the way down. It's a hot peel. Again, follow manufacturer's instructions, so I take it off right away. And then I'll take my other piece 
and I'll lay it in there. If you got a complicated design, you can build in in the software some registration marks, but for this one, I don't really need it. I like that this one beeps when it's done. And then again, hot peel. And I would normally press this again, but we're not gonna do that right now. And there we are. That is so cute, Carrie. And easy. Oh my God. And so easy, right? <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> and Keller asked, do you need a special heat press to do that? No. Not necessarily, but no. it's probably <laughs> recommended. Uh, yeah. The Sizer Red is what we sell, and we love that one. Yeah, it's and just web. follow the uh, instructions on the timing and the heat. That is so cool. Yeah, I've seen that Sizer oh. Heat Press in action. It's on, it's on my upgrade list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Carrie. I'm going to uh, bring yeah, us in again um, so that we can do a quick giveaway um, on the screen. So. Here, everybody give us a comment and I will pick a random winner for a $10 allbrands.com gift card. Maybe you can use that towards your Sizer uh, Red heat press. That's S-I-S-E-R is the way that that is um, spelled. So let's see. Mm, let me close my eyes. And Christy get Gray. Congratulations, Christy. Email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And on Monday, you will get an email for a $10 allbrands.com gift card. So thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Carrie, so much for joining the show. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Yes, at 4 o'clock. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to it so much. So thank you so much. You're amazing and inspiring. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. This is fun. Oh, my gosh. You know, I feel like we, we're on vacation because we get to go to all different parts of the uh, <laughs> We haven't gone outside of the U.S. yet, but um, all, all over the United States, we've got to go on vacation today to different folks sewing rooms. So thank you so much for joining. Okay. Tomorrow we'll see the other side of my sewing room. <laughs> So Reen, so Reen will be on in just five minutes. Reen Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden. So we'll take a quick break and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup. Thank you.
or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Oh my gosh, I can't stop dancing with this music. It's so much fun. Thank you everybody for joining us again. Barbara from All Brands and we have a very special guest, Green Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden, who's going to be doing and demonstrating cork mirrors in the hoop. Brother just came out with a new line of cork and guess what? It's 15% off on our website with the coupon code BRO15OFF. So definitely take advantage of this new cork by Brother and Rainbow Coxon from Embroidery Garden, it just has amazing designs. And um, I'd love for to bring her in and show. And I saw you dancing back there, so it's so fun. <laughs> hey, Reed. <laughs> Let's see, you're muted. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I want to hear you dancing. I loved it. I love seeing people in the, back of the, in the background dancing. You have to Welcome that music. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Welcome you. Back. All right, so I'll let you get to it. Uh, cork mirrors in the hoop. Yep, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Here is one of the mirrors. You can see, let me get it close enough so you can see. I've used the scan and cut, it's cut the cork, it's cut the little hearts out. This one happens to have a scalloped edge on it. We're gonna do a rounded edge uh, today. And let's head on over to the scan and cut and get our pieces cut that we need for this project. So I think Barbara has my um, the camera and the scan and cut she could bring up. I can't Sorry. hear you. Sorry, um, you you need to log in with that camera um, on your scan. Oh, and cut, I'm right? sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. no worries. Uh, but while you're doing that, I got to say hey to some folks because. 
we've had some pretty dedicated watchers all day going traveling the United States virtually with us to different amazing sewing studios. So hello, Ann Keller. Yes, uh, Cork, Barb Mike Lychek. Thank you so much for being in the chat. Barb Mike Lychek's a brother national educator. Kim, hey, yes, that's awesome. Ah, Sally from the UK. Sandra Bro, yay Cork, yay Reen. Ah, uh, snowball. Uh, Sandra did the snowball. So back to you, Reen. I'm going to bring in your scan and cut, and here you go. Okay, so here's my scan and cut. I have the DX225. It's got the automatic blade, and you're going to be seeing that in just a second. So I've got my mat down here. Let me hold it up so you can see it. Here's the arrow at the top, meaning that's the side that goes into the machine. I've got my piece of cork, and I'm going to adhere it down to my mat. Just going to stick it on there. I got the cork right side up. Let me move the scan and cut back a little bit, and I can get my uh, mat up here a little bit more. I am going to use the brayer and kind of make sure that it gets stuck really well because I don't want the cork to shift. And I am going to even take just a little piece of tape and tape it on the side there and tape it up at the top. Okay, so my cork is ready. I just put it onto the mat, get the scan and cut opened up. I will load the mat. And then I'm going to move the scan and cut a little bit closer so you can see. Um, the screen here a little bit better. I just pull it down. And I think that's that's kind of better. Okay, so I've got the designs I'm going to be using, and we need three pieces to make the mirror. We need, let me grab them here. We need the back of the mirror, which is just a circle of cork. We need to cut the front of the mirror, which is another circle with the opening cut out, and then our little heart shapes um, going around the outer uh, inner edge there. Also a piece of fabric, and that goes behind the cork so that you see the fabric sticking out through the little heart shapes. Now I did cut my circle for the fabric using the scan and cut, and here's the fabric and the holes that, where I cut it out of. But there are other presenters that are showing you how to cut fabric, so I'm gonna stick with cutting the cork. So I have the designs I need on my USB stick. So I'm gonna hit retrieve data. Go to my USB stick. I put all the designs that I was gonna be using um, for these demos in this folder on that stick. And let me go up here. And the first um, file that I need to bring in, well, let's bring in, that's the back. So I'm going to hit say OK. What I love about the Scan and Cut is compared to some other cutters, Scan and Cut brings your SVGs in the size they are meant to be. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And we're going to add another design because we have to bring in the front part of the mirror. So I'm going to go back to Retrieve Data. It's on my USB stick. It's in my folder that I put it in. And this time we have to get the, uh, let me see, I believe it's this one. Whoops, wrong one. It's this one. You see all little hearts uh, in there. So I say, okay, puts it up there at the top. I'm just gonna take this one, this circle here, select it, it's got a red box around it. That means I can work with it. And I'm gonna move it up. Whoops, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. I don't think it wants to move on me. Let me select it. And if I can't move it with my finger, I can move it with my move button. I'm just putting it up a little bit closer and that way I don't waste um, any of my cork. So I got it where I want it to be, hit okay. I'm not gonna change anything else. So I'll be ready to cut. I'm not doing any other editing. So I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit please select. I do want to cut. I think we should do a test cut. Let's go ahead and hit test. 
And you have your option of choosing what little shape you want to cut. I like to pick the circle. So the circle is selected there, hit OK. The reason I like the circle is because if you cut a test cut using a circle, you get every angle there is going all the way around. So we're going to use that circle as our test cut. We're going to go ahead and hit Start. And the machine, you can see it's moving to various places on the mat. The blade's going down. It's determining how deep the, um, how thick the material is that I put onto the mat. It knows to do the test cut first. So let's just lift it up here and see how it cut. And I'm not sure if you can see it down there, but here's the little circle that came out. So look how cute, look how perfect it cut. So I guess I'm ready to cut my um, pieces out now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And it's gonna take about two minutes to cut these two pieces that we need. Again, we're cutting the back, which is a plain circle. And we're gonna cut the front piece that we need, which is a circle. This is the opening, the mirror is gonna be coming through. And then the little heart shapes are going to um, let the fabric that we're gonna put behind it show through. Pretty cool, huh? You're gonna notice that the skin and cut is very quiet. Doesn't make a lot of noise. I think I got my scan and cut. It was at the Houston Quilt Festival and all brands booth. And it must have been, I'm gonna say maybe three years ago now. Probably one of the best things I ever bought. I just love it. Thank you for shopping with the screen. <laughs> Always. So it's got less than a minute now to cut. I can't wait to try some of the brother cork. So it's making all that right now it's doing finishing up the little hearts. And it's doing the big circle around. And now it's done. So let me move it back a little bit so you can get a good look at the mat. I'm gonna unload the mat. I'm gonna take off the tape that I put on. And this was just to make sure that it stayed in place. And this is always the fun part to me. I love to lift it off the mat. There's the one circle, there's our other circle. Grab my little tools I like to use. I'm just using the spatula and we're gonna pull up the, um, the back piece. And this is the front piece. And as it pulls up, look how little um, cutout hearts are sticking down to the mat. And any ones that are just kind of left in there, I'm just gonna take my little tool and I'm just gonna push them out. All right, so we have our three pieces that we need. And again, I did say that I cut my fabric um, that I was gonna use on the scan and cut, and there will be other presenters that will show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go over to the machine now. And I just love, look how nice they cut. I mean, isn't that so nice? Look at the little hearts, all that detail. Okay, so to start with the design, I have already gone ahead and I've hooped a piece, two pieces actually of water soluble stabilizer. You do have to use the water soluble on this. And I got, I've gone ahead and I've stitched the first step. It's just three placement lines. The inner placement line will be our mirror placement. The center placement line is our fabric placement. And the outer placement line is gonna be for our two pieces of cork. So let me grab my fabric. I'm gonna place it right side up and you see that it fits into that middle placement line. And I can switch my camera to let you see the uh, machine up close. Whoops. So while you do that, Terry asks if you can use vinyl in between instead of fabric. 
you might be able to use vinyl in between, um, but that might make it a little bit thick. But I'm going to show you some vinyl pieces that I've cut out on the scan and cut to use in place of the cork. So after I've placed the fabric, let me go ahead and put it on the machine and stitch the second step, which is going to stitch around that piece of fabric. So you asked about vinyl. So this mirror, this is vinyl. This is a glitter vinyl that I used. And it has the little heart cut out in it. And I also cut some vinyl that's kind of like this. It's a textured vinyl. But look how nice it cut. I have cut lots of things on my skin and cut like um, faux leather. Um, oh, I don't know, just all kinds of things. You know, I, I try anything. I've cut Peltex, which is kind of thick. So now I'm going to take the front part that I cut out, place it over this outer circle, line it all up. And you might want to tape it down. Let me go ahead and just put a couple little pieces of tape there. Better safe than sorry. And then the next step is going to stitch. Um, it's actually going to stitch this inner part of the cork down. Go ahead and put that on. And I do have a, um, um, a matching bobbin in because we will need a matching bobbin. This is the little mirror I'm going to use. It's just a little craft mirror three inches around, and it's actually going to go in the hoop when we're stitching this. Sometimes people get a little scared about that, but the way that I designed the mirrors to stitch, there's no way that the needle is going to hit uh, the mirror. So are there any other questions, Barbara? Um, let's see. Um, just a lot of love, Reen. Uh, Erin Martin said that you're so creative. She loves your designs. <laughs> um, Ann Keller, you better take your scan and cut out of the box. You can totally do it. It's so yes. easy. So now I'm just going to trim the fabric. I'm not cutting through the stabilizer, just the fabric close to the stitching that went around. So I'm going to have to lay my hoop kind of down so that I can get this started. I've cut, you know, besides Peltex and cork and vinyl and faux leather, um, it cuts faux leather perfectly. I've never had any problems um, cutting that. It's amazing what it can cut. It can go up to, what is it, Barbara, three millimeters? Yes, the scan and cut can cut up to three millimeters of thickness, which is quite impressive. It is. I've, um, I think it can cut, uh, what do you call that stuff? The craft foam. I and balsam wood. And oh, there's so many different types of materials that you can cut um, and so many different techniques. So that's really exciting. Um, I think I love, I love the glitter vinyl in the, um, in the mirror. That looks really, really cute. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's a lot of fun. So I got this trimmed, It's kind of awkward trimming it this way, but so now that it's trimmed, a satin stitch is gonna come around here to finish off the opening right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And while that's stitching, I'm gonna switch the camera back to me. And Barbara, I got the code for um, Embroidery Garden. Oh, great, okay. So the code is Quilt Fest. 20. Cool. And that's for use on your website for your um, for your embroidery designs, embroiderygarden.com. Right. right. Yeah. So I got to tell everybody, we have an amazing deal on the scan and cut machine. So I'm while that's stitching out, I'm going to share my screen and um, show you guys what we have going on with the scan and cut for Houston international quilt festival and uh just in time for uh christmas presents so uh the scan and cut sdx 230 dx which is the disney model um it has 1400 
1,455 built-in designs that includes 152 Disney designs. It is the, um, I love, and I love doing yeah. Disney. I just can't tell you how much I love that Brother has a collaboration with Disney. Um, and it includes in the box, just in the manufacturer sealed box is over a thousand dollars in added value. Um, so Cindy Hogan's going to be going in detail about that tomorrow. Um, what it includes the vinyl auto blade kit and fabric mat. Um, so what's the show special? You get a $75 all brands gift certificate towards future purchases and you get a free rolling tote plus all brands is throwing in a six foot vinyl roll feeder and project book so all of that for only 8.99 and you can bundle financing in with that so six months zero percent financing so um the next step down is actually the sdx 230d i mean the SDX 225F. And with that one, you get a $50 all brands gift certificate plus the free duffel bag rebate from Brother. It's free shipping. If you purchase it locally, you get free in store instruction. And um, it comes with an amazing warranty and all of that for only $599. And you can bundle financing in with that. So I, I don't want y'all to miss out on that if you haven't purchased your scan and cut yet now's the time because it's usually not available for online sales um but now since we're in the predicament that we're in it is so you're in luck and you can get free shipping and actually if you're outside of louisiana or texas and you purchase this from allbrands.com website it does not charge you sales tax on checkout so that's an awesome deal right yeah <laughs> makes me want to get another one <laughs> yay <laughs> yeah you need to get the disney one yeah yeah and then they have the new vinyl auto blade kit and oh, there's just and the new uh fabric mat so no no more high-tech fabric support sheets it's just so exciting <laughs> yeah so how are okay. you on your design is it getting close Good. I'm going to go around one more time a little bit to do just a little bean stitch and then it'll be done. I got to say, Reen, I love your background. It's making me feel oh. the spirit. And Thank you. you're always so inspiring. I love having you on the show. We all love you so much. Oh, you're thanks. Great. I'm happy to be here, Barbara. <laughs> and I'm going to be here tomorrow and Saturday. Yeah. So um, Barb Mike Lychek says, don't forget, there is a playbook that Cindy Hogan wrote um, for the scan and cut now, and that's available in our retail stores, and you can get 15% off of that. This is the show special for that. I did get that. Ooh, <laughs> you want to show it to us? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, here it is. It has, it comes with a free, um, what is that, Barbara? It's an alphabet, isn't it? I haven't downloaded it yet, activated it yet. But um, my design's ready to go. I'll show you the book as the next step is stitching. So the next step now is to trim the water soluble out of the center here. And you don't have to get really close with this at this point, because when the whole mirror is done, you could take a Q-tip, dip it in some hot water, and... Um, you know, dissolve what's remaining. So I'm going to get this set up. And then when I get it back on the machine, we'll look through Cindy's book a little bit. I'm so excited when I got it. I'm waiting now for um, right before the holidays to get into it and really start looking at the projects and stuff. So you can see I trimmed it. Um, there is some water soluble there. I'll dissolve that later after the design is done. The next step is to go to the back side and we're going to place the mirror. We're going to place the mirror, the reflective side down and it's going inside this placement line. Let me just place it there. Now I do have to tape the mirror down because we don't want the mirror to move any. So I have some tape here. It's just the plastic kind of medical tape I use. And I want to make sure that I get the mirror secured. So it's not going to be slipping. 
and there it is. I've got it taped onto the back side. I'm going to take the back piece, the plain circle that we cut, and it's going to go right side up on the back side of the hoop. And you can see it goes into that placement line there. Just give you a little close up. It went right inside the placement line. And I am going to tape this on the back because I don't want it to shift because you want your front and your back to line up when it's all done. And we really we only have one more step to go to uh, stitch. Let me just put this tape on there. This is just so fun. These mirrors are so quick. They're so easy. The cork makes them so easy. You could cut out a whole mat full of um, you know pieces that you need on your 12 by 12 mat. Let me put the foot down and it's going to, now what it's doing, it's stitching around and casing the two pieces of cork um, with the mirror inside. So. So actually Cindy's watching and she's coming oh. up next, like in the next like few minutes, but she said that that's a lettering design collection that you activate on canvas workspace. And it's one of the lessons in the book. So that's oh, great. Yeah. Like I said, I can't wait to get into it. And it's got a, um, like a USB here in the front to, you know, help you work on the projects. Um, it looks, it, she goes through everything. Cindy's very thorough and that's what I like in all of her um, tutorials and things. So I'm sure she's going to tell you about it when she comes on next. <laughs> it's done. She really knows her stuff. Oh my gosh. So we did get a question about a needle size in here. Uh, do you change your needle size when you do the cork? No, I'm using basically a 7511, which is basically what I use for most everything. I'm going to change my camera view so you can get a little close up uh, view of this. So it just stitched around. I can take my tape off, but it's ready now. It comes out of the hoop. And what I will do is I'll trim this water soluble as close as I can around, you know, the mirror. And then I'm just going to take a Q-tip and dissolve everything and then clean up the inside here. And then we have a nice little mirror. Isn't that just so cute? You know, like that, teens will love this. You know, it's, I think it's a great gift. I agree. And why go out and buy something when you can make it? And that's just so much more special. Uh, so thank you for inspiring us, Reen with your amazing designs. <laughs> oh, thank you, Barbara. Yeah. So what are those gnomes behind you? They're super cute. The gnomes are these applique gnomes. It's my winter gnome set. Um, I just made like a little hanging or runner out of it. Gnomes are big right now. And then I have this gnome. He's kind of fun. I used HTV glitter vinyl on him. So, uh, so cute. I don't know. It's just, it's <laughs> so fun. let's I just do a giveaway. Yeah, so let's do a giveaway. Um, everybody give me some comments down below. And um, while we're waiting for those comments to come in, I'm going to give an allbrands.com $10 gift certificate. Uh, but what's your code again to use on your website, Reen? And what's the discount? The code is quiltfest 20 and it's 20% off my whole website. That's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I love your designs personally. I've done Thank a lot you. of them especially <laughs> bags. I, the cork bag is one of my favorites for sure. So let's um, wait for some comments to come in. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Oh, all <laughs> brands, you can't win. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Ann Keller, congratulations. You won an allbrands.com $10 gift card of uh, email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And we will send that to you on Monday. Um, so congratulations. And thank you so much, Reen, for joining us uh, today. And I think that we may just transition um, over to Cindy Hogan without taking a break. Oops. If that's okay with, with everyone. Is that okay? Sounds Cindy. fine with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Cindy. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hi, Cindy. How are so you guys? You want to tell her about your playbook that you wrote that she has? 
<laughs> I, I wish I had it autographed is the only thing. <laughs> you know, and I didn't get to touch them. You guys got them before I did. It was, um, it's kind of one of those things. COVID has kind of killed us on that. But uh, yeah, it teaches you everything about that machine, how to use that machine from the get go. And I mean, it, it was my COVID project. I will say that, but it kept me busy. What can I say? Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your expertise, uh, Cindy. And I'm excited about what we have coming up next um, with you. So we're going to say toodaloo to um, Reen, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining the show and inspiring. Bye, everyone. Thanks, okay. Barbara. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Again. Hello. Welcome back. How are you? Oh. Excellent. I feel like I'm on vacation because I get to go all across the United States. Um, <laughs> you have hopped all over today. <laughs> yeah. So this is exciting. And um, yeah, allbrands.com slash quilt fest is the page that everybody goes to to see these videos. We have allbrands.com mall and this is brother presented by allbrands.com. And we have an expert with us, Cindy Hogan. So what do you have to show us today? And we're going to talk about auto quilt sash borders on the Luminaire. So um, XP2 or the XP1 with the second upgrade. And I've got a project sitting back there ready for us to start so that you kind of get the process from the beginning to end. And if without further ado, I am going to switch cameras if that's okay with you, Barbara. Oh, yeah. All righty. Here we go. Come up on the screen. There you got it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna, oops, I forgot to move my ladder out of my way. <laughs> I had to put the camera up with a ladder because it had to be taller for you all to see what we're doing. So here is our magnetic sash frame and I absolutely love this. It's not just for quilting guys. I am gonna show it for that today, but I use it for all kinds of things. It holds like crazy. It has eight magnets around it, four long ones and four short ones. So the first thing that we have to do, I've got my wall hanging here ready to go up to the borders. And you'll notice I've drawn myself some lines. That's the area that I actually want my quilt sash borders to be in. You can um, go right up to your green or whatever you've got for your first border if you want to. I personally like to leave a little bit of space just because I like to have a little bit of wiggle room. After you've done that and you define the area that you want to embroider in, you measure the side. So that is at the top, which is 14 and a half. And I've marked it down right there for myself so I would know exactly what I've got when I get to my machine. And then you measure the height. And that is 20 and three quarters. So I've got 20.75. And then you measure how wide that area is. And it's just about, um, just a little over two and a half. So I'm going to choose two and a half because you do want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. All right. Everybody with me so far? I know I speed talk. So now that we've got that, we're going to go to our machine before I hoop anything because you need to know what the machine tells you to do so that you know what you're going to do. Um, 14.5 and 20.75. I wrote it down for myself. Aren't I a smart girl? So I'm moving over to machine here, machine guys. Let's see, which one it, are you? Yes, there we go. Can you see my entire screen, Barbara? Yeah, there we go. All right, we are going to touch embroidery. And I am going to touch my Q section, which these are your quilt sash borders. You have in here regular single colors. There are 20 of those. What is very cool is that we have five two colors and that's what we're going to do today. And you have hexagonal ones. So if you're into hexagons, you've got quilt sash borders for that as well. They can be made up to a king size. So it's not just for small projects, but it's easier for me to show you a small project than a large one today. We're going to touch this one because I want feathers, but I'll let you see the others. And you've got grapes and all kinds of stuff, but I thought feathers would be good for us today. And I'm going to press set. 
Now, if you wanted to do it in four pieces, you could choose the first option. I'm going to choose the second option because I want it to go as, I want it to be as easy as possible for me. And it's going to take more than one piece. It will not fit in four exact hoops. So this is the easiest route to go for me. We're going to choose 14.5 for our width because that was our measurement. Our height was 20.7, whoops, 20.75. We're going to set that. And the width of my border that I want it to be can be between 1.18 and 3.62. I chose 2.5 because mine was just a little bit over that. And you want to choose what hoop you are planning on embroidering it in. We're going to use our magnetic sash frame. And that is a seven by 14 inch frame. So that's the frame that we're going to choose. And I'm going to touch set touch next. And we're going to tell it what color we want. Well, if you're going on a dark fabric, you can come down here and you can choose you. You want to go a, a dark color or a light color. Just depends on what you're going to do. You don't have to embroider it those colors, just so you know, it just gives you something to view. However, having said that, mine's kind of a dark fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it with light colors so that you can see them projected on the fabric. You can choose single stitch or triple stitch. I want it to go one time today just so that we can go through this a little bit faster. Obviously triple is going to take a little bit longer to stitch, not too terribly long, but probably more than we have time for today. And then you save it into the machine's memory. And it tells you it's saved into the machine's memory. We're ready to embroider it. Okay. So this is the project tile. We're going to touch that project. You can do them individually if you want to, though you manually connect those up. And I will tell you, I use those for other things and I'll show you when we get back to the table, I'll use it for the placket of the back of a, a pillow. Um, you can use them for decorate, decorating around edges of things, but so you have the capability of using the individual parts outside of the actual sash frame. We're going to touch this one because this is automatic. When you touch set, it tells you what it wants you to do. So it wants us to begin sewing from the upper right corner of the fabric. Attach the frame in the initial sewing position. If you have a 10 needle, it's different. That's why I wanted you to see this right here. So it's telling us we need to attach it upper right hand corner first. We're going to go back to our table and do that. Oops, wrong one. I've got four buttons, you know. Okay, so here's our project. Here's our frame. I'm going to slide my frame up underneath here. And you'll notice I do leave my batting bigger than my actual project so that I have enough room to catch it. I'm going to go sideways because I find it easier to manipulate things this way. My arms are not quite long enough for the other direction. And here is a cheater's little trick. You can either use two fingers or a little inch ruler to make sure that you're going to be within the area to embroider. That's good. So now we're going to attach this. Slide it, snap it in. There are arrows on the um, magnets. And you just take them, slide them, snap them in place. Biggest thing I want to tell you is you need, to, need a, to leave a space up here so you don't put your magnet real close to that corner. Put it closer to the far corner so that you can get the frame into your machine. You will get the most stability if you use all of the magnets. There is a tool that helps you move them, but I tend to never have it hand by my hand. So I use them my fingers. And now we're ready to go embroider. Two, two, we're good. And we're gonna slide it in here. So let's see. Oh, shoot. 
I moved my camera. Hold on, guys. It's so funny. <laughs> I find that these cameras are harder to use than the actual sewing machine. <laughs> sewing in a yes, work. they are. <laughs> I funny. turned my light off for you guys so that you can see the projection. That's the only reason it's so dark in here. You can see it projected better if I turn my light off. So that's what I've done. You'll notice I slid it in through that little area that I left open. I'm going to slide it into my machine, press the lever down, make sure there's nothing underneath it. And then we're going to touch OK. All right, so let's let me show you what the screen tells us right now. It tells me to move the pattern keys to adjust the corner of the pattern. So I want the corner of my pattern where my inner chalk line is. We're going to touch OK. And it's going to project that down onto my fabric. And let's see if you can see that. So you see how it's projected it right here? Um, whoops. I'm going to use my arrow keys to move that up. And now that you know what I'm doing, you can move them up, down, left and right. I want you to see it on projected down here. That is magical, Cindy. Isn't that sweet? So now I am exactly where I need to be. And wow, I hooped pretty darn straight today. That doesn't happen that often. All right, so once you've got it where you need it to go, we are going to go back to our screen here and touch OK. And basically, we are ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to thread my machine. I'm going to use green because I decided it might show up the best. Let me thread that needle there. I love my automatic needle threader. What was Brother life like before that. we had that? Brother has the absolute best needle threader. It's so amazing. Don't we though? I mean, it is absolutely the bomb. And so now it's going to embroider it. It actually slows the machine down a little bit. So if you notice that it's slower than usual, it is slowing it down because of the, the weight of the magnetic frame. You want it to be nice and consistent. is about done with my first color. I'm going to re-thread. And I pulled it through for the, just like that for you, Barbara. <laughs> just so I didn't go on nationwide doing it my way. <laughs> And now we're going to do the second color of green. I debated on green or gold. I decided green would be prettier. But it may not. Oh, yeah, the second green shows up really well. Wow, this is such a beautiful project. I can't imagine doing that all by freehand and getting it lined up so perfectly. Will you say that again? I couldn't hear you. I can't imagine doing that like free motion embroidery and getting it lined up so perfectly and, and consistent. Oh, no. I, me neither. I would have never attempted this before. And this is one of my favorite things to do these days. Yeah. I have done, well, my whole family is getting something done like this. So we are going to go back to our screen here and it says, okay, embroidery is finished. Okay to connect next pattern. We're going to touch okay because yes, we want to connect the next pattern. And it knows that I still have space in my hoop because I told it what hoop I was using to still use it. So the only thing I have to worry about this time is the angle. So we're going to touch OK. And we're going to check our angle. Mine is just slightly off. Let me see if you can see that. So you, right here is my pointer. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit for you. So here is my cursor. And so I need to move that over just a little bit. So this is the button right here. We're going to angle it back to the left a little bit. And you do have to give it time to adjust. All 
I'm almost there. Like my finger. There we go. So I'm in perfect position. If you were way off, you could use some of the other angles, but I wasn't way off. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to touch OK. I'm going to rethread my machine with my dark color again. And I'll let you see it's projected. See Couldn't it's projected? you also um, scan your background fabric too, Cindy? No, you don't need to. You could, but you don't, you don't need to. Yeah. Okay. Because you can see it. I mean, it automatically projects it down there. There's so many different ways. That's great. So if you didn't have this, yes, you could actually scan yours in and do something similar. The automatic connect is for the two color sashes and the two color sashes are on the Luminaire 2 or the XP1 with the upgrade 2. I do want us to turn one corner just simply because I think you need to know how to do that. I think it makes your life a little easier if you know how to do that. So we will slide down and move it here in just a second once we're done with this piece. But it move, you can tell it moves very fast. It's not a very stitch intensive design. And you can actually have this quilted in about 30 minutes. Any questions for us, Barbara? Let's see. Not yet, but that's gorgeous. So if you guys are watching locally, we would love for you to come to our stores and get into this sashing frame which is amazing so i put the coupon that you bring into the store to get this uh it's bro 15 off bro stands for brother <laughs> and that's a 15 percent off coupon on the magnetic sashing frame for the xp1 and xp2 luminaire the xp1 with the upgrade so that's amazing so now we're ready to connect the next pattern we touch okay it automatically brings us up the next one and it tells me I need to rehoop my material. Okay, so we're going to go back over to our hooping station. And so I need to slide it out and make sure I go through that little gap. And now we're going to go slide it down. This is where this hoop is so cool. Now you do want to take this one off the machine. You'll see me tomorrow just slide mine down on the 10 needle. But on this one, you don't want to do that because of the embroidery unit and the motor in the arm. All right, so I've got it. I'm going to take it down to two magnets, turn it around, and pull it towards myself. The magnet's strong. <laughs> It is very strong today. And I don't have the heaviest duty batting, I will have to say. So you want to kind of keep that in mind where you're going. I'm good there. I don't want to go too far up. So remember I said that two finger rule. And then we're ready to put our magnets back on the rest of it. Oops, wrong direction. Pay attention to your arrows. It does make a difference. Oh, I like the color choice. I do too. And everybody watching agrees that it's so pretty. I have some over here that I was going to do. I've got to show you that, Barbara, just because you're going to laugh at me. I, have, I was prepared for us. And then I realized, boy, did I not pick the busiest fabric in America? <laughs> we would have never seen <laughs> we would have never seen it. So I was like, okay, um, what, let's go. You have a whole quilt there. Yeah. Hey, Karen, ask what kind of needle you're using uh, with that. I'm using a 7511. 
That yeah, is I really, favorite. I really like the EBBR needles that um, they usually recommend for the um, ten needle machines. They work great in the single needle machines as well. All right. All so, right. yep, this we're back in, and I'm going to slide us back in the machine. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Be in your own camera, woman. I'm going to slide it back in. And now we are going to follow the screen messages. All right, we're touching OK. And it tells us we need to connect it to the previous pattern because remember, we rehooped so it doesn't actually know where we are in the space. So we're going to touch OK. And once again, I'm going to use my arrow. So I'm going to leave this so you can see it on the screen projected. I'm just going to slide it over and then slide it up. And I think I am spot on there. Can y'all see that? So once you've got Clearly. it there, we're going to touch OK and it's going to tell us to check the angle. And basically, we need to make sure that our corner is going to go at the corner of where we want it to, so the corner of my chalk mark. So I'm going to touch OK. And it is going to project it down here on our screen. You'll notice, wrong direction. So you see that red line? That red line needs to go on my chalk mark. So, you do need to see this. This is your shrink. This is your enlarge. We need to shrink mine up because mine is too long right now. So I'm going to shrink it. I say I'm going to shrink it. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry, I'm not muted now. <laughs> While you're doing that, Cindy, I wanted to let everyone know that we have an amazing special going on for the next two days on the XP2 Luminaire in our stores in Louisiana and Texas. So come on down. Um, we'll, we're closing in 30 minutes, but definitely come see us tomorrow. We have 60 months, 0% financing. And with the Luminaire, you get, oh my gosh, so many extras in that. So um, don't miss your chance uh, for 60 months financing, bundles, and then you get to pick an option from a, a list of products. So now's the time to get into that. And just let me know whenever you're ready because I need to do a giveaway as well. Okay. Give me just a second. All right, cool. I'm trying so, to figure out what I... <laughs> so the giveaway is going to be a $10 allbrands.com gift card. So if you want to win, go ahead and put some comments below um, and I'll choose one in just a second. I'm going to um, pull up on the screen the XP2 Luminaire special that's available at allbrands.com. So this is the machine. Um, and it has the stitch vision technology that you've seen Cindy Hogan uh, demonstrating with the um, with the sashing frame is an optional accessory. And so with this, you get a free Luminaire 2 bundle pack, which includes PE Design 11 digitizing software, a 24 spool thread kit, the luggage set and Angela Wolf comes in the box. So it's a masterclass um, from Angela Wolf. And so you will learn all of the um, features and benefits of this machine. Um, also, there is a rebate for a wide extension table, which is perfect for quilting. And this machine has such a wide arm from needle to neck, you're definitely not going to be working to squeeze a big quilt under there. Um, also, 60 months, 0% financing through Synchrony Financial, 
and you get to pick one option from the list below. So you can do a trade in, which we want your trades. Um, some of you may already have a really nice machine and you don't need to. Well, guess what? Um, somebody might really want that. So we are accepting trade ins on this machine um, or you can pick that magnetic um, sashing frame, the playbook, the magnetic, uh, the magnifying lens, and so many more options, even a scan and cut you can choose. Um, so that's all, um, that's, that's up to you to choose whichever one uh, you feel is best. So Cindy, um, how you doing? Give me two seconds. I'm not sure what. All right. Being given, giving me a. <laughs> so I'll do the giveaway now. Uh, let me bring that up on the screen. Okay, giveaway. $10 All Brands gift card. If I pick your name, you email events at allbrands.com. Your name, email address, and phone number, and I will uh, email that to you on Monday. So let me pick a random winner, and it's Tina from YouTube. Uh, email me your email address, phone number, and name. Uh, full name, and then we'll um, get you that $10 All Brands gift card emailed to you. So you have a question. When is the Luminaire 2 playbook coming? That's a good question. I, I actually don't know the answer to that, <laughs> but hopefully sometime very soon. I'm sure. Um, but the they have a XP1 book that's available that's uh Amazing. I absolutely love that one. So congratulations, Tina. And I am <laughs> all right. Nope. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got you up on the screen now. All right. For whatever reason, it wanted me to make it larger before I made it smaller. I don't know what the reason is, but it decided to do that for me. So we're just going to go ahead and shrink it in. This is your shrink. This is your enlarge. And like I said, for whatever reason, it wanted me to do that first. So now you can see it on my screen down here. I'm going to rotate it into position. Now that I've got it lined up with my line there. and then we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Sometimes the machine thinks it's smarter than we are, and it is, but it is always nice to know what to do when it, things don't work the way you wanted them to do. I'm threading the machine and we're going to take off. And how are we on time? Right. Um, probably need to wrap it up pretty soon. Okay. So we ha probably have time to turn a corner maybe, maybe not. So it's going to finish the embroidery on this one. Let's look at the screen so you know what to do. And let me show you how on the, um, how to hoop it. And then we'll be done for the day. At least I will, Barbara, you still got things going on, don't you? Yeah, I see Heather in the background. She's waiting and we're going to be doing a one more demonstration to uh, the finale of the day. Well, um, this the magnetic sash frame is phenomenal. The actual auto quilt sash borders are a blast to do because it does do it so easily. It's something I personally could not actually manually stitch feathers. I will say that. I know it. It is not, that is not my cup of tea. That's not my Balawick. I am, I know when I'm challenged and that would be my challenge. Jerry, on the other hand, he can probably do it all day long. He is such a good free motion quilter. So I like it the easy way. And if you're doing this through a quilt, you could turn off your scissors and manually pull to the front instead of letting the machine cut and tie off, you could manually pull your threads to the front so that you don't have that in the back and you can bury your threads. My backing is not on there yet, so I'm not worrying about that. 
and we're just about done. Two more feathers. I gotta say it looks beautiful, Cindy. Thank you, I'm right pleased with it. So there we go, it's done with that. And it's going to tell us, ready to connect the next pattern. We're gonna touch okay. It's gonna bring it up and it's gonna tell me what I need to do. I need to turn my corner. So I'm going to take my hoop out, slide it out and I go turn the corner real quick so you understand what we're doing. Wrong camera. Here we go, we're gonna undo everything. And I suggest, highly suggest you watch the messages on the camera, otherwise, you will make a mistake. Ask me how I know. If, as long as I pay attention to what the machine is telling me, I am good to go. When I decide I'm smarter than the machine, I am always messed up. How about you, Barbara? We're good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, there are times that I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I don't need to read that. That is when I actually mess up. I absolutely love the way these magnets work. Yeah, I think that it's so much easier to do it in sections because you could slide it and smooth the fabric. Um, yes, it just, it's such a great design. It really is. The magnets are strong. They hold well. I can actually pick this up like this and not worry about it. It'll hold a jacket. It will hold um, towels. It's just super very versatile. Although we do say it's a, for quilting, it is not necessarily only for quilting. All right, so we are in here. I'm gonna go back to my screen so you see how to turn the corner and then we'll be good. All right, we are gonna touch okay. It tells us we need to connect it to the previous pattern. So we're gonna touch okay. Like we did before, we're just gonna take this up to the corner first. And now let me show you what it looks like down here on the pattern itself. Can you all see that? So you're basically wanting your line to match up with the previous one. And you're just gonna slide it into position there. When you're done with that part, touch okay. And it tells us to adjust the angle now. So I'm gonna touch okay and let you see where that is on my screen. So I need to pull it in just a little bit so that it matches my line. And once that's done, I'm ready to embroider and connect the rest of them. The last piece, it will have you shrink it in just so you know that you're gonna connect it to the previous piece and it'll have you shrink it in. And that is basically it, gang. That is magical. Thank you so much, Cindy, for showing us that. I am so inspired to do sashing on my I think you air. will love it. Um, uh, thanks for having me. I meant to show you the back of a pillow, but we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. So I see Heather's here. Heather, you think I can pop you in and you could say hey to Cindy? All right. So here is Heather Banks. Oh, Heather, I love the hat. <laughs> So cute. I love it. I had to get festive. You know, it's Christmas and we're talking all kinds of specials. So I think I got it nailed, you guys. I'm, I'm wearing this out tomorrow. <laughs> I think you nailed it. You definitely nailed it. <laughs> so <laughs> I want everybody, don't be afraid of those quilt sash borders and use that magnetic hoop for whatever you can get in it. It is the bomb. It is. So. I love it. It is one of my favorite products that we've put out this year. It is the bomb. You're the bomb. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yes. You guys have a great rest of the day. Great. Bye, we'll see you tomorrow in the brother. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, Heather. Hey, <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So we're going to be talking about um, 
intro to machine embroidery, right? That's correct. That's correct. Let me say, Barbara, have you seriously almost been live for almost just shy of eight hours? That is amazing. This is oh my, my vacation. <laughs> Wow, good for you. <laughs> so thanks everyone who's been taking the tour with us today of everybody's sewing room. And we have two more days of this. So I'm so super excited. And um, I'm really excited about what you have in store to tell us about. Um, if you're just getting started in embroidery or if you're, you know, if you've been embroidering a long time, um, you'll learn something new too in this. And we have some really great uh, entry level embroidery machines and like we'll talk you through like some steps on that. So why don't you take it away, Heather? Okay, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thanks all brands for hosting, brother. And I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I was hoping to talk a little bit about, Barbara said you've shown so many amazing machines today, uh, but you can, we also want to talk a little bit about if you're somewhat new to embroidery or you've been doing it a while and you may be ready to step up in a machine, Matt, perhaps you're ready for an entry level machine or you have an entry level and you want to come up a little bit. So let me talk to you a little bit about those things. Uh, what, why are we doing this? Maybe you're thinking, why do I want to get into this? And if you are established, I know you know the benefits. You can monogram, you can personalize, you can make quilt labels. And uh, there's just so much that you can do with your embroidery machine. And it doesn't have to be a top of the line machine to get all of the fun and creativity out of it. So what I wanted to talk to you today is what are some things, oh, you know what, Anne, amazing. I, I just see that you're looking for an entry level machine for your daughter, perfect. I hope this helps. I wanna talk a little bit about what you might be looking for when you are looking for an entry level machine. So what kind of features, what what do you ask for? Uh, so, you know, those little keywords, what, what sort of, what's the buzzword? What do you wanna get out of your entry level or newer to you machine if you're ready to step up? So that's where I'm going to go. And I am fortunate to have, I'll, I'll, I'll be changing the camera direction here in a second. I'm fortunate to have the Brother NQ1600E with me. Barbara has a couple other entry level machines we'll be focusing on as well. So uh, please stick around so you can see that you have many more than one option. But this machine allows me to show you some of the entry level beginner um, intro to embroidery features that you might like as well. So I'm going to switch my camera over just takes me one second. I hope you're all enjoying my uh, my festivities here. Thinking definitely grocery shopping tomorrow in this. It's going to have to be the way to go. Okay, so here we have the NQ1600E. And I wanted to point out that when you're looking at a brother machine, and if it has E on the end of it, then you are looking at an embroidery only machine. And that is what we have here. You can absolutely get a sewing and embroidery combo machine, but it depends on what you need in your room. Some people, I've spoken to those people who say, I absolutely must have a separate embroidery and a separate sewing because I can set my embroidery up, I can let it go, and I can go over and focus on my sewing side of what I'm working on. So up to you. Maybe you would prefer a combo machine. But the one we're looking at today is embroidery only. And another thing you might notice is it doesn't say D. And we know Brother is famous for Disney and their machines. This particular machine does not come loaded with Disney. However, in case you've wondered in the past, you can add Disney to any of your single needle machines. So you can absolutely go over to iBroidery.com, purchase Brother Designs, any Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, and add those to your machine. So please don't be discouraged if you were thinking, oh, but I wanted Disney and this one might not have it. No problem, we can get that going for you. I'm going to show you very quickly a bag that I have here. And the reason I wanted to show you is this is not a huge bag as you can tell, but this has all been embroidered using my embroidery machine. I didn't need a top of the line huge machine to do it, and I really love it. 
So not only can you create designs that uh, are built into the machine, but you can sew or embroider background designs that can then be turned into something like this bag. So if you're thinking, what might I use an embroidery machine for? Oh my gosh, we have so many ideas for you. So I am going to move uh, this my camera up for you just a little bit. So I'm going to do that as softly as I can so that you can see some of the features. And one of the amazing features of this machine, this 1600E, is the way that you can attach the hoop. So if you have an entry level machine, your hoop might be pushed on. So with this machine, you can easily unlock it and slide your hoop out. This makes for a very stable environment and it's very simple to move your hoop in and out. And I want to show you this hoop because, oh my gosh, it is huge. If you're thinking of the 1600E, I can't, I'm having a hard time even getting how big this hoop is into the camera view. Let me show you a four, four by four in comparison. So that's a four by four hoop. And this is the five by seven hoop. So you know what? Let me hold up those two. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit so that you can see the difference. So I have a five by seven nested inside of the six by 10. And there is just a huge difference in what, how much you can embroider. And if I go over here and I show you the four by four size, oh my gosh, we're talking major difference. So if you're getting just getting into embroidery or you're perhaps getting this as a gift for someone who is, four by four hoops are amazing and wonderful and there is no shortage, <clears throat> excuse me, of designs on the market for a four by four hoop. But what you'll find very quickly is you want to do bigger things. So consider uh, something like the, what you find in the 1600E. This is just a very, very large hoop, as you can see. So we have hoop size to consider, and that's always important when we're thinking about embroidery machines. Additionally, some other things to think about are what kind of features come along with the machine. So sorry about this, I'm gonna go pretty quickly. Here we go, get right up to the menu and focus that for you. So you can see that this machine comes along with a, um, a full color screen. So that's something else to consider. And not only that, it's a large screen. So let me get you an idea of what you can do with this machine. Now, some of our entry level machines, you won't be able to save your designs into the machine, or you won't be able to necessarily bring in uh, or save to a USB drive, but you can do that here. So here you can see the USB button, and here you can see what's been saved to the machine. So once you're finished stitching, if you would like to save, and actually I believe I have done that, so you can see some of the designs that I've saved to the machine. This, these are our uh, variety of designs. There's, there's um, almost 200 embroidery designs built into this machine. And I want you to see that not only could I see the thumbnail, but if I push this button in the top corner that looks like a who, I can actually see what my design looks like really close up. And uh, additionally, it will tell me which hoops my design will fit in. So it will fit in the six by 10, this will fit in the five by seven, and this will fit into the four by four. So if I choose a hoop, it gives me an idea of exactly how much room I need in there. So I am a big fan of these really large touch screen, full color screens. They tell you so much. Let me show you a little bit more of what it shows you. If I push set, and you'll see I have so many editing buttons directly on the screen. Uh, so let me show you, um, let's see here. I can, I can move my design. Of course, this is a touch screen. So I can move this, oh, I'm gonna get my finger out of the way, all around the screen. I can resize so I can maintain the density of the design and make this larger and make this smaller. Additionally, I can rotate on screen so I can uh, move this around and get into a different position. 
I can change the colors. So I know it's a little bit hard to see up in this right hand corner from my camera screen, but I can certainly change the colors too and say, okay. One of my favorite things is let me go ahead and take this. Now, if I were ready to save this, I could push this button right here and that's how I would save to the machine or my USB. But let's just go ahead and save it there to the machine. And then let me show you one of my favorite features about this, which is the fact that once I get to the embroidery screen and I am ready to stitch this out, check out what you can see in the top part of the screen. See where it's sort of a bluish purple on the screen? It is telling me everything I need to know about this design. You can see the foot that I need. In this case, I need the embroidery foot, which is the U. Additionally, I need, there will be 13,135 stitches. It will take 22 minutes to stitch out, and there are 10 color changes. And you can see the approximate time for each of those. Now, if I want to skip ahead, I want to change threads, I can move ahead using either by stitch count or by color change. So I particularly think this machine does so much and uh, it allows me to do so much. I was just sorry, I stumbled there because I was looking at the comments and Jill asked, does it come in a combo? We absolutely have something similar to this in a combo. So I think the answer would be yes, Jill. Oh, look at that. I think Barb just beat me to it and told you that it was the NQ3600D. So absolutely. And that D does mean that one would come with Disney if that's important to you. So, okay. So I wanted to make sure you knew that this screen is very user friendly. You don't have to take your designs, open them on a computer and then determine what you're, you know, what you'll do then or make edits there. Although of course you can do that. You can very easily do this on the screen. Now, as I mentioned, there is a USB port. So, and all brother machines come with a PES drive or PES, for, work for PES designs, excuse me. So um, you will be looking for designs that are PES. Now I'm gonna back this up a little bit without making you guys too seasick, hopefully, so that I can show you something that I have here. Now this design, which I absolutely love, comes with this machine and I'm going to back it up even a little bit more so you can get a better view. And so this outline, this um, rope design with the daisies is built into this machine. Now you can see already that this is a big design. I'm having a hard time fitting it in my camera because I use the six by 10 hoop and it's just so big. So here you can see that I stitched it out in the traditional colors, but you could put anything in the middle. I chose this. And one of the really great features, if you're starting out, is the ability to edit and add or combine designs. So let me smoothly pull you back into position so I can give you an idea of how that works. Because if you're like me, you know, you have a blanket, maybe a baby blanket or something like this might be a flag to put outside your house and you want to put someone's name on it. You want the married couple's new name and the date they got married. So let me show you how that would work. As you can see, this is really seamless, very easy to use. But I'm going to go find that design and perhaps I want to uh personalize it, as I said. I mean, really, embroidery is all about personalization. There it is, number 22. And you can see how big it is. Let me set that for you. And now I want to add. I want the married couple's name. I want my name. I want on summer 2021. We know that's going to be better. We want something there. So I have all this space to work with. Let me go ahead and push add. Now, another thing I haven't mentioned is this machine comes with seven fonts. Additionally, um, oh my gosh, Barbara, thank you for throwing that in. That's something else I wanted to say. We're going to keep going here, but this machine only weighs 20 pounds. So if you want to take an excellent machine to class, this would be it. And additionally, if you would like a second machine um, to take to retreats or out and about, this is awesome. 
Let me show you what I did here. So in this case, maybe you would like to put in, um, you know, a name. Let's see, so you can see that you it lets you scroll through and find exactly what letters you want. And then all you do is push set. Okay, once I have my design inside, I can move it around. I can change the size. Maybe, oh, that's way too big for what I want. Move that around. You can always see the size of the design up here on the top right. And you can see the length and the width of what I'm working on with the red dots around it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, okay. Now I'm not actually choosing anything that probably will make sense here. Let me go to font edit, just so you can see there's more array. So maybe I want this to have a slight curve to it. Maybe I'd like that curve to be more. Boy, I feel like I could really talk a really long time about all the things this machine could do. And if you're starting out embroidery, you won't be disappointed. Uh, you won't run out of things that you can do very quick, very quickly on all the things you can do. So let me say, okay. And uh, again, I, I'm not even really covering everything we can see here. Let's see, let's go. Uh, and then this takes away all the lines so that you can see everything you're going to be stitching out. Again, only will fit in our largest hoop, the six by 10. I'm gonna say, okay. So, uh, and if I wanted to save it, it gives me a pocket and I'm going to push the pocket and I would save it to my, maybe my USB drive or the machine itself. So, whew, okay, I have to throw this in because it's so important. Oh, Nancy, you have this machine and you like it. Oh yeah, I'm so glad to hear you like it too. And oh my gosh, it would be a great addition to your 600, which by the way, we have here with Barbara and we're gonna talk about because it's an awesome machine too. Thank yeah. you for coming in. Oh, go ahead, Barbara. <laughs> Heather, yeah, so when you're looking for an entry level embroidery machine, either as a gift or for travel, I think one of the most important things to consider is the hoop size. So I'm gonna, um, let's see. I have some really great machines here that I want uh, just to show you. And you know what's so great about these, Heather, is that they now have color touch screens and I feel like that is so important. So this first model is the SE 600. It is a combination sewing and embroidery machine. And this is a perfect, perfect price and um, machine with wonderful features. This is the hoop size. It's four by four. So depending on how much embroidery you do, who's purchasing it, um, Four by four is your starting point with embroidery area. So when you buy this machine, that is the maximum size that you can embroider at any given time. Um, so I feel like that's a very important thing to consider when you're purchasing an embroidery machine is what's the size that's available. It and Yes, and this one is actually a combination sewing machine and embroidery, which makes it perfect for travel, and it's a compact size. So this is like the same size as the machine that Kathy Stipe was talking about earlier, and she was able to bring it on the airplane with her. So um, airplanes, <laughs> RVs, um, this is just a great little machine to have. And uh, with six months financing at only $500, that's a no-brainer. So I yeah so this is the perfect entry level machine now if you think that you want to do designs that are a little bit bigger the next step up is five inch by seven inch so it's five inches this way and seven inches that way and why is that important heather like there's some there's a lot of designs that you buy that are larger than the four by four and you won't be able to do them on this machine that so sounds true. so the five by seven um, is a great machine to have. Um, I would actually start out with a five by seven if this is your only embroidery machine that you're going to have. And that one is, and I'll just transition to this one. It's the SE 1900, which we have in inventory. And it is a great little machine. It's actually a combination again sewing and embroidery machine and it also has the color touch screen and it's a little bit larger than the SC 600 so I really like this um, here's all of your stitches that you have on the top there 
it's just a great little machine. So if you're looking for a Christmas present for someone or yourself, or you're just getting started, what a great, great buy. And also a knee lifter for oh, sewing. That's pretty that's nice great. for sewing. I like those. Yes. Yes. So that's a very, very great machine. So, and then your next step up is going to be, of course, I think this is the best of the best. So this is an embroidery only machine. This is the NQ1600 that you were talking mm -hmm. about before. Yes. And this one has a six by 10 embroidery area. Um, they do have a combination machine that's retail only. It's the NQ 3600D. Uh, but look at this embroidery hoop size. It's just so big. It really is. Well, you say that, Heather, but a lot of like in the hoop project designs require mm -hmm. um, a minimum of six by 10 hoop to, to use those designs. So often people, they get into the four by four and they're upgrading mm -hmm. within less than a year, you know, because they find out that they can't do all the designs on the smaller. Absolutely. Design. It's so true, especially because in the hoop designs are so popular and fun. And then they will find out, oh, I can't do it because I don't have at least a six by 10 hoop. Yeah. And I love the color screen and it's intuitive. And like Barb Mike Lightcheck was saying, you can send the cut files or it makes the cut files for the scan and cut which is just so, so great. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's, and I forgot to mention it cuts jump stitches, which is huge. The <laughs> ability that it'll cut all those little strips strings for you and doesn't leave those in between. So that's just a great benefit. Yeah. So if y'all are looking for machines for Christmas or for yourself or for travel or just a secondary machine, mm -hmm. these three are great picks. Again, that's the brother SE 600 four by four. SE 1900 is a five by seven. Those are both sewing and embroidery machines, which is perfect because they're smaller in size. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be more of your travel machines, you know, and then you have um, your six by 10 embroidery only. NQ 1600E. Yes, that's yeah. an amazing machine. Yeah. And they're all available for online sales. So most of the stuff that you guys saw today can't be purchased online because it's uh, dealer only. So you have to go into our retail store to buy. But these three models are available and we have plenty of inventory and uh, you will definitely get these by Christmas if you uh, place your order. So, oh, great Christmas <laughs> present. Uh, <laughs> thank you for <laughs> liking the headband. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if you have a PR 600 and you just want something to do small things on, I mean, that's, that's, it's a great companion machine. So it really is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Heather. Oh, thank you, Barbara. This is so fun and I love to talk about this. So I appreciate you having me here with all friends. Yes. And thanks for ending the day on a fun note. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Yay. Great. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm actually going to do a giveaway right now for a yes. $10 all brands gift card. All right. So go ahead and give us some comments below everybody. And if I pick your name, then you'll email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And I will email you the gift card on Monday. And don't forget everybody, this is just the first day of virtual Houston international quilt festival in the brother booth. We have, two more days of education. So um, don't miss out. And we actually have two booths, the brother presented by allbrands.com, which is this one and the allbrands.com mall. Yep. So uh, tons and tons of fun and education. There so, is so much to see. Yeah. So let me pick a random commenter for the $10 gift card and Beth small. Congratulations. Congratulations, Beth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Heather and thank Beth. You. Email events at allbrands.com and I'll send that to you. And we'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And have a beautiful, wonderful night. Thank you, Barbara. You too. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, tuning out. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>